What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we complete episode one of a new series in the long-awaited Alpha 20 update for Seven Days to Die. As I complete the first quest, let me run you through the scenario real quick. I'll pull up the settings for you right here, but you can also check in the description of each video for a full listing of settings and mods that are being used. We'll be playing on an 8K map, and the seed is named after Patreon supporter Danny Frankie. So thank you to Danny. The series will take place predominantly in the snow biome, which will provide a major boost to the loot that we find, but will have extra dangers and challenges to deal with as well. The cold temperature accelerates food loss, but fortunately, there will be bears and mountain lions in abundance, but they're hungry too. So we've spawned in the forest biome, and our first quest takes us to the trader nearby, but I'm not interested in that. We're off to the frozen north. I'm gonna track my way there and grab any loot I can find along the way. I'll watch your back if you watch mine, Let's begin. All right, my friends, here we go. What is this, aloe vera seed? I don't think I need that right now. So I had a look at the map previewer when I was making the map, and um, fortunately we spawned pretty close by to the snow biome. There's a trader wrecked right over there. He spawned right outside of his compound, but here we go, guys, Alpha 20. I'm gonna gather up all the supplies I can. Now, we are wearing what's called the newbie coat. You can see that little jacket in the bottom left corner above my stamina bar. That is elemental protection that we get for the first five levels, and it tapers off over time. So our first day we get the most benefit and then less benefit in subsequent days, but that will give us some thermal protection so we can survive a little bit better in the snow. I mean, not that the cold is particularly dangerous, it just saps your hunger meter a little bit more. Kind of like how the desert saps your water meter a little bit more. But uh, yeah, we're going to need to get some clothing, we're going to need to get some insulated lining mods. We need armor, we need weapons, we need basically everything, and we need food. So let's see if we can work on that right now. Alright, that's a good start right there. That'll be probably dinner for tonight. Alright, so we need to spend our skill points. Uh, wh which way am I going here? I am trying to go to the northeast. Here we go. Okay, skill points. I'm going to probably hold off on one of them because... We might have to take a point into advanced engineering so I can get the forge. I want to see if the trader's forge has a schematic first, though. That would be kind of key. I could just save myself a point there, at least for a few days. I do want to go into archery. That is a good one to take. I'm going to take Master Chef because we're going to need a lot of boiled meat. And then I'll take one and two sexy T-Rex. That just helps with basically everything in life. So, all right. Watching out for the dire wolf and the other wolf and <laughs> probably other unknown dangers here. We're going to get all the feathers we can. Uh, let's see here. I should probably make a better bow at this point. Uh, can I? I'm short on some plant fiber. I can get some of that real quick. Okay, uh, wolves, please stay back. Yep, I can get that level 2 bow now, and, um, uh, fortunately I did get some honey out of one of those stumps I was working on, so good deal there. Okay, scrap that bow. Get an arrow in here. Oh my god, another wolf! Okay, taking a wide berth around all these wolves. Oh, I can't wait to walk around one of these trees and just smack right into a bear. That's going to be real fun. Or mountain lion, or wolf, or dire wolf. So one thing I do want to look at real quick while I'm thinking about it is, okay, if we look at the game stage, it's level one. So, you know, day one, level one, game stage one. However, if we go into our core character stats, loot stage is 22. And if we go into a town, we get another three points on top of that. So it'll be up to, oh, geez. Interesting little fight going on over there. Now, if I thought the Yeti could kill the cat, I might kind of wait, but um, I think the cat's going to win, so we're out of here. Yeah, so we're going to be getting really good loot right off the bat. I'm going to search every little bird's nest I can. We're going to need the arrows. That's kind of why I want the forge tonight, because I want to be able to make iron arrowheads, and therefore uh, iron arrows, because archery is like really, really good in uh, Alpha 20, so that's what I want to spec into. That's going to be our weapon of choice. Oh, shit. Ah, there's a cat on me. No, 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 no. Can I run? Can I make it? I don't know. Is he behind me? Crap. Um, just jump up here. Ah! Okay. <laughs> he didn't chase me. Wow, that was close. Let's go ahead and just slap a bandage on. Off to a wonderful start. I'll get some stone while I'm right here. The only mod that we're going to be rolling with is the inventory lock slot mod. I've ported that over from Alpha 19, so that's working. Alright, so I think we're coming up on the city where I've decided to reside in for the series. I believe that's it up there on the left, maybe? Not this place. There's like a, a small town and then there's a big city. So that's what we're kind of working toward. 
Holy crap, there's the Shang Tower right there. I guess that's where we're gonna live. Yep, this is the big city up here. Against my better judgment, I'm going to risk the frame rate drops and live in a big city. <laughs> Now, on the northern edge of this city, there is a trader, and it's trader wrecked. I so I I don't know. If, is it cheating if I looked at the previewer? I don't really think it is. I mean, it's it's a game option. It's like a game feature. It's there, so I looked at it. Uh, I wanted to know where I'm going, and there is trader wrecked at the northern edge of this city. So I'm gonna kind of just I don't know if I should go around the outside or if I should go straight through the middle. But um, I guess oh chicken. All right, let's let's try out our bow hunting skills on these yetis. It's gonna probably not work very well, at least early on, until I get some better arrows and better weapons. Really hoping that Trader Wrecked will sell me a better bow, or a crossbow for that matter. Oh God, arrows are going right through them for some reason. Uh, did I make a mistake trying to go with bows or what? Oh, there we go. Damn, that took forever. Yeah, I think early on we're just going to be not fighting the Lumberjacks uh, when we can avoid it, at least. It's kind of also scary. In the snow biome, it, it appears as though ferals just kind of spawn during the day and wander around the city. So, <laughs> look out for those guys. Hey, some corn. Oh, and there's a bear in the cornfield. What? Oh, there's a deer. Oh, I got him, but he's running off now. Crap. Ah, I guess it's not the end of the world. Get some potatoes. See if I can catch up to him. Oh, got him. Nice. Ooh, gonna be eating good now. Even better. Somewhat of an obstacle in the way here. Uh, can I just go around him? Mm, uh, ah, no, no. Oh, jeez, you gotta really watch out for them. Fortunately, they don't seem to give a lot of chase. Uh, I do have some frames now, so we can do the whole pull up and out of the way trick if we have to. Oh, man, another wolf. Okay, just gonna go this way. Ah! Oh, dire wolf! Oh, shit, this is bad. What? Why? Why? Attack the zombie! Get some bleeding damage on him! How about some fire damage? If we can- Ow! Whoa! Whoa! Bandage! Seem to be in a good rhythm here. Shoot him three times in the face, repair the block, shoot him three times in the face, rinse and repeat. Ah! Get back! Oh, jeez. No! The, the wolf died. And I got credit for it. I probably, like, caused bleeding damage or something. Get out of here, you son of a bitch! Ah! Not another one! Ah, finally. Well, at least we're going to be uh, very good on meat for a while. All right, moving right along. Note to self, stay away from the freaking animals. Ooh, look at that, a wrench. Wow, perfect. Thank you. Nope, oh, food, good stuff. Okay, what do we got here? Nice big flat open spaces. I do like that about Alpha 20, that the terrain is like just, it just seems good. Is that the trainer right there? It's not loaded in yet. I guess we'll have to give it a minute. Oh, yes, there we go. It's a trader. Yeah, so what I did in my game is I turned down the render distance because I was finding that in the city, my game is trying to render, like, things that are really far away and that I don't really need to see. Let me know what you guys are doing for performance and, and how it works for you. I, I do pretty good, but I get bogged down in some places. I, I'm hoping that, you know, it's still kind of experimental, so we'll see if they work on that. So unfortunately, working workstations have been removed from traders and removed from the wild, but I'm gonna check them nonetheless just to see if we can find a schematic. 
All right, skill points, intellect, advanced engineering, blacksmith, that will give us craft forges and craft items with them 20% faster. Oop, and we're very hungry. I did find some food, so we'll eat that. We'll search this bus here. I have found some good stuff in these little short buses before. Oh my god, an iron shovel! <laughs> That'll replace the, uh, the stone shovel that I literally just found. Oh yeah, the cool thing about Rex's compound is that you can, uh, like, kite zombies and bring them right up to this little row of spikes here and um they can't do anything he's just gonna die there so i guess if we got desperate enough i could pull bears and uh let's try that actually ah would you get out of the way i'm trying to get some food here i guess we gotta take care of this guy first oh look at this got a whole party going on there we go all right he's down Okay, I hit the wolf. Back inside. Let's see what he does. There he comes. Right over here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Just shoot him in the face. Pull the arrow back out. Shoot him in the face. Aha! <laughs> there we go. And I got credit for that kill, too. That's good. Okay, good deal. All right, let's finish searching this compound here. Wrecked. Snappy as ever. Ooh, got a jacket there. That's kind of good. Uh, where'd that go? Oh, right here on the hot bar. Okay, how's that looking? <laughs> okay. Gotta do what you gotta do. All right, Wrecked man, give me a job here. You got. Uh, ooh, these are all like kind of far away, actually. I definitely don't want buried supplies. I'll take this one. Uh, gas station. Okay, fair enough. What do you got for sale? Ooh, this is like the best urban combat book. Ten percent more damage when you're indoors, and you take five percent less damage. So we'll be targeting that later on. Otherwise, he really has nothing that I think I need. So let's just sell him whatever we have. Yeah, man, that's that pretty much does it. Fortunately, we just we haven't been looting, so we don't really have anything. Oh, we have a car here. I didn't search. Um, yeah, <laughs> nothing in there anyway. Okay, get rid of that. I'm gonna just stash some stuff here, and we we need to go clear out a POI to live in for tonight. Okay, and now we're thirsty, so we'll drink this water, eat this food, probably harvest up just a handful of snow. There we go, eleven snow. That'll do. Okay, where can we live around here? Okay, little. Rinky dink POI right there. We've got that army camp over there. There's no hard structure there though, so not a good place to live. Ooh! This barn! This is a good barn. Uh, we've got the motel over there, and we've got that little shack right there. This farm right here. Another shack over there. Yeah, yeah, I think this is gonna be the place. Unfortunately, not a new POI, but yeah, we're only gonna be here for a few days anyway, and then we'll start building the new base. There could be boars here as well. Okay, we need to kind of clear this out as quickly as we can because Feral Sense is on at night, and that is kind of bad news. Oh, I was going to try to get a sneak attack on this one. Messed it up, though. There we go. Okay, is there a boar here that I need to know about? Or snakes? I feel like I remember there being snakes here before. Ooh, one-shot kill. Nice. Ha! Ah, whoa! Shit! Um... Oh god, run! Run! Ah! Ah! Whoa, buddy! Wow, he, uh, he can really run, can he? Aha! Eat that! You know what's, like, kind of ironic is that Episode 1 of the Vanguard series, which was the very first YouTube video I ever made, uh, this was the first POI that I cleared out in that series. It was even on the thumbnail. <laughs> and here we are. Okay, for safety, and because it's uh, close to night, I'm going to knock these ladder pieces out right here. And watch my head, because I think they might be coming in from above as well. Where are you? Oh, no, they're doing good over here. Oh, lots of activity. Hello. We meet again, Arlene. Ah, yes. The false floor here. Gotta be careful. 
Yo! Uh, okay, we're good. What is that, a lumberjack downstairs? Who's in here? Just levitate some torches around. Show off my magic skills. Oh, did not get the one-shot kill on that one. Oh, he's doing the creepy crawly thing. Uh, hey, level up. Arlene again. Okay. She's a creepy one when she's crawling around like that. Oh, hello. Oh, the knife, it sucks so bad. Oh, you know, we're level two, so everything kind of sucks. So I think they fixed it now where this is a thing you can do. You can actually jump up here now without it collapsing. Although I'm probably gonna be punished with a broken leg for risking it here. All right, you all wake up, back over here, and down you go. Whoa, 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 man. No, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Yeah, that's what you get, jerk. <laughs> Too bad zombies can't get critical injuries. All right, so that is it for today. This is gonna be where we live, right up here for a little while at least. Uh, let's get this loot and see what we get. Oh, wow. Iron pick already. If we could just get a hammer, then we'll be out of the Stone Age. Ooh, steel arrowheads. And we got a tempered blade schematic, Molotov, first aid kit, some shotgun rounds. Damn, I was hoping for, like, some kind of a weapon or some armor, but... Ooh, recog. Damn, that's some good stuff. All right, I guess that's it. Let's see if we can get a forge going. No, in order to do that, I need duct tape. So we can't turn bones into glue because we don't have the cooking pot. We can't get the cooking pot because we don't have the forge. We can't make the forge because we don't have the glue. Oh man, early game problems. We can, however, make some murky water, make some boiled water. Then worst case scenario, we can just make a little bit of charred meat. All right, there it is, nightfall. So zombies are now on sprinting speed and feral sense is active. So basically, unless I'm just crouching over here in the dark in the corner like this, uh, they can hear me and they're going to be constantly looking for me. So probably what I should do is jump on down and see if I can pick them off real quick. There is also the hidden stash that's in this little silo here. We should probably run over there and get that. My last chance for salvation here is searching the scrap trash just to see if I can get either glue or duct tape. Damn. Although this would be, this is nice right here. Um, if you guys could just blow that car up while you're all on top of it, that would be great. Holy crap, it's like Horde Night, my goodness. I can see the car like moving and getting damaged. I'm not sure if that means it's gonna blow up soon or what. And I'm not exactly sure that I'm not in the blast radius either. Come on, blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. Why are there so many of you? Oh, there we go, nice. And so here's what I'm finding. If I draw my bow, just for a second, hold still, they forget that I'm here, and then I get a sneak attack on them. You just have to be very patient. You just hold the bow back, wait until they stop moving, get a sneak attack. Okay, so with that point that I just, that skill point, I'm gonna go ahead and spend it now. I would like to go more into archery, so we'll take that into agility. There we go, that's the trick. Holy cow, man. Finally, it's over. I do hear zombies, though. Give me some of these arrows before I run out. God, I went through like 70 of them. All right, my friends, I think that's just about all we can do for tonight. Charred meat it is for now. Anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day number two. Nothing big happened overnight, but there is a zombie wandering around downstairs. 
I didn't get a chance to kill her because she's just been running around all over the place. But for early this morning, now that Feral Sense is off, I think what I want to do is run over here and we're going to hop down into the silo and open up this... Oh, that was a weird texture bug there. That's okay. I'm going to jump down here and get this... Uh, what is this? Like a hidden stash that's over here. So pop my torch down there, use the shovel to dig up the hay bales and open this crate up. Tell me there's something good in here, please. A uh, bunch of bullets and uh, some Molotovs. Not terrible there. Still looking for a gun, though. Speaking of gun, we don't have any glue to make the pipe weapons, and we don't have uh, a cooking pot. So the big thing on the agenda for today is to get the forge to then make the cooking pot. But in order to get the forge, we're going to need glue. In order to get glue, we need... A cooking pot. To get a cooking pot, we need a forge. So we're in this, like, little loop here. <laughs> Something has to break. Let's take care of this zombie that's in here first, though. Hello? Where are you? I can hear her squishing around in some guts. It's disgusting. All right. Get some light in here somewhere. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna head to the quest location. It should be a gas station, if I recall. So it's probably the... Oh, jeez, a bear! Wow. Okay. Um... Real quickly, can I get a ladder somewhere to get up here? Uh, I don't want it to be... Uh, I think that'll do right there, right? Is that is that going to work? Yeah, I can get right up there. Good. Okay, take a wide berth around animals. We learned that lesson yesterday. Still collecting feathers. We're going to be making iron arrows tonight. And so worst case scenario, when we go to... If we don't get any glue or duct tape at this quest location, we can go to Trader Wrecked and buy some. It's kind of price... Ooh, there's some glue right there! Never mind. Yeah, actually, we need three duct tape for the forge, so we might have to um, buy at least one from Trader Wrecked. I'm gonna get you. Come here. Got him. All right, I'm gonna cheese it a little bit. I'll grab these chairs up. I'll search that cooler. I'll search whatever else is here that I can search. Then I'm gonna hit the quest marker and do it again. <laughs> this is about the extent of the double looting cheese that I'll do though. I get three cans for my efforts. Nice. All right, I hear footsteps. Yep, we got a uh, lumberjack here. Yeah, we'll just take him out before we get started. I don't know what is going on. My arrows are going right straight through him. Like, I don't know if, I, if the hitbox is messed up or the animations are messed up or what it is, but it's frustrating as hell right now. Like, like that. That should have been a, a hit right in the chest. Like, I'm reluctant to even go for headshots because I just can't hit him in the head. Yeah, it is experimental build, after all. Yeah, I think we should be in uh, safe range to do the knife to the head trick. There we go. Free manure, no thanks. I got another two of them. Oh, crap. Well, let's just do this one the easy way. There we go. We're good. Take that down. Oh, buddy. You okay there? All right. Oh, it is now storming. So uh, we're... Are we wet? Yes, we're wet. That means we're going to be feeling the temperature 100%. Oh, dear. There's a wolf out there fighting something. I don't know what it is. I, uh, I'm kind of scared that he's like aggroed on me, though. Let me put some of this stuff in this car real quick so we can move again. Not sure what he's doing, but I'll leave him to it. Let's take this guy out. Whoa, he is fast, isn't he? Oh, there's that wolf! Fuck! Okay. You son of a bitch. Shoot him in the face, yank the arrow back out, put it right back in his face, yank it out again. Try to get some bleeding damage on him. I get some fire damage on him too? There we go. Aha! Eat that! 
And a skill point. What can we do with that today? I think we need to go one more into agility to get the next point into archer. So that's what we're going to do. 35 meat, man. That is good stuff. Now who's here? Oh, I woke the zombies up that were inside. Okay, fair enough. Gotta kill them anyway. One more in here, I think. Close that door. Holy crap, a dog. Okay, just gonna be careful here. We know the animals are, like, really super dangerous. Get a sneak attack on them. Good, close the door. Ah, uh, yes, the old open the door, shoot him in the face, close the door trick. That only lasts as long as the door does, though. Oh, Arlene. How are you this morning? Not so well, I see. Uh oh he's through. Get him. Ha-ha. That's it for the quest. Let's loot up. We'll eat our last charred meat for the day. Hopefully the last charred meat for forever. Get some boiled meat later on. And some, uh, I think I have like 20-something eggs. We can start eating uh, bacon and eggs. Oh, bicycle chassis. Interesting. And an oil recipe. I'll take it. Anything good in here? Uh, first aid bandage. Don't mind if I do. And knuckle wraps that I'll sell. And some iron arrows. Okay. Still no guns. Oh, there's a... Uh, isn't there something hidden up here usually? Ooh, a weapons bag. Give me a weapon. Whoa! Pipe shotgun, baby. Nice. I got some shotgun rounds on me too. B-E-A beautiful. I was just trying to get the inventory squared away. If I don't need it, I don't want to be lugging it all the way back with me. But uh, it appears as... I mean, I need basically everything at this point. So it's hard to kind of discern what I should leave behind and what I should take with me. What is this? Uh, seven? Uh, well, close enough. All right. So we're going to make our way back to the base. We'll drop some stuff off. We'll head over to Trader Wrecked. We'll get the one duct tape that we need. And then we will head back to the base, make the forge, make the cooking pot, start doing some cooking, make the glue. That's not what I want to do. All right, let's get this all sorted out. Okay, I grabbed all the things for selling. Let's head over and see the trader now. Come and get me, asshole. I dare ya. Ah, how do you like that? All right, well, I'm going to leave him to it. I don't want to waste the iron arrows just yet. So should have some stuff in this car. I'll bring that home with me when we're done. Anything here I need to sell, though? I'll sell those military armor parts and those freaking lead fishing weights. What is it with all the... I have 16 lead fishing weights. I can't even fish. Uh, how about I empty your pockets? What that was my thought as well. What is this? Uh, read this book to make your own denim jeans, skirts, and overalls. Don't need that. I'll take the 10 Molotovs, though. Any other jobs nearby? Uh, southwest. Let's see. I live to the southeast. House Old Ranch 10. Where's that? Okay, right over there. Good. Let's sell them all of our stuff. Okay, fair bit of coin there. 1500 Is there... Uh, so I need the one duct tape, right? Yes, that's important. So now I can get the forge crafted. And we should be good from there. We can make all of our own glue at that point. Anything else here that I want? Oh, there's that urban combat book. Ooh. 5% less damage and 10% more damage when indoors. Is there anything I can sell you real quick to just get over that threshold? Can I sell him Molotovs? Probably not the best thing to sell him. Uh, what do you want, man? Take it. And what do you what do you need? Can I sell you some water? Water's pretty cheap. Ah. Thanks, buddy. Is there anything out here I can sell him? Steel, gas, lockpicks. Uh Okay, I'll be back for it later. I don't want to be too desperate and kind of do something I, I'll regret later, like sell all my lockpicks or something like that. Hey, buddy! Have a nice day! I'm gonna grab some of this corn while I'm right at it. Might as well, right? All right, home sweet home. Let's get to work. We have a ton to do. Okay, got the three duct tape I need. Get the forge rolling. There's the forge. Forge down. Get it rolling. Get the cooking pot. Put this land claim block down. Nice, give me that cooking pot. Good deal, give me, uh, let's see. I'm gonna need, like, a lot of glue. Let's get, let's see, I need one duct tape for every piece of armor. I need five pieces of armor, plus I need two to make the pistol, so we'll take seven for now. I'll just leave the murky water and the bones in there. Take all the eggs and the meat, and we'll get bacon and eggs after that. Ah, we're gonna be short on cloth that we need for making armor. Is there any cloth around here? 
just having a look around here. I can't find anything that's made out of cloth. I need like a little bit of extra cloth so I can get three pieces of armor, but we might have to just settle for two for now. All right, that's a start right there. Let's see if I can get that pipe pistol going. And come to think of it, maybe I should just make the pipe rifle as well. Or pipe machine gun. Probably the pipe, pipe machine gun is gonna be much better as just like an oh shit kind of weapon. All right, here we go. We're in the pipe age now. All right, let's get some arrowheads rolling. 96, perfect. Now I can get some padded chest armor and some padded leg armor for now. Finally, we get some real food. Slap that armor on. How are we looking now? Completely awful, but we're working on it. Okay, there's 67 arrowheads. We'll get 67 arrows going. And I think with that, we are ready to go. I mean, <laughs> the inventory is like over one third full. In fact, I think I'll probably just leave the food here and we can leave the water here. Okay, that frees it up a little bit, but we're carrying too many ammo types. But early on, man, I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna roll with everything that I think I'll possibly need. All right, let's go do that quest. Run up into the attic. There should be one zombie here, and I think it's, uh, I think he's behind this little, I don't know what you call this. Yeah, like a furnace, I guess. I don't know who puts their freaking furnace in the attic. Kind of weird. Here we go. Oh, Marlene. How not nice to see you this morning. Or afternoon, I should say. Either way, good night. College jacket, college jacket. Padded hood. Well, that saves me some duct tape, I guess. Pull some cloth out of this so we can make the boots later. Might as well dig up some of this cobble while we're here. We need, we need to get started building at some point. All right, this is the death trap portion. If you fall down there, there's two or three zombies in the kitchen, I believe, that will come and get ya. There might be one in that closet as well. Let's, um... Hmm. What should I do here? I'd probably get a torch going down there so I can see something. Can I just levitate a torch somewhere, please? How about right there? Good. Maybe what I'll do is just... Oh, there's a zombie right there. I see one. Is that a stripper? Oh, oh, right over her head. I have to try to remember to get that arrow. Ooh, one shot kill. Beautiful. Anybody in there? Uh, I don't think so. Well, what, what happens if I do this? Yeah, there we go. Come on out here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> My aim is terrible. Okay, no more wasting ammo, except for this kind of ammo. Steve, oh, freaking hold still, man. He's like, he has that freaking seizure movement, so you can't hit him in the head. You crazy son of a bitch. Eat that. Jeez, man, how many of these are you gonna take? Go down already. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it here. Yeah! Whoa! Got him. All right, careful here. There might be some more in the kitchen somewhere. Any more zombies? Okay, well, I don't think so. We'll just close that door. I think we're good. We can loot up here a little bit. Where's that supply chest anyway? Is it uh, over this way? Anything in the bathroom here? Zombies? Nope, cloth. Take that. Toilet pistol, toilet pistol. Dang it. Needle and thread here. Uh, denim jeans, skirts, and overalls. No, thanks. I should have just actually kept that and sold it. Ah, stupid me. Do I really need to do this for the leather? Or I think you sometimes find money in couches. Is that correct? Or do you have to use the wrench for that? Let me let me try that real quick. No, no money. Maybe, the, I don't know, is that a book or something that you read to get that? I don't quite remember. All right, what time is it? 16.58, we're making good time here. Um, hmm. On second thought though, instead of going down there and getting trapped, I'm gonna make a little hatch here. And if we get in too much of a sticky situation, we can come up here and, like, do the hatch doorway trick. Okay, that should help. Hello? Eh, I don't see anybody. Oh, I see a foot. It's, it's Bo, isn't it? Oh. No! Oh. Ah! Okay, they're awake! Run! Okay, who, who am I dealing with first? Um... Oh, we got a Mo, yes. Okay. Just stab him in the eyeballs. There we go. Easy peasy. Anyone else down here? I still see that foot over there. Who is that? 
Oh, I keep clipping the door. They were supposed to have fixed it. Oh, it's the nurse! Hello there, nurse. Nice to meet you. Yeah! Nice. Alright, uh, where is that supply chest and... Ooh! Yes, washer and dryer. Damn it, they're broken. They're like my favorite thing to search because there's a chance you can get the college jacket. Wow, ooh, some good stuff in there, actually. Oh, we got a lumberjack outside who is aggroed on us. Should probably just make it quick and get out of here. Uh, there's like a lot of zombies out there. What the hell is this? Is this a horde? Oh, jeez. Um, oh, satchel. Uh, is there a zombie up there? I don't remember. Lock this door. Alright, well, I'm gonna just roll with the shotgun once I get up here. Oh, th I think we're good. We're good. Alright, loot, loot. Give me the loot. Oh, good bone knife. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Some shotgun rounds. Love it. Bullets. Yeah, I think this is a freaking wandering horde and they're trying to break it. Ooh, handlebar schematic. Not that I can make this the handlebars because I don't have a workbench and I have to freaking either buy one or get points into advanced engineering in order to make it. All right, that is it for this place, but um, I believe there are zombies basically everywhere. So I'm going to try to pound my way out of here. Ah. My axe broke. Damn it. Uh, what else can do block damage? Where's my wrench? Uh, yep. They're right downstairs. Great. Oh, what am I doing? Don't I have stone in my inventory? <laughs> I thought I didn't have any stone. Okay, <laughs> we're good. We're good. Oh, jeez. A little bit of a balancing act here. And get over here. Just gonna run. Just gonna run. I don't have time for this crap. I'm out of here. I'm gonna, like, sneak over there to that working stiff tools truck because... The last time I searched one, I got the wrench, a level two wrench. So I might just check and see if there's anything else I can get out of this one. A hammer. Wow. These are awesome. I believe there's a zombie inside these, isn't there? Yes. Whoa. I'm too fat and heavy for this. Whoa. Ah. Holy crap, Bo, you son of a bitch. You're a feral. Wow. Get the hell back! Eat that! I'm not fucking around with you! Ah, got him with the bleeding damage. Love it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Grab that. And I think we're good. Let's get out of here. We're too encumbered to be fighting like this. Ooh, skill point. Nice. Let's go ahead and take that into archery. Then I can get that new primitive bow crafted. Oh my god, a pistol! Wow! Good find! Let's get that changed over immediately. If I just do modify on that pistol, it'll take the bullets out. And uh, I guess I just sell that. Ooh, nice! Whoa, 16 bullets. Wow. High capacity. Purse pistol. Better than a toilet pistol. Okay, real quickly, I just want to drop a storage chest down. This is going to be my sellables chest. All right, so I'm going to actually put these uh, iron tools away. I don't need them just yet. All right, so just putting some of these items away so that we can head over to the trader. And uh, that, that should do it for now. We only have a few hours left in daylight and a few hours left before the trader closes. So I want to get this reward before nightfall. All right, you son of a bitch. What do you got for me? Some 9 mil or pipe bombs? Wow, that is a good question. Pipe bombs would be good for a horde knight, but the 9 mil is good for the pistol. And I feel like since we just got the pistol, I'm going to go with that. All right, what else you got, man? Clear zombies to the south. Farm number 12. I'll take that. Is that going to be my farm, though? No, that is the farm over there. Okay, good enough. We'll have to do that tomorrow. It's a little late in the evening to be, like, raiding or doing anything at all, really, because Feral Sense is on. I think I'm just going to gather some resources before nightfall. Okay, so one of the big questions here is how are we going to turn this into, like, a temporary horde base or, like, a temporary fighting position area? And I don't have a clear answer for that, but I'm just going to get things buttoned up a little bit so that I can actually sit in here and think about it in peace. I think that'll do pretty well right there to get a little ladder that goes up here. One thing that we are a little bit desperate for is lighting, so I'm going to get some torches crafted. 
Yeah, I think I've uh, got all the unstable floor pieces to collapse, and I can just fill the floor in here now. Okay, yeah, better, better. We're getting there. Yeah, interestingly, this bottom rung here is cobblestone, so that's kind of nice to see. Alright, with that, I think we have the makings of a nice little horde fighting area that we can build in here. Just gonna have to, like, do some remodeling, knock out these rafters a little bit, and what I'm kind of thinking is to do, like, steps that go up kind of like this that force the, the zombies to kind of, like, jump and slowly kind of pull them up to the area up there where we can then fight them and knock them back down here. And I, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Gives me something to do during the night and uh, we'll get some resources out of this too because we can get stone out of this sand here and we can get clay, I believe, out of this corner here. So that'll be nice. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are cold and dark, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day number three. And I've been a busy little bee tonight. I've got the... well, the base is kind of getting laid out here, getting some lighting going, some storage boxes, everything's getting organized a little bit. Uh, I don't think there's anything left for me to do this morning except for probably get some breakfast in my belly and or maybe just bring some with me at least. I'll bring a coffee as well. Coffee's good because it gives you a little bit of thermal or cold resistance, I should say. Only three minutes, but if there's a storm or something, we should probably drink that. Uh, what else do I need? We should probably lock the inventory up. I did get this clothing pocket mod crafted, so I'm gonna put that onto my plant fiber shirt because that makes a whole lot of sense. But anyway, it gives me one extra slot in the backpack. Won't say no to that. All right, let's uh, hit the road. So we are heading right over there. It's actually a nice clear morning this morning. Very nice. And uh, this little farm here, I've done this farm before. This is the farm that we stayed in during the uh, streamer weekend event on the live stream there. So I know the layout a little bit. I don't think there are any good veggies in there. This is like a um, cotton farm or something. All right, anyway, let's hit it. And check that trash again. Freaking fishing weights. All right, I know that there's somebody in here somewhere. Hello? Oh, oh, hello, Marlene. Good morning. Very good. And I'm cold already. <laughs> Great. Oh, I see someone there. Oh, of course, There's a. this is like a trigger room, so there's no way for you to sneak up on the zombie. Not a very good trigger room, though, because Moe's getting stuck there. Here he comes. Ooh, did you see that? That was brutal. All right, nothing exciting outside. Who's inside? Ooh, I'm, th I'm thirsty. Uh, I guess now's a good time for the coffee. Might as well just eat the bacon and eggs as well. Any other snacks in here? Ooh, some lamb ration. Sure. Oh, crap. Having a hard time sneaking with a, a massive flaming torch. Who would have thunk it? Oh, another one. Bo. Oh, shit. Man, he's a quick one. Grab this cloth while I'm right here. Ooh, two radiators. Not bad. So I think the real fight here is upstairs. So I'm gonna just start sneaking here. Yeah, it gives me the little marker over there. They're all in the closet. And I think there's three of them. And this is a false floor, I think. So you gotta be careful. Hey, a BDU top. Okay. Speaking of that scratchy little plant fiber shirt, I'll uh, get rid of that. All right, this might be a new POI, but it's like my third time clearing it, so I know the drill here. I'm not sure if I can sneak up on them or not, though. Oh, I can. 
beautiful. Whoop. That didn't work so well. Oh, and Tom here. He's a quick one. Oh, of course. You teleporting son of a bitch, you. Pissed someone off outside as well. More than one by the sound of it. Ooh, a bicycle chassis. Five repair kits. That is pretty good, actually. Ooh, another pipe shotgun. Can sell one of them. And some first aid bandages. Good deal. Ooh, more first aid. What's in here? Lucky goggles! Oh, not the really good ones, but hey, better than nothing. In fact, I had nothing, so it's significantly better than nothing. Holy crap, they're knocking down trees outside. I just forgot my torch. I want my torches. Alright, are they breaking in here or what? Indeed. Well, step right up here. Three of them. Okay. What is this? Horde morning? All right, that's a wrap. Let's head over to the trader, turn our quest in, and do some shopping. I actually saw that he had some acid. Actually, someone uh, left me a comment and, and said that he has acid. And uh, come to think of it, you know, I haven't seen any acid since I've been playing in Alpha 20. So I think it's a little bit less common than it used to be. So it's probably a good idea to stock up on it. All right, Put asshole. Put away your weapon unless you'd like to die in my store. Ranger's Guide to Archery. Oh, remove 20% more arrows from my target. Awesome. Good reward there. What do you got for other jobs, though? Uh, to the south, there is a fetch. I really don't want a fetch. I would rather... Well, I don't have much of a choice, do I? I'll take that one to the south, then. The laundry store. Okay. Sounds good. Let's uh, do some shopping here real quick. I'm going to sell him that chassis. I should um, actually repair this shotgun. I don't have any pipes. Okay, well, I'm going to repair that then a little bit later. Uh, I have plenty of dukes, I think, to buy this acid. How much is acid? 420. Okay, that's not too bad. So I'm going to buy that, and then we still are, are trying to um, get this book. Where is it? Yes, Urban Combat Volume 7. That's a really good book. I would love to get that. So... Let's do this other quest. Uh, actually, I'm going to go uh, store my stuff at the base real quick. We'll grab the money, and then uh, when we turn in our next quest, we'll get that book. I feel like having a ladder on this side, because I'm lazy. Ah! Okay, I think we're good. We will read the archery book, and I need some repair kits. Fix my shovel. How am I doing on food and water? I could use some drink. I've got the money with me. Okay, let's go do that other quest now. Alright, that didn't take long to get here, and is this vending machine working? No. So, in that case, I will take it apart. Nice, got a little bit of steel out of that. How much? Three? Yeah, not too bad. Gotta take what you can get until you can make it yourself. Oh, we got a lumberjack here, but he seems content to kind of walk away. Alright, um, oh, never mind. Ah, again with the arrow going through them thing. Damn it. Okay. Well, close enough. Hey, is that a loot bag? Where did this come from? Interesting. Don't need that spear. I'll take the rest of it, though. So sometimes what happens is, like, nighttime zombies will spawn in. And then nighttime zombies just die when it becomes daylight. And sometimes when they die, they leave a loot bag. So... That's how you find, like, little random loot bags. At least I think that's uh, that's what I've reasoned as being the cause of that. Now, is that vending machine back over here? Indeed. Oh, also broken. Okay, take this one apart. Oh, friggin' Marlene. Oh, boy, we got company here. Oh, and Tom is a fast one, so we're gonna just do the trick here. Is that it? I think we're good. More company, though. Holy crap, man. I'm a popular guy today. Yep, 
Man, I'm loving archery so far. It is a good skill to take. Speaking of skills to take, I did get a skill point earlier, and I, I was going to go into Hidden Strike. I think that's a good idea. Do a little bit more sneaking. Ooh, four times sneak damage. Love it. Any birds up here? I hope not. Oh, there's the satchel right there. Look at that. Can I just squeak my hand in there? Nice. Oh, man. Really? You want me to jump down there? I don't like that idea, but I guess I have to do it. All right. Well, let's just get it over with. He oh, I'm still sneaking. Okay. Is that it for this place or what? We got a back room here. Ooh, a football helmet. Whoa, man. That is significantly better than my padded hood. Not doing me any favors in the style department, but... <laughs> Got some gothic boots right there. Better than my plant fiber shoes. Got a poncho here, but it's not good in the cold. However, it has black dye on it, so it's probably, like, the coolest thing in the game. Can we put that just on the jacket? Okay, looking a little bit better. I might toss that onto a weapon instead a little later. Oh, a puffer coat! Way better in the cold than the jacket. And way cooler looking. Wow, we're looking badass now! And the black dye onto the pistol for a nice cool tactical look. Nice. College jacket! Oh, it's really bad in the cold though. I don't know what to do about that. It might be like one of those things for this series that I do. I like, I'm gonna have to keep it in my inventory. I'll have to think it over. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Should I wear the college jacket all the time? Or should I carry both the puffer coat and the college jacket to help with the hunger? Because every time I'm cold, I lose hunger faster. I guess like the hunger, ooh, that's some good armor there. The hunger is not, ooh, a sweatshirt too, nice. The hunger is not as big of a deal to me as is the, like, the cold, frosty border that you get on your screen. I don't like that. Oh, is there more to this place? Oh my goodness, there is. Wow. Is this, like, the danger zone back here, or what? Whoa! Oh, jeez. All kinds of zombies back there. Um, can you not come up here, please? Okay, that's it for that. I think that was the boss fight. Oh, look! Activate the key, open the doors. I love that. Oh, look at this. Loot! Well, not the best loot I've ever found, but uh, let's see. I can eat this, drink this water. Oh, boy. All right, who is out here? Businessman. That's not the gun I want. Okay, think we're good here now. Super duper encumbered. Wear the new padded chest armor, scrap the old one. Take all the dye. I just heard a friggin' mountain lion. I'm gonna hide on top of the washing machine for now. <laughs> just put the dye on like anything. I'll sort all that stuff out later. We'll try to look as cool as we can. Wow, okay. I'm <laughs> finding um, just some armor in this garment bag. Yeah, mountain lion just outside. Hopefully that does not become an issue here. Ooh, a pipe pistol there. Yeah, I think I just aggroed that cat. Where is that freaking cat? He's gonna kill me, isn't he? Alright, out the back, I guess. I'm just gonna leg it over to the traitor. Actually, I think I'll, I'll stop by home real quick just to lighten the load. Anything chasing me? No, I think we're good. Just double check. Yeah, we're good. One more time. We're good. What, what is this? Is this a bird? Why is there a bird? Is it a bird horde? Die! Where's the rest of you? They don't just show up in onesies and twosies. There's a whole- Yep, there's another one. Freaking bird horde. Yeah, they're gonna swoop down on me when I least expect it, so we gotta keep an eye out for them now. And right, I'm gonna grab up everything from the trader. I'll repair that pipe shotgun. Um, I can probably repair these with just a little bit of iron if I have any. I think I need cloth to repair this. Yes. 
Okay, good. Everything's all repaired up. And we can head over to the trader, turn our quest in, and buy that book we've been wanting. Watch out for birds. And we probably can squeeze another quest in for today. I'm so jealous of Rex's awesome garden. All right, what do you got for me? Ooh, improved fittings mod. Extra mobility and stamina per second. Hmm. Not as good as the customized fittings mod. Probably I'll just take... Ah, uh, you know what? Mods are kind of hard to come by, and I'm going to take a point so that I can make pipe bombs in the future. So I'll take the improved fittings mod. Kind of probably a controversial decision there, but... I like my mobility. Any new jobs for me? Hmm. Fetch to the south. What's that? Electronics store. What else you got? I'm not completely convinced that I need any electronics type of schematics or anything right now. Got this other one to the southwest. That's another farm. Okay, yeah, I'll take that one. Alright, let's sell. Nice, we got a skill point out of that. And we want... I think it's in the secret stash. Urban Combat Volume 7. That's huge. And since this is the last day before restock day, anything else that we want, we should get. Serrated blade mod. I'm going to buy that for my knife. Wood splitter mod. I'm going to buy that for my axe. And that's it. I might just actually put that wood splitter mod onto my knife when I'm not chopping wood so that I get that 10% boost to base damage. I like that. All right, I say we're pretty light on our feet. We'll we'll eat the <laughs> eat that book. Yeah, we'll read that book actually. And I can put this improved fittings mod onto probably this helmet. Yep. That helps. All right. Now let's head to... Where are we going? Check the map real quick. That's pretty far away. In fact, that's kind of where we came in from. And it's getting late, so let's head directly there. See if we can get that done before nightfall. Rolling up on the place. We've kind of come straight through here before. Free corn. Oh crap, it's this place again? Oh man. All right, well we're here, so we might as well do it. Same place twice in one day. Ooh, nice. That reminds me, didn't I get a skill point there a minute ago? I did. Gonna take deep cuts. That'll help with the knife action. Ooh, okay. Cooling mesh mod, not gonna need that. In fact, I should have sold it, but it's just instinct for me to read these things. And that's 10% more sneak damage at night. Okay, not terrible. Here's the supply satchel that we're looking for. Same trick as before. This is just like the way you do it here, I guess. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow, that was fast. Ooh, a new shovel. Some better armor. And that's about it. All right, let's hit the road. Oh, look at that. Double barrel shotgun schematic just hanging out in some trash here. I'll take that. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I heard my stomach growling and I thought it was a cat. Oh, boy. I was gonna say, is there anything fun I can find in here? A couple of zombies, though. Oh! <laughs> One dropping down from the ceiling. I'm gonna check here, see if there's any loot up here in this attic. Not really. No, oh, I see. This is just like the way that you're supposed to get into the regular POI. I will take that bird, though, if I can't. Whoops! Oh, ow, I sprained my leg! Oh, man, I didn't know there was a gap. Crap. 
All right, here we are. Where are your friggin' steps wrecked? Damn it. Get a rock busters. I will take that. What health bar? Gimme, gimme. What do we got here? Bar brawling? Don't need that. 762? Sure. Any other jobs though? Uh, just these fetches that are... What was this one again? The electronics store? Okay, we can do that in the morning. Okay. <laughs> home sweet home. Just in time too. It is nightfall. Some food going. Alright, we have company down here. Actually, upgrade that. Um, just remove that. Here we go. That's kind of my idea here for the horde base is that we're going to make this into like a little bunker style base down here and then when it fails, we'll run up there and we'll have like steps that go up or something like that. So I suppose we can get started on that that work here. Oh, who's out here? I also want to see if they're going to try and do the, the, the crawly thing, the, like the one space gap crawl through this window. I know it, there's supposed to only be 1.5 meter gaps, but I've seen them come through one meter gaps as well. Alright, let's get a little bit of work done. All right, well, it's been a busy night. This is gonna be the general outline right here. So the idea being zombies jump, 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 and jump. I'll put a fighting position right here. Look, we got a nice natural light here as well. Huh, funny how that worked. And then maybe we would just have like a mini fallback position here in case anything catastrophic happened. But this is gonna be it for the first couple of weeks. I'm thinking if I knock out these railings, I can kind of shoot them with the bow as they're coming up, and then they come up here and I stab them in the face with the knife. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day number four. So we're just picking up where we left off last time, building the little bit of a horde base downstairs. This morning, though, we have to do some crafting. So I want to wear the college jacket. That has been decided. I'm going to take the die off. We'll get these things switched around a little bit. We'll get ourselves looking a little bit better. We're looking actually quite a lot like a football player right now. Okay, not sure if that's better or worse, but it's something. Anyway, we are level seven today and our loot stage is 43. So now what I wanna do is spend my skill point this morning into deep cuts because then I can craft quality three fair knives. And I should have some forged iron rolling out of here. That's good. Can I now get this crafted? I need another duct tape. So just give me all the duct tape crafted. Gonna need a few more of those this morning. Give me that quality three hunting knife. Hopefully that rolls good and I get good stats on it. I'm gonna need some padded gloves and some padded boots. And I'm gonna need more arrows. All right, there's the new knife right there. Just gonna put the same mods back onto it. Very nice. Put this padded stuff on. Put those boots in the trader box to sell them later. And now two more pocket mods. And with that, I think we are pretty much ready to go. I will slap this pocket mod onto the college jacket and another one onto the BDU pants. 
Finally, got a couple more slots in the backpack. If we could only get some armor Pokemons, that would be great. So what are we doing here? We got 5.1 armor rating, so that's 5% less damage from that. 5% less damage from, so a total of 10% less damage that we'll be taking and 10% better run speed. And if you look at the deep cuts perk, if you uh, inflict a bleeding wound, enemies are 10% slower. So, so we might be able to cheese a little bit less from now on because we'll be able to slow down the enemy and we'll be faster ourselves. So we'll get a little bit of morning breakfast and hydration. And we have two more quests that we need to do this morning to get the bicycle. So I will meet you at the electronics store. Coming up on the place now, and one thing I kind of wanted to try is the old throw a rock and distract the zombies trick. See how they're running over there to that rock I just threw? See if I can just throw a few rocks and get them out of the way. We don't want to fight too many at one time. I think we've kind of graduated from the cheese stage, so now that we have some good weapons and armor, uh, we're going to just go toe to toe with all the zombies that we find. Go that way. There we go. All right, one more over there. You get out of here. All right, I think we're good. Let's hit it. What is going on here? Having a hard time. There we go. Okay, I think we're good for the bottom floor. Oh, nope, there's one over there, crap. Oh, we've got company coming in from outside as well. Um, don't want to get trapped here. We've got... Oh, jeez, we got multiples. Oh, and a lumberjack. Oh, jeez. Why does this always happen? If I can get some bleeding wounds on them, we can get that 10% reduction in their speed. That would be nice. We can just kind of kite them and bleed them out over time. Yeah, we got one down. Get some stamina back. Oh, his bleeding wound wore off. There we go. Come on, man, just go down. Karen, you bitch, get out of here. Ah! Whoa, oh, stamina! Ow! Oh, that's gonna attract a lot of attention here. Great! To the bathroom! Come on up here. Well, we we did make it, <laughs> technically. We had to cheese a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Good stuff there. Go ahead and drink that and take the rest. All right, is that it? Whoa, okay, definitely taking this stuff. All right, let's, <laughs> the task at hand is to clear this friggin' place out, find the supplies, I guess. So I'm gonna look for some schematics here real quick. I don't expect we'll find very much useful stuff here at this stage, but might as well look. Whoa, quality six pipe machine gun in that little backpack back there. That is insane. Now this is an oh shit gun. Well, not a whole lot going on here. I did get a couple of headlights. Whoa, oh crap, I didn't see her coming. Yikes. Ooh, a couple of tech junkie books here. Robotic weapons deal more damage, and we can craft robotic turret shells. Ooh, a couple motion sensors. I'll save those for later. Quiet down over there. Another tech junkie. I'll just sell that one. Robotics parts and more headlights. My goodness. And there's the satchel right there. At least we'll be done if we have to make a quick exit. But there should be some loot up here on the roof. Question is, who's guarding it? A bird. Yeah. And some other zombies. Ah! Take care of that. Jump my ass up here. Oh, ow, what happened there? Oh, I fell in the friggin' ventilation duct. All right, we'll go ahead and take a bandage real quick, get some stamina back, and I'll jump down there and kill Mo. Oh, I was kind of sitting here wondering, like, why is my frame rate so bad? Oh yeah, because the Shang Tower's right there. <laughs> Give me these feathers. Give me this loot. Actually, close that friggin' hatch. 
Oh, okay. Some bandages, some ammo. Nothing too spectacular there. I think we are good to just get out of here at this point. Uh, can I just jump down onto that stuff there? Yep, good. My god, we're like super duper encumbered. Is there anything I can get rid of here? Nails, uh, iron pickaxe. I'll probably just sell that. Rocks, jars. I kind of need all that stuff. Let's go. Oh, what is that? What? Okay, now is not the time for that. All right, gonna break down the bird's nest for extra feathers by popular demand. I always get super weary when I'm going through this little forested area. Because what if there's a bear right around the corner? I mean, if there is, I'm completely dead. But, oh, there's a crawler up there just having a nap. Okay. All right, wrecked. Give me something good, buddy. You think you're pretty smart. Oh, uh, 762, I think I'll take that. Other jobs today. Well, they're kind of far away. Southwest. Is that going to be the farm gas station? Have I done that yet? Uh, I'll take it and have a look, I guess. Where's that? Um, okay, yes, we can do that. And can I just quickly see your inventory and maybe sell you a couple things just to lighten the load a little bit? Oh, by the way, today is Trader Restock Day. Yeah, so let's uh, have a look and see what he has. Another wood splitter mod. Hmm, anvil. That would be kind of nice to have, wouldn't it? I'll take it. I'll take his cobblestone just because it's so cheap. Oh, he has a wheel. And because acid is so rare, I'm gonna buy that. Oh, that's a really good, great heist book, too. 20% more damage to land claim property, so you can renovate more easily. Wow, quality three compound bow. That would be, like, game-changing. I don't know if I'll be able to afford that in the next three days, though. And he's got this structural brace mod. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna put the structural brace mod onto the hunting knife, and I'm gonna put the wood splitter mod onto the stone axe. And that will do it. Let's head home real quick. Drop off all of our crap here. Okay, better. Little bit hungry, little bit thirsty. That'll do. Let's move. This is gonna be the big one here. We're gonna get the bicycle after this quest. All right, this is the one. I think we've been here before. This is the one with the underground portion, the bunker. Oh, triggering the zombies already. Yeah, they gotta fix those triggers. All right, real quick, double loot here. Ooh, not bad. Hit it. Maybe close that door. Again? Ooh, a couple radiators. I wonder if by doing that I got double zombies, or did the same zombies just kind of stay where they were? Uh, okay, you stay there. Open this. Oh, the airdrop! Where's that? Um... Crap, I don't see it. It's not coming out of the plane. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's not too far away. That's like, kind of right over by home. Okay, come over here. Oh yeah, there's a lot of zombies. I think we got double zombies in this place. Head on a swivel here. Don't want to get snuck up on. There we go. Ooh, just like that. Got a skill point. Uh, I would really like to go into sexy T-Rex. I think that has to be, like, an objective here. I'm having a lot of stamina issues. Alright, should be all clear to loot up a little bit. Nope. Ow! Oh, chemistry station schematic. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, that pretty much confirms it. I had looked into the game files to see if that was still a thing because you know how they um, <laughs> they made that change where you can't find the working um, workstations at a trader or in the wild anywhere anymore. But uh, yes, you can find the schematic still. Okay, down into the dungeon. Ooh, wait, workbench. What's in here? Ah, damn. Looks like Mo. I can see his big, gooey, friggin' bubbly knee. Ooh, clutch. Is that it? Nope, we got one more. There he is. Is there another one back there? Close that door. Yeah, there's uh, one more, it seems. Oh, look at who it is. Of course. Oh, Arlene. Thank you so much. All right, we are good here. Let's just loot up. Oh, another quality six pipe machine gun. We can repair that one and sell it, though. All right, anything good in here, please. Ooh, pipe rifle. Uh, I do like that. Not necessarily convinced I'm going to carry it, though. Ooh, spotlight schematic. Okay, we're good here. Ah, the ATM machine, which is locked. Can I break into it? 
Ooh, 5,000 hit points. No thanks. All right, let's head back to the trader and get that friggin' bicycle, finally! All right, wrecked. You think you Tell me, ooh, now. um... Here you be. Yes, definitely, yes, definitely the Molotov cocktails. Oh, look at this. Quality six wrench, melee mods bundle. Oh, I really would like that, but of course, the bicycle is way more important to us right now. And special jobs, opening trade routes, 1.7 kilometers to Trader Joel out west. I'll take that. You're not working Do you have any jobs? No, he doesn't have the tier two jobs yet. So I'll wait for those for tomorrow. And I've already looked through your inventory, so we're good there. All right. Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck off. All right. Oh, hang on. We got company here. Might as well uh, kill him first. There we go. Get those arrows back. Fortunately, I got that ranger's guide to archery that allows me to get more arrows out of my targets. And there we go. Home sweet home. We'll just drop off our stuff real quick. Okay, looking good on food and water. Let's go uh, meet that new trader real quick. Probably should bring the money if I'm going to the trader, though. And we could just do a little bit of a sell-off, just in case there's anything, like, we really want to buy over there. Okay, way off to the west there. Not even sure if that's the snow biome or not, but we gotta find out. Okay, here we go. We're coming up on this whole new city out here now. All right, here we are. What do we got here? Check the vending machine first. Anything good here? Not a damn thing. Killing me, Joel. Killing me. Nails. What the hell, man? More nails. My goodness. This guy is just broke as fuck, isn't he? Holy crap. Never mind. All right, buddy. What do you have? I don't want to take any jobs from him because he's too far away and I, until I get like a motorcycle or something, I'm probably not going to be coming out here too often. Oh, he's got the nerdy glasses. Yep, take those for sure. All right, he does have some stuff that I want to buy, like that cobble right there. So I'll just sell him his own scrap helmet so I can buy that. Ooh, he's got an AK-47. I don't think I'd be able to afford that even if I sold him everything. He's got a mining helmet. Oh my god, it's expensive though. Damn. Oh, he's got a weapon flashlight though. I do like the idea of having, having that weapons flashlight, so I'm gonna sell him some stuff until I can get enough money to buy it. There we go. Alright, I think we're good now. At least we have some form of light other than the torch. Better than nothing. So hot tip here for using the bicycle, if you hold down, because usually you hold down W and then you'll hold down shift to like sprint or go faster. So this is just W and this is when I'm holding shift. But if you just hold shift and then press W when you want to go, you end up using much less stamina. So you just kind of like hold shift and pulse W and watch your stamina bar until you find that sweet spot where you're really not losing any and you'll end up going just as fast as you would if you were like holding down both of them. All right, it's getting late. We need to head back home and do some work on the base. I'll meet you there. Aha, hey, here's that airdrop right here. Nice. What a pleasant surprise. 500 wooden cubes. That'll be handy when we start making the base, I think. Nice. All right, home sweet home. Oof cold out there. All right, we'll get these nerdy glasses on now. It's debatable, really, if I even need the lucky goggles. Let's have a look at what difference this is going to make. So 42 loot stage with them off, 45 with them on. Man, not really dramatic. Honestly, I think for like the first time ever, I'm going to just put them away for now. If I get a better set, I'll, I'll probably, I'll, I'll keep them in the inventory. I'll switch them on and off. I know if you want to like min max and maximum efficiency, you'll carry them with you and you'll put them on every time you want to loot up. But uh, after I did all that looting testing for the lucky looter video, I'm not convinced that lucky goggles are really the best thing to have around all the time. Oh man, that cold really works up a hunger too. Look at that. Lumberjack in the building right here. All right, I've got everything I think I need to get started on construction for tonight. Another lumberjack here though. Yeah, not exactly sure what I want to do here. Maybe we could make a fighting position right here. Maybe, like, pull some of these out so we have more room to, like, maneuver. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's, I, I'm kind of liking that idea. I'm gonna dig up the rest of this floor, though.
All right, that is it for the ground level. We got the floor all framed out at least. Yeah, I kind of like the looks of that. Let's get these upgraded now. Aha, there's a level up too. What did I say I was going to go into? Uh, I don't remember now. I think I was going to go into like Viner 69ers so we can just start like do... Oh no, I wanted to go into Sexy T-Rex. Ah, which means I have to go one more into Strength. And then tomorrow we can go into Sexy T-Rex. Okay. All right, so this is going to be the idea right here. I'm going to make a little fighting position here. We can hold them off temporarily at nighttime. When we need to fall back, we'll just run over here, jump up. Uh, we'll probably have to rearrange things here. Well, there will be a fighting position right here, and we'll just wait for the zombies to jump up. And this will probably cover us for the first two weeks as we accumulate the resources we need for the big, big base build that'll happen later on. As for the rest, I think we can just seal it in. I think they'll want to come to the front now more than anything. All right, my friends, that is going to be it. Tomorrow we will build the fighting position here on the front of this causeway, and we should be all set just in time for the Day 7 Horde. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think that'll do it for today. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day number five. What I thought we would do this morning is probably go do some, like, breaking down and get some, like, car parts and stuff like that. I think we have enough stuff, and we can probably get enough stuff and enough, and enough dukes over the next couple of days to buy that quality three compound crossbow, or compound bow, I should say, because that is a tech three weapon so we wouldn't be able to get that in loot until our game stage or i should say our loot stage is 90 and it is only 44 right now so we are a long way off from being e able to even find quality one compound bows or crossbows so that is going to be a huge game changing item it's like 10,000 dukes maybe today or tomorrow i could take a point into better barter to reduce the price down and if we get enough stuff to sell i'll take the point into better barter we'll get five percent more from what we sell and it'll cost five percent less so that'll be a ten percent difference uh so but anyway let's get to work today we gotta go break down some cars and do some fundraising What I thought we might do while we're over here is there was the... Oh, there's a radiator right there, which I will have real quick. Yeah, there was this uh, ATM machine. So I'm going to see if I can break into this and get some cash. Wow, first try. Not bad. What do we get? 309 cash. Not not too bad. All right, trader should be open, so let's head directly there. All right, Rick, how you doing this morning? Everything's for sale. Even what do you got today? Like you. Ooh, tier two buried supplies. We've got tier two clear zombies. I think that's what I would prefer to do this morning. Ooh, downtown filler one. Uh, that sounds new. Okay, that's exciting. Let's uh, let's go check that out. Might as well just uh, drop some of this crap off while we're going. Here, just put it in here for now. Good enough. Whoa, okay, <laughs> friggin' zombies everywhere, including a cop and mountain lion. Holy crap. Well, okay, y'all come over down here and we'll we'll do the whole clear the friggin' area before we clear the area thing. Ow, ooh, ow. Okay, 
There we go. One down, two down. Good deal. Oh, and look at the cop is fighting the mountain lion. Perfect. And we got a skill point too, so I can go ahead and take that into Sexy T-Rex. Whoa! I missed all the action. Ugh, this is just not good, man. I can't get to the freaking quest. There's a cat in the way. Can you please go somewhere else? Of course, he's just going into the POI. Oh my god. Really, man? Really? Well, fine. I'm gonna activate the quest. And, uh... <laughs> well, now I can't leave the area. Great. I just, uh... Do this. Is that okay? No! No, not okay! Yikes! Whoa! Okay, I'm running. Okay, over here. Cat, get the zombie. Direwolf, lumberjack. Oh, jeez. Time to go. I'm gonna do a different quest. I'm fatigued, and I'm almost dead, and they're chasing me. It's all right, I have the power of the shift W trick. I can get out of here. Oh, man. Life sucks. He's still chasing me. You son of a bitch, you. Eat that! It's like he's not aggroing on me because I'm too far away or something. Wow. I... I don't know how many hit points they have, but it's friggin' crazy. There we go. Okay, well, at least I killed him. Okay, give me all these friggin' arrows back. Give me your body parts. I don't have any vitamins? Oh, no, I have one. Oh, thank goodness. And I'll just take this first aid kit, and we're good as new. Oh, so embarrassing. Rekt is gonna chew me up for this one. <coughs> yep, sorry about that, Rekt. What else you got today, buddy? Uh, here's Major another clear zombies. Farm work. number four. Okay. Oh boy, this is not a farm, it's a vet! Wow, cool! Probably means there's dogs in here though. Alright, just stashing up the bike, drank some coffee, and we can hit it, I guess. Let's make sure all my guns are loaded, that would be an issue. Okay, I think we're good. Ooh, rafters. Oh, there's a snake. There we go. Whoop. That lab worker here with a dangling hand, nice to meet you. Good source of polymer here. Polymer is good for selling. Uh, there's got to be dogs in here, right? Oh, hello. Ow. Oh, shit. Recog. Holy cow, man. Oh, we got a wall safe there. Just show me where the dogs are, please. I know they're in here somewhere. Ooh, getting lucky today. This is my lucky lockpick, apparently. Oh, wow. Okay, switch that over. I mean, I think this uh, pipe shotgun is basically garbage, at least on insane difficulty, but uh, I'll take it nonetheless. In fact, why don't you just have both of them down there, just in case? It'd be like the new blunderbuss thing, you just have a big row of <laughs> pipe shotguns. All right. What's going on out here? Just get me up on some safety, safe height. I like this POI. Nice open spaces and no dogs. At least not so far. Good deal. Ooh, look at this! Oh, I thought I thought it was like a basketball hoop. It's a bird nest. Nice. Hey, what about pigs? Any pigs in here? No? Wow! Oh, dogs! Oh! Oh boy! Oh man! One down! Oh, two down! Saved by a friggin' birdhouse! Oh, and I just... vaulted over the friggin' fence of the property! Yikes! And there's apparently still more zombies in there, that's crazy. A lot of people have been commenting so far on the series, like, that I shouldn't be nerd polling, I shouldn't be 
uh, put in frames and doorways and stuff, and I'll, you know, true, yes. I know that kind of takes away from the immersion, and I'm working on that, but at the same time, I'm playing on insane difficulty, sprinting zombies, and uh, in the snow biome, so, <laughs> and I'm doing an agility build, so I kind of have, that's, that's part of, like, how you survive as an agility player. You jump on things, and you shoot them with a bow from above. I'm not playing heavy armor with clubs and sledgehammers, and if I was, I would do a lot less cheesing and jumping on top of stuff. Oh! Surprise! Yikes! Ooh, decapitation! Close that door. Are we good down here? Get some light so I can see. I actually do need some cloth. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh. A couple sleepy zombies there. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna completely illuminate the area. Perfect. Very good. Powered doors and bridges schematic. I always find that, like, super early in all of my playthroughs. I wonder if it's a common schematic? Not sure. Ooh, a hooded sweatshirt. I'm not gonna wear that, because I don't like how it, like, affects your third-person view, and it takes away whatever, like, helmet or hat that you're wearing. See, if I put it on, it just kind of, like, takes my helmet off. I don't know why that is. I don't like it, though. Ooh, black dye in that puffer coat. Nice. What else is going on here, anyway? I hear a mountain lion. Oh, there's the loot up there in the water tower. Oh, boy. Well, luckily, only these two have triggered. The other one seems to be broken. Ah. Ah, fatality. All right, as for this guy. Might be able to sneak up on this one. Yes. Oh, there we go. There's more? It's a dog, isn't it? It's It's gotta be a dog. Alright. Charge! Oh, it's a biker! Oh, even worse. Slow down, buddy. Get that bleeding damage going. Yeah! Ow! Oh, shit. Ah, there we go. We are good to go. Alright, what did we get here? Ooh, basics of electricity, nice! Stun baton, we'll scrap that for parts. Savage Country, gonna be a disappointment, I guarantee it. Oh my god, a helmet light mod. What? That is crazy. That is the best item I've ever found out of a Savage Country box by far. Ooh, quality six bone knife, and that is um, pretty much just as good as the one that I'm using, if I'm being completely honest. And a corn seed recipe. Okay, good stuff. Let's get out of here. Zombies are kind of everywhere, and they are pissed. All right, it is like kind of late in the day. I figured we would have gotten more done, but you know, that whole snafu happened with the, the mountain lion and the dire wolf and the cop, and it was just a disaster. Anyway, we are officially in a hurry. Oh, that's home right there. We can just drop our stuff off and then we'll go over to Rex. Ah, mountain lion. Okay, I think we're good again. All right, let's hope we get a good reward for this this well, time. Ooh, baseball bat or vitamins. Well, I don't have any vitamins anymore, but I think we can find some. I'll take that bat. I also have, I think, a barbed wire mod or like a chain mod I can put on that. We can sell that later. Okay, more jobs, please. Clear zombies. Ooh, a fetch and clear. That's quite a ways off. Southeast. That's like downtown, though. Let's go south. Store auto parts. That works for me. Oh, yeah, that's, that's directly downtown as well. Okay. All right, we're coming up on the place right here. Oh, really, Auto? Nice. I think this place got, like, renovated, too, for Alpha 20. Indeed, it has the new doors, at least. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing what's inside. Let me just pop that quest marker and take this guy out.
Okay. Good deal. Now, with that point, I think what I want to do is go into the Daring Adventurer. Uh, I think that'll help out. We're going to be doing a lot of questing, so we'll see. Aloe cream. Just put that on your face. More of it. <laughs> Smear it on, baby. Uh, we got a little bit of activity here. And by a little, I mean, like, kind of a lot. Okay, I think we're okay. Ooh, some food. That is good. Take this steel, please. Thirsty, that's bad. Alright, uh, any birds up here? I'm pretty much gonna guarantee yes. Oh! Oh, there's the courier satchel. How did that not kill you? Oh, he's wearing a hard hat and I hit him in the back. That's probably why. Okay, third try is a charm, maybe? Yes! Okay, give me this. Still gotta clear the area, though. Who's in there? Nobody? Oh, yes! Somebody! Okay, they're still working on the doors downstairs. That's fine. I don't see anyone down there. That doesn't mean that there isn't anyone down there at all. So we just drop down. Oh, there's somebody. Down she goes. Guess I'm just gonna risk it down here with her. There we go. Uh, some more in the basement, it seems. Oh, there's the loot. Where are the zombies, though? Oh, I heard one. There we go. Okay, are they in here? Yes. Ow! Oh, two freaking hard hat zombies. Great. Oh, shit. Uh, can you guys come into the spikes, please? There we go. Good. Area still not clear. There he is. He's right over there. Oh, I ran into the spikes. Take a bandage. There we go. Here he is. Yes, that's it. Let's get the loot and get the fuck out of here. Single pocket mod. That's not too bad. Okay, am I encumbered? Barely not. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm leaving. Hit the button. Open, 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 open. Let's roll! Oh god, there's so many zombies in here! Holy shit! Ah! Ow! To the bike! I'm leaving! Oh boy. I think we're good. Look out! Alright, and with that, I think we can call it a day in terms of questing and being outside and being not safe inside the base. Okay, Wrecked. I am done doing your dirty work for one day. Ooh. That's a hard choice right there. Painkillers. Man. I'll take the baseball bat. Our objective right now is making money, and the money is in the baseball bat. And what do you have for jobs for tomorrow? Ooh, let's take a buried supply so we can do that early, early in the morning. Sure. Yeah, there's our bow right there. 10,000 dukes. Uh, should be roughly like 9,600, 9,700 once we take that point. Oh, wow, we could get the pump shotgun as well. Well, probably not both of them, but damn, that's a tough choice. I'm gonna go with the bow. All right, we're starving to death. We'll eat, we'll drink, we'll get organized, and we'll get to work. I think one thing I'm going to do for the next day or two is put the shotgun away and I'm going to carry a little bit more 762 with me instead. Put the shotgun away and we'll just carry two of these SMGs just for like oh because basically um, after our experiences today I think we need like more oh shit firepower so that that gives us like roughly 29 rounds to dump into whatever's chasing us oh wow i forgot about all this stuff here give me so just comparing the two here we get the same attacks per minute slightly less stamina usage if we're using the bone knife and only like one more damage if we're using the hunting knife. So I am going to revert back to the bone knife and that way we can sell that hunting knife. Okay, good enough. And that'll net us an extra 167 dukes. Getting the die rearranged a little bit. Get some food going. How do I not have any friggin' snow? Okay, and with that, I think we're good. These are all empty. Need to just knock those out actually. And we can probably head downstairs and get some work done.
Okay, actually, I think everything down there is done. We just need to make the the new fighting position. And things have changed dramatically from Alpha 19 until now. So basically, they've changed all of these pole blocks. Now only have 25% of the normal hit points. And all of the plate blocks, which or I think actually includes these poles here. But the plates and stuff like that, they all have like 50% hit points, so th things are different. However, I've done some testing and I know exactly how we're gonna work around that. First thing we gotta do is just frame it out on the sides. Gonna have to knock a few of these things out as well. Okay, pretty sure we have, like, is this like a wandering horde or something? What are you beating on? You're beating on this block? Why are you doing that? What are you even standing on out there? Okay, so what we're doing here is we're doing this, that, that, this, and that. That makes a nice little three by three frame. And now we gotta get jiggy with the shapes. The first shape I'm gonna use is the security gate centered diagonal. We're gonna put one there and one there. Then I'm gonna take the dynamic grate. I'm gonna do advanced rotation and I'm gonna get it just like that actually. That's exactly what I want. Because these you can shoot through. They don't take damage from your bullets, either guns or arrows. And with them slanted down like that, I can see down. So if there was ever a dog or something that came up in there, I'd be able to shoot at him and see him very well. You could use bars here, no big deal. I'm just trying to, you know, use some new things that I haven't used before in the past. Now what we're going to do is take the dynamic grate again. Advanced rotation. And I'm going to orient it... Similarly, just like this, so that I can see from this angle here, I could see if there was anything underneath this little shelf. Now, these have full hit points. These have not been nerfed, basically, so you can still use these uh, without any ill effect. I'm going to make myself a hatch. We put the hatch on the top, on face, just like that. Now, here's where things get a little bit tricky. If you go into stairs and you grab these stairs spiral pillar railing right and left or corner left and right, you can do uh, another on face rotation. Uh, is this the one I want? And I want this one on this side, just like, just like that. And then I'll get the right on the other side, just like that. Then I'm gonna get the stairs spiral pillar railing right, advanced rotation, and I'm gonna put that right there. On the other side, right there. Okay, so now on this side, it's the same shape. I'm just gonna put it right there. You can see where the overlap is a little bit. So there's two blocks there. So it's very difficult for them to break through. And then on the other side, you have to just get the other, we'll get the right one for this side. Same thing, advanced rotation. And we'll just flip it around like that. Very good, very strong. Now, for the bumper. If you've been following me and my base builds, and uh, in the past I've used poles to kind of go across the front like this, but now the pole has been nerfed. However, if you go into construction pieces and you get this I-beam small, the I-beam has not been nerfed. So I can advanced rotation this and just get it into the orientation that I want it in, just like that. And um, I guess I can run that all the way across. No, I don't want to run that all the way across, but I can do it on the bottom as well. There you go. That's your, your new bumper, your new plate, your new bumper. And then typically what I do is just do the same thing on the back like so. For some reason, the zombies really like uh, coming up here in the back. I don't really like that. Where'd you go, Arlene? Come here. Oh, wow. It's like a whole horde of them. Well, step right up. And just for like aesthetic purposes, because you know, aesthetics do have a place in the game now. I could just do a little bit of this, make it look pretty cool. Nice. Oh, the nurse came over. I'll take the free XP, no problem, thank you. All right, so guys, tell me what you think of this right here. Do you think it's gonna hold? I mean, <laughs> I know it's gonna hold. I've been using this in the multiplayer server, but we need to get it all upgraded now. It's not gonna do any good at all if it's just made out of plywood.
All right. Good to go. All right, this is it. This is the view we're gonna have at night. I thought we were gonna be able to see down to the causeway a little bit better. I might need to knock some stuff out here. I guess I could come over here and just shoot him from the side. That's not too big of a deal. We have a whole nother day to prepare, plus day seven. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold. But there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today, we continue the Frostbite series into day number six. And today, there is really only one thing on the agenda, and that is to make as much money as we possibly can so that we can afford that compound uh, bow, actually. I keep trying to say crossbow, but I wish it was a crossbow, but it is indeed a bow. And maybe if we can get enough money today, we can also get that pump shotgun, but I'm not holding out too much hope for that. So what we need to do is go dig up this buried supplies over here. We'll turn that in as soon as Wrecked opens, hopefully. And then we'll bang out a couple more quests, and um, between the stuff that we get for loot and the loot we have and the quest rewards, we should have enough money by the end of the day. I'm right, rolling up on the spot here. Any vicious, hungry animals, or are we good to go here? All right, it looks like we're pretty good. I did bring this uh, mineral water to help us dig. I think we're good to hit it. One thing you guys have probably noticed, and I've noticed it too, playing on the multiplayer server, is whenever you get the dig radius down like that, sometimes zombies spawn. I thought for a while that that was only going to be on the tier 3 quest, the new tier 3 buried supplies, but it seems to be on the tier 1 as well. Oh, there we go. Yep, they spawned in. Ooh, one-shot kill. Good morning, Arlene. And good night. Oh, come to think of it, I should have brought the looting goggles to get that negative one dig radius reduction. Oh, again? Really? Oh, jeez. It's Thomas. He's a quick one. In fact, they both are. Start bleeding, please. Oh, decapitation. I love it. Ow. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Digging this guy a little grave here. <laughs> There's another radius reduction. We got a mountain lion over there and lumberjack over here, and the fog's rolling in. Oh, crap. Ah, there it is. Wow, embedded down into the stone layer. Thanks, fun pimps. Might just take a little preemptive bandage here, and we can hit it. Oh, man. That stuff sucks. Oh, crap. Ow! Oh, I'm all stammed out. Crap. Oh, this is not going well this morning. Oh, boy. Well... The job is done, so let's get the hell out of here. Oh, Rex, tell me you got something good for me, like Time first aid kits money. or something. Wow, a military helmet. Uh, yep, I'll take that. Any more jobs? Got clear, oh, fetch and clear to the hey, south, Motel 1. I'll take that. Good deal. Ooh, anything in your vending machine today that I could use? Um, ooh, we got two skill points as well. Oh, uh, speaking of that, I think one needs to go into better barter, and then take another point into intellect, and then another one into better barter, maybe? Uh, I'm gonna hang on to that second one, then. Alright, well this is really close by. Alright, we can probably run right through here. Now last time there was a feral in there, so this time... I might just kind of get ready in case that happens again. Ooh, I didn't realize this was all broken out on the top. Do you think he spawned in there? He did. 
Oh, oh, and he can probably get right up here, can he? Great. Are you a feral? I haven't seen his eyes yet. Yes, damn, he was a feral. Ooh, pipe rifle. Ooh, aloe cream, nice. In fact, speaking of that, we'll just take, take a bandage. And we'll read that schematic. And we'll scrap this uh, sledgehammer. I don't need that for anything. Oh, and that military helmet. Freaking put that on, please. Very good. All right, I don't know if this is like um, like dungeon style or not, but the lights are over here, so this may be the indication of where you should start. Why do I hear a mountain lion? Uh, now I'm like friggin' paranoid. Yeah, I think he's just on the other side of the building. All right, well, I'm gonna leave that side alone for a minute. Oh man, can I get in here? Oh, this is the main loot. <laughs> Oh, are you feral? Nope, just a regular guy. Oh, that cat is mad. Here, uh, barricade the door. And sneak. Ooh, that was an awesome sauce. We could use that today. Ooh, okay, interesting. And we have uh, ooh, a chance to harvest acids from like cars and medical equipment and acid barrels, stuff like that. Good deal. Acid is rare. Speaking of acid being rare, uh, Trader Joel has three of it, but he's so far away. I don't really want to go way to hell back out there. Okay, is that friggin' mountain lion like right over here or what? Where did he go? I'm gonna stash the bike because I'm like way over encumbered right now. Oh man, I find some good stuff in these duffel bags. Duffel bags and like the sports bags? They are not bad sources of loot. Okay, so much for this being like dungeon style, because uh, this is the dead end here. I think we're just doing the door to door thing. Oh crap! Oh, a dog? Are you kidding me? Oh, the dog has stopped chasing me. Thank goodness. I'll drag these zombies over. We'll deal with them next. Ooh, got a decapitation. It is a good omen to cut Steve's head off. All right, now it's just me and that dog. Try and get a headshot. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, guns for this one. Oh, ow. Oh, we got company now. Oh, like lots of company. Where did you all come from? Ow! Oh, fucking crawler sneaking up on me! Ooh, in the knee. Okay, I would certainly prefer not to use all of my bandages, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just... Mmm, 32 health out of the hobo stew, sure. Hopefully there's not dogs in all these rooms. Good for medicine cabinets, though. Honey, nice. Oh, two black sweatshirts? What? This is crazy! Start putting that on my gear immediately. Most of these rooms are empty here. Ooh, pipe machine gun. Flashlight we can sell. Supplies in here, it looks like. And a zombie. Aha! Is this like a way onto the roof or what? Oh, I love it. Nice. Oh, give me that ammo. Oh, we got a bird. It's good, I need the feathers. Rotten flesh, I do not need so much. There should really only be a couple more zombies here, I would think. There's only like one room left to search. Oh my god, my third flashlight today. All right, this is the last room right here. Yeah, made it. Oh, this is like the, <laughs> the penthouse, the executive suite. All right, lights off. Sneak down here. Hopefully we can get the drop on them. How many are there? Oh, they're gonna be in that closet, aren't they? Yep, we got at least two. And Steve for the win. Ooh, scrap helmet. Some food and crap that I really don't need or want. All right, and that is it. The inventory is completely gummed up right now, so we gotta get out of here, stash our stuff, turn the quest in, and see if we can get another one done today. 
can get a fire going while I'm here putting my stuff away. I'll get the water up. I need to bake some boiled meat. Just get all of that going. Nice. And after that, get all the boiled water going. And this uh, little spike mod here, I'll put on that baseball bat so we can sell that later. Looking good. I think there's plenty of stuff in there to get all the money we need. All right, Rekt. I got your yeah, shit for you. Oh, wow. Yeah, take your reward Wooden bow. 36 damage on that. Oh, man. And I can't actually compare that. I don't need the wrench. I'm going to take the bow. And then let me see your inventory. Okay, so this is doing 36.6 damage. And that quality 3 compound bow is doing, oh, like 50 damage. Okay, yeah, so still probably worth it to get the compound bow, but damn, man. Oh, I like the wooden bow so much better. It would have been nice to have a period where we used that, but <laughs> I can't say no to the compound bow. Watch All right, yourself, anyway, what do we got for other jobs here? Coy. Ooh, what is this place? House Old Tutor number four, and that's just a quick fetch quest. I wonder if I could just go grab the supplies, just like gank them real quick. And then uh, that just gives us an extra quest reward. All right, I think we're gonna try that. Aha, the JW house. Hmm, where would the supplies be in there? Probably upstairs. This is an interesting place because you can kind of get up there pretty easily, I think. All right, let's uh, hit it real quick and see where they're gonna be. Yeah, they're gonna be upstairs. I'm gonna try to get the supplies first. Maybe get the main loot, and then I also want to get the mushrooms out of the basement. Oh, here we go. There's the main loot right there. Am I right? Yes, right here. Oh, except uh, now I'm waking everyone up. Great. Not working out the way I had hoped. Where's the zombies? Are they down there? Knock that ladder out. Good. Why don't you just kind of plug that up too? Well, <laughs> let's get the loot real quick. Oh, here they are. They're trying to work their way up to me now. Great. Ooh, ergonomic grip mod. That is pretty clutch. And otherwise, I think we're good here. Uh, where are the supplies? They're below me. All right, well, we gotta kill some of these zombies now. Whoa! You bitch! Where did you come from? Ow. Oh, these damn crawling zombies. They're all friggin' weird and glitchy. Ah, oh, look at this guy. Oh, hey, skill point there. Let me back up here. Yeah, interestingly, I was just looking at these uh, pipe submachine guns. Now, they did that whole nerf where they decreased the magazine capacity. Whoa, friggin' pistol in the purse again. But uh, now both of mine, I think one had 16 and the other had 13, and now they both have 15 magazine capacity. So that's an interesting nerf. Okay, so uh, where are these supplies? Oh, they're right there. Okay, good, good, good. Give me. Also, give me this and this. Good. And give those frames back, and we are basically out of here. I'm gonna just check the basement real quick, and then uh, that's, you know, one easy quest out of the way. Yeah, always a couple down here. And there's a couple that are awake that are upstairs. Okay, give me these. Oh, there's one. Hello. Oh, one more. Oh, buddy, watch your step. Oh, bonus loot, too. Not bad. Okay, anything good down here I could just steal real quick? Ooh, good stuff in there. Panicking a little bit, because I know there are zombies awake, and I know that they're gonna come for me if I let my guard down. Oil shale, I think I'll take that. I can actually craft a chem station now. Uh, the hard part is gonna be finding a beaker. I hear that beakers are, like, impossible to find now. Beakers are the new crucible, someone said. Ooh, bellows schematic. That's pretty clutch. Okay, that's enough for this place. Let's get the hell out of here and go back to Wrecked. Oh, check the mail. You can get schematics in the mail now, so always check the mailbox. All right, I got your shit yet again, Wrecked. Call me a jackass. Hmm. Ooh, that's a good pickaxe. Antibiotics or cooling mesh. I'll take the pickaxe. Any more jobs? No, I don't think we're ready to do restore power. I mean, I can barely survive in the daytime right now. We do have a clear zombies to the southwest house old ranch. Eh, that sounds boring, honestly. What about this clear zombies house old ranch 4? Oh man, you're killing me. Fetching clear at farm 11? 
Uh, what else we got? Clear zombies to the southeast. Lot downtown filler one. Well, that sounds dangerous. I'll do it. Oh, fur. Cold out there. All right, let me get this stuff all organized a little bit. Uh, the first aid kit I'm going to bring with me for this next little adventure we're going to be on. And I'll also bring some food. And uh, I think we'll be good after that. And, all right, I got the new bow out. And let's get the correct arrows loaded in. And I've got the new pistol down. And I put some dye on my stuff. And I put the ergonomic grip mod onto the bone knife. And I put the fortifying grip mod onto the stone axe. Not that that's going to do me a whole lot of good, but it gives me some extra block damage. All right, so now we need to head 360 meters over there to do the downtown filler quest. I'll meet you there. Oh, here we are. This place. I've done this before on one of the live streams, so I kind of I understand the trick here. Oh my goodness, get out of here. Oh, look at the wind going. A little bit cold out now. All right, well, I guess we can hit it. I kind of, uh, I know what's going on here. It's just one big fight. So I think what I'll do is use my skill set to my advantage and see if I can get some stealth kills. Oh man, speaking of, oh, there's a freaking feral white and a cop over there. Oh, dog. Whoa, he spit at me! He hit me too! Shit! Alright, got the dog. If I could get that cop too, I would be quite happy about that. No thanks. Keep your spit to yourself, sir. Ow! Oh crap, I fell. Alright, well, come here. We'll go toe to toe. You fat son of a bitch. Yeah! No! Nope, I want my XP. You are not blowing up. Thank you. Man, cop, he had good eyesight. Oh, crap. Bow the white. Whoa, you are scary as fuck, dude. Nope, nope, you stay down there. No jumping. Get, get away from me. Oh, got him. You're next. Oh, and that's the quest. All right, let's loot up. All right, we got friends coming in from all directions now. A couple arrows here, and I think we're good. We, we need to go, like, repair stuff and get stuff ready for the trader, so let's go home. All right, give me everything that can be repaired. I would like to get as much money as possible. All right, repair, repair, everything gets repaired. You get repaired, you get repaired. Oh, Q's fault. Okay, we're good on repairs. Anything in here need to get sold. Lucky goggles, a whole stack of radiators, sure. Engine, yep. Electrical parts, mechanical parts. I'll take a few of those a piece. All right, I got as much stuff as I could possibly carry and the bike is stuffed full as well. Let's go straight to Wrecked. We're running out of time. All right, what's up, Wrecked? Let's see here, um, skill points. We have two available. We're actually about to skill up again. So I think I'll just take uh, intellect and better barter. Uh, we can't quite get the next daring adventure, but that's okay. All right. I think you're pretty smart now. Oh my God, an iron crossbow. Uh, give me that, but also, oh crap. Put that on the floor for a minute. Give me that, holy crap. Drink that awesome sauce and uh, time for the big sell off. Sale is a sale. Even All right, let's get the rest of our crap. We're making good money so far. All right, that is everything that he is willing to buy. Um, 16, that's going to be enough to get both of the things that we want. Oh my god, compound bow, pump, shotgun, and room to spare, baby. I'll take that pistol Pete book. I'll take that great heist book. I'll take a cement because it's cheap. And that will do it. Oh my god, we have made out like a bandit today. Actually, I could sell him that bow while I'm right here. Goodbye. You served us well for that one POI. <laughs> Alright, so this is 20% uh, more damage to land claim pop- I'm gonna get teleported. Hang on, let me get out of here. Okay, home sweet home. 
Yeah, so that was 20% more damage to land claim property in that first book, and this is crafting AP 9 mil. Basically, I'm just getting it so that I can complete that series because I am an, an agility build, and I'm going to be specking into pistols and stuff like that. All right, we've got the pump shotgun. We've got the compound bow and the iron crossbow. So, ooh, the hot bar is going to be getting busy. All right, I think I'll get some cooking going real quick. Murky water. Get this iron going into the forges. I'm actually just going to put these level 1 iron pickaxes into the forge. Just give me a little, like, bolus of iron. Food situation looking pretty good right now. Okay, I got the iron crossbow bolts. Um, I actually need to make some more arrows real quick. Alright, so here's where we need to make some decisions. Because I need to probably start carrying shotgun. This is the best gun that we have at this point. The question is, do we really need the pipe machine gun? And should I probably now roll with the iron crossbow and the compound bow together? What is this doing for damage? 72. This is doing like 50. So it might make sense to have both because the iron crossbow has such a long reload time. It would be good to like get that off real quick and then switch over to the compound bow if I need to. I might just do that for a day or two and see how it feels. And for like the foreseeable future, I'm just gonna put the pipe machine guns away. So six locked items. Okay, now we need to do some resource gathering. We need wood. Fortunately, there's like a whole forest out back here, although it is dark and foggy and cold and snowy, so probably not the safest activity for nighttime. Just gonna get a ladder down here for safety purposes. Not because I'm a big baby. Oh, zombie. Yeah, who is it? Well, it's just Karen. Well, give us an opportunity to test out the new weapons. Of course, I missed the first shot. There we go. Nice. Oh, jeez. Go down. Ow. Ah! Any more? Fucking feral sense at night is no joke, man. Oh, jeez. I'm waking more up. I woke, like, three zombies up. Oh, jeez. I think I have enough wood. Well, if they want to come and get me, they can come to the horde base. What? There's a fucking screamer here. Ah! Can I see her from here? I can. Oh, I missed her. No. She's not dead. Oh, she screamed. Oh, boy. We, it's, it's gonna be a little test run here. Here, I'm just gonna open this up. Jump in here. We'll let him come up. There's another screamer out there. Oh man, this could get bad. Oh, tell me I can get a shot on that screamer before she just begins the endless loop of screamer calling. Or was it just Karen the whole time and I just got paranoid? Yep, loving the bow already. I think that's it. I think I misheard when I thought there was another screamer coming. All right, so I'm gonna start digging up all of these pallets and collecting resources. And that way we'll have plenty for basically probably next week when we start framing out the new base. We're not gonna move there probably for another seven days, I would say. We'll do one more horde here, but for the, for the day 21 horde, I wanna run that in the big base that we're gonna build. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today, we continue the Frostbite series into day number seven. <laughs> yes, this is the day we've all been waiting for, the first Horde day. And so early this morning, we're going to be making some preparations around the base to get it all ship shape and ready to fight, so we're not hustling to do it later on. And another thing that I want to get out of the way real quick is to pay some homage to the Patreon supporters. 
So what I've done is I've selected two names from the Patreon naming rights tier and above at random, and we're going to be applying them to items within the game. And we'll be doing this periodically as the situations arise. And so the two supporters that were chosen this time are NDN Doll and Moogie Brady. And so we'll be naming this base here at the barn, the dollhouse, and we'll be naming the new pump shotgun Moogie. So thank you to NDN Doll and Moogie Brady. You guys better not let me down. Now, I would never ask anyone to join Patreon, but if you are interested, there is a link down in the description. I do offer some perks such as naming rights, early access to thumbnails, and even early access to videos, among other things. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check that out. But anyway, let's get to work. So we were having the problem of zombies kind of jumping up in here. So I do want to get this kind of plugged up here and then solve the problem entirely by getting rid of this stuff. And just for good measure, grab that. Is there anything out here that's gonna cause any issues? I don't really think so. Oh, probably should like look and make sure the area is clear and not like full of a dire wolf horde or something like that. Okay, put that up. Upgrade that real quick. Uh, I don't really think I need that window right there. Not that I think it's gonna make any difference with zombie pathing or anything like that. I just like having it nice and buttoned up, that's all. All right, we need to probably head upstairs, I think, and get some resources together. We're gonna have to do some mining today. Oh, that reminds me, actually. We, we need to spend some skill points. I think, so ultimately, someone in the comments had mentioned that I should be going into Flurry of Blows, and I totally agree. I've kind of neglected that, so we're gonna have to do that, and... Well, also, we need to go into mining a little bit because it's just important. We Everyone has to resource gather, and it just makes life a lot easier for breaking blocks and stuff like that. So first off this morning, I'm going to go a little bit into strength, and then maybe if I get another skill point later, we'll go into flurry of blows. Okay, I did get a bellows crafted last night. We found that schematic uh, somewhere in our adventures yesterday. I don't quite recall where. And I'm going to need probably some arrowheads. So if I get like 50 of those going. Uh, I have quite a few arrows, but I plan on using quite a few tonight. And otherwise, I think we're probably pretty good. I'm going to bring this iron because I need to get a at least one. Probably I should just get two. I'll just get one for now. I'll scratch that. We'll get two because I'll be I'll be mining today, so I'll get some more iron. But I need to upgrade these. Okay, that one's good. That one's good. And the bottom one, I'm just gonna leave because I actually, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't really plan on fighting here, at least not for terribly long, because I don't want to risk zombies kind of breaking in from the back and stuff like that. So I might just kind of like. Oh, I don't know, like hold them here and like let them break this and this will just be like a sacrificial hatch, I guess. Cause I, you know, maybe I could just like stand up here and like throw pipe bombs down there or something like that just to kind of, you know, soften them up a little bit and eventually we'll fall back up here and fight here for the night. I did get this uh, pickaxe with me today and I'm just gonna take a couple mods off and slap them on real quick. And that way, we can knock out a couple of these side pieces. Uh, I have a little bit of an idea for how we can make this better. Okay, now that that's all knocked out, we have like a little bit of a an area here we can come over to the side. And I don't think it would be an issue because I don't expect to see spiders, but kind of just for like functional purposes in the future, I might just put like a little rail there. Just like that. And like that, I love that we have all these new shapes. Just quickly upgrade that to wood. That should be fine. That way we can come over here and we can toss down Molotovs or get a couple pop shots off on them or whatever we want to do later on. All right, so I think this place is pretty much ready to go. I mean, sometimes you put like... Uh, oop, that should probably be upgraded. Eh, good enough. Um, Just thinking it over. We need to do some mining today, so probably just leave these mods on here. Eat a little bit of breakfast. And, um, do we even have a quest today? Nope, we've got to go get a quest, don't we? Yeah, okay, so we can go over and get a quest, and we'll just probably do one quest today, and we'll do some mining along the way. All right, well, let's roll. All right, Rex, how Welcome you doing this morning? Joe. Another Everything. restore power quest, night only 2.3 kilometers to the west. Holy crap, that is, like, way off there. I don't know why he wouldn't give you something closer, but, uh, what else do we have here? I've got just the job for us. Pretty close by, you. farm number 10. I don't know, have we been there before? I don't think so, but what else do you got? Ooh, a fetch and clear here at the, oh, at the post office. Ooh, that sounds like fun. I don't think I've been there before. 
All right, good deal. Oh, this was Trader Restock Day, isn't it? So let's check his inventory real quick. Oh, wow, cobblestone, we'll get that later. Ooh, he's got a workbench. Not too expensive either. Are we planning on going into advanced engineering anymore or are we good where we are right now? So intellect level four, I am going to get intellect level four so I can get the plunderer at some point. And uh, in fact, we'll be going to level five at some point. So it's not a critical item. Got all kinds of like cobblestone and cement and stuff like that. We'll buy all that later. Yeah, and otherwise, you know, nothing terribly exciting. So really just the workbench and some construction materials this time around. And uh, perhaps tomorrow we'll make our way out to Trader Joel and see if he has anything as well. All right, let's head over to the post office then, I guess, and see what's over there. Oh, looks like we're rolling up in the place right now. Um, that, yep, that must be the post office, I guess, right there. All right, well, we'll keep the bike here in a safe getaway location, and it looks like it's starting to snow, so we're going to be wet if we stay out here much longer. I did see a zombie down there. I might as well just take him out real quick. A little bit of free XP. Any more sneaky zombies lurking down there? I can hear them gurgling and everything. Uh, oh, here's a couple. Yeah, I give up. I don't care. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. All right, uh, ooh, ATM machine right there. Any zombies down here? Oh, there's one right there. Good deal. Oh, one right there. Oh, uh, skill point too. Okay, let's have a look at the skills. There's a zombie like lurking around outside. So, um, where is he? Ah, there he is. Let's try the old crossbow out. Right in the nuts. Nice. Ooh, good deal. Dead. All right, let's open this up if we can. Ooh, 702. Okay, that's better than the 300 we found the last time. Oh, Ranger's Guide to Archery. Steel arrows and bolts. What? I think we need a crucible for that, but that's okay. Ooh, urban combat. Armor doesn't slow you down in combat. Oh my god, that is a good one. All right, any, anyone back here in the mail sorting room? I, I feel like I see a hand back there. There's somebody back there. Oh, there's one right there too. Oh, hello, Bo. Good morning. Ah, Bo strikes me as a mailman. Okay, <laughs> it's just people dropping out of the elevator shaft. No big deal. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm having a bad morning. It's okay, we got some boiled meat for that. Okay, where does this go? Stairwell? To no stairs, but oh, got some loot back here. Okay, so we must need to go up the elevator shaft then, where Bo came from. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, crap, he's a tough one. <laughs> Any more elevator surprises? Man, I hate elevators. Ever since I was a kid, I just do not like the elevator. I'm happy to take the stairs, though. All the way to the top, it seems. Oh, I heard a bird flapping. So, there must be one, I think, on top. Uh, oh, shit! Oh, what's going on? Oh, jeez! Ah! Birds! Oh my god, where are these birds? Get out of here! Okay, that guy's not dead, but he's down. There we go. Wow. Full panic mode. Oh boy. Did I just like call in the whole freaking neighborhood or what? Great. Oh look, some zombies right there. I see them. I, you know, I'm not sure if they're going to be smart enough to come up that ladder or not, but um, God, we just have to, have to be extra weary about zombies coming from nowhere. Oh man, I hear a spider and like many others. Oh crap, where are they all? They're like everywhere. Oh man, this is bad. Yo, they're screaming. Oh crap, oh jeez, whoa, 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 man. Jeez. Uh-oh. Pizza's here. Oh shit. Down the hole. Good job, buddy. I think I'm like maybe safe here, relatively. 
Right, I'm needing to like get a little creative to get out of here. Uh, like, like that maybe. Yep. Oh, what the frig? What is this? It's a trap. Everywhere is a trap. Oh boy. They can come up right up here. Oh, that's not good. Um, over here and I don't know, out here maybe. Oh yeah, they want to come right over. Uh, how about you go on face? That ain't gonna work, is it? Ow, get out of here. Well, might as well just roll with the guns. Everyone's already awake anyway. All right, the POI is like, the or the, the compass is showing me where the zombies are that I need to kill. And they're kind of like running all over the place right now. Will you guys just come over here so I can shoot you? Is that too much to ask? I think it probably is. Ooh, pumpkin pie recipe, all right. Hopefully I live long enough to cook one. All right, Moogie, don't let me down, man. Let's see, okay, oh, oh, they're all down there? What? Whoa, whoa! Ah! Okay, real quick, lock that doorway. Okay, shit is getting super serious downstairs. Um, go ahead and just lock this doorway. Block it for good, too. I think we can probably loot up a little bit while we're right here. Ooh, another ranger's got an archery. Shots to the leg with arrows or bolts slow the opponent. Interesting, I'll have to try that. And a sawed-off shotgun schematic. Ooh, agility goggles. Uh, yikes. Paranoia is real right now. Okay, some bullets. Wasteland treasures. Uh, that's harvesting brass from doorknobs and stuff like that. That's a good one to find. Oh, double armor pocket mod. Immediately pop that on, please. Good, good, good. Oh, we got an airdrop. Crap! Oh, a couple books. I'll read those later. Um, I need to go see where that airdrop's coming from. Ah, I'm stuck. Where am I? Head out here. Um, shoot. I don't see the airdrop. It doesn't help that it's foggy and shit. Ah. All right, where are these friggin' quest zombies that I have to kill? What if I just did some little tricky business like this? Here we go. I see you now, bitches. Well, it is significantly quieter now. Just him, I think. That is it. Holy shit, man. All right, give me these damn supplies. Let's get the hell out of here before I run out of ammo or something. Free loot. Nice. Couple arrows back. My goodness. Do I need hops for anything? I don't really think so. Ah, there's a pig! Ah! Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, let's see if we get any good reward it's for this one. Ooh, iron sledgehammer, vitamins, or a wood splitter mod. Honestly, terrible choices. 147 dukes if I sell that sledgehammer, but I'm actually, I'm actually not out of vitamins. I have one vitamin. I was gonna say, I was gonna take the vitamins there for a second. And the wood splitter mod. I'm gonna take the wood splitter mod because if I put that onto a quality six item that I can sell in the future, I'll get a whole lot more dukes than just 147. So give me that. Oh, tier twos are complete. Wow, ooh, okay, what do we need here? Cloth armor bonus bundle. Okay, so that's probably like quality five or six cloth armor, like a whole set of it. And I think I already have most of it. Mining helmet bundle, well, we're good there. Traps bundle, I don't use traps because they don't give you XP with kills. And a bundle of food, man, I don't know. I think I'm good on food, so I guess that leaves me with forged iron. Kind of a boring thing to get, but you know it is it's too boring. I'm gonna get the food bundle just because I'm curious about what's inside. Let's let's open this up and see what we get. Ten chili dogs? Well that's totally worth it. I was expecting to get like sham and shit like that. Yeah. Well, let's celebrate. 
All right, so this needle and thread here was for sweatshirts, skull caps, and flannel shirts. Boring. And a single mod schematic. Never going to craft those. I'll read it anyway, just so I know how to do it. And otherwise, I think we're good. I think we need, can do some mining. Well, we'll grab another quest, I guess. Oh, special jobs, actually. Uh, that's yeah. some other trader. Another trader wrecked. Yeah, Lovely. And he's only giving away the tier twos right now. So... Honestly, I don't even know if I'm ready for tier threes. <laughs> kind of intimidating. Uh, let's do some mining though, real quick. Okie dokie, looks like I found a little iron node right here and we can actually uh, see if we can get any feathers or eggs. Perfect, we can see if we get any honey out of this. Nope, and we can just get some iron out of this. Oh, real quickly, do I have a skill point? I have two of them, oh, good, good, good. So one of them, I'm gonna go into Flurry of Blows. I think we were talking about that earlier. And the other one, I'm just going to pump into Miner 69er. Good deal. Ooh, let's see if we can get a kill here. Nope, not quite it seems. Probably using the crossbow for the sneak attack is much better. Oh god, this guy's tough. Okay, yep, time to go home. Oof, alright, home sweet home. So we can just do some cooking and crafting until the horde arrives. I'm gonna put a wood splitter mod onto the bow knife just to get that one last extra 10% buff. I do have 14 steel arrowheads. That might be fun to use those tonight. Oh, but of course you'd need to have a workbench to craft them. Oh well. Iron arrows it is. Get some coffee cooked up. You know, I just had a major realization that it only takes two wood and one leather to make a paintbrush, and yet it sells for like 40 dukes. And he'll probably buy like three of them at a time. So if you're like in a pinch for money, that'll get you a little bit. All right, let's head down to the Horde base. Get these upgraded. Oh, early company. There we go. Much better. All right, it looks like I have everything I need. I've got the Moogie shotgun, the bow, the crossbow, the pistol, the pipe SMG, some Molotovs. In fact, didn't I have some pipe bombs or am I just imagining that? Yeah, Trader Rekt was like offering them to me as rewards and I thought that I had taken them, but apparently not. That is just fine. I'm bringing a couple of recog, food and drink. Uh, no repair supplies. In case you're new to Guns, Nerds, and Steel on Horde Night, it is do or die with no repairs. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, in fact, I do have some wood on me, but that's just like my regular inventory wood. Okay, uh, I think that'll do it. Let's hope for the best. It is time to lock and load. All right, my friends, the horde is almost upon us. I'm just gonna loosen them up the best I can. Keep checking the back, make sure they're not pounding their way in from the sides. More fire. Lumberjack, what are you doing here? Oh boy, they're beating their way in through the top. I think that's our cue to get the heck out of here. One more for good measure. Yep, they broke in. Close those hatches. Get the bow. Ooh, nice. All right, at this point, let's drink that recog. Oh, look, the fire just killed all those zombies that jumped up here. Brilliant. All right, who's next? Marlene, eat that. Oh, businessman, right in the ass. Perfect. All right, how about some more fire for him while we're right here? Good, good. A little bit of stabby action. Ooh, working well so far. There we go. What's going on over there, huh? Uh, let's jump out here real quick, see if I can catch a glimpse. Oh yes, they're just stacking on top of each other, trying to beat their way in from the side there. Well, might as well make it difficult for them. Marlene's my only visitor right now. She's having a hard time jumping her way up here. Oh, hello, friends. Marlene's like that friend in the group that nobody likes. 
No, damn, Molotovs are just wasting them. All right, they've finally made it back up here. But why stop now? Eat that. First skill point of the night. Hopefully many more to come. Too easy. Fighting the horde ain't half bad when you're used to fighting ferals and friggin' soldiers and cops and feral whites and shit like that in the wilderness. All right, they're starting to stack up here a little bit. Probably what we'll do for next week, uh, I had kind of meant to do it for today, is I'm gonna knock out the blocks that are leading up here, like the three block causeway, and replace them actually just with centered security grates. If you if you line up like centered security grates vertically, they'll path over that, but it's only like, oh, I don't know, like three inches wide, so they can only stack up single file. It's a really good tactic. We're gonna be doing that at the main base once we get it built, but uh, I just kind of, it was an oversight not to do that for this fight. If you're kind of following along at home, you can go ahead and do that yourself. It works real good. And it has full hit points. And if you were to like shoot, you can never do damage to these blocks by shooting. Oh, messing up my wall, of course. kind of nice. I got it like a backdrop to catch all my arrows when I miss. <laughs> catch this, Arlene! Oh, the, uh, the, the bumper has taken some damage there. Not a big deal. They have a long way to go before they can get to me. In fact, not having the bumper there, I think might... No, I was going to say it might prevent them from, like, standing up there, but it appears that they can still, like, catch the lip of the security grate there. Not that big of a deal. Whoa, hello. Oh yeah, and suddenly since I don't have the bumper there, they are able to crawl right through, like, kind of no problem. They do get hung up on the back bumper, which is nice. Just have to be a little bit uh, careful in how close you're getting. Whoop, out of stamina. Lots of zombies here tonight, I'm loving it. Oh crap, we're thirsty. Drink some coffee. Oh, they're breaking stuff. Crap. Oh, ow. Getting fucked up now. Oh, here's a new wave coming in right now. Kind of feel like part of the reason why this MG is so OP is because the reload speed is not bad at all. All the other guns, like your reload time per shot, like the pipe shotgun and stuff like that, is so bad, but MG is really not too shabby. Oh, crap. Still thirsty. Get out of here, you friggin' freak. Get back. Ah. Still thirsty. Yucca juice. And, uh, we'll just slurp down some boiled meat while we're at it. We need the hit points anyway. Field trip. Just make life hard on them. Oh, I wish I had a pipe bomb. I'd send one right straight through there for him. Oh, look at this guy trying to squeak his way through. What'd that get you? No, oh, skill point. I wonder why they want to beat their way in from the side so bad. I kind of don't like that. And I think that uh, the horde is basically done at this point. Here, for safety, we'll seal that up. We'll seal that up. And we'll seal this up just kind of temporarily until I figure out what the hell's going on here. There we go. What are you doing back there? Stop that. All right. Looks like that was it. Let's loot up. Oh, a skullcap mod. It shouldn't be too bad to wear. Kind of thematic some drinks. Well, I'll drink that goldenrod tea just to top off and toast to our success. The dollhouse held. All right, let's see here. A little bit of damage here. Overall, not too bad, though. 
do a little bumper piece here. Okay, that's good. Just like minimal damage to these other blocks here. Really like nothing at all. And I'll show you what I mean here. Might as well just get this over with now. Construction, you want the security gate centered. And I think just regular rotation will work. There we go, just like that. Zombies will most certainly path across that. I have tested this out. And with that, you are at very low risk of losing it by like shooting down or anything like that. This is the key right here. They can only stack your single file. And when they get to the side, they just kind of fall down and then they'll recycle. So it gives you like very little heat to deal with up front. Oh, surprise, loot bag outside. Oh wow, mining helmet, cool. Don't need it. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, the horde has been dispatched and we can finally call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day number eight. And as I came out here this morning, I noticed that there's a loot bag over there. I'm not exactly sure where that came from or why it's there, but it's there nonetheless, so let's go check on that real quick. Eh, just some bullets. Just drop that stuff off real quick, and what we need to do first thing is check the skill points. We got a couple of them last night. And yeah, we're way off from leveling up. So what I wanted to do is I want to get the Daring Adventurer number two. So that'll give us four, a total of four choices for quest rewards because we're going to be doing quests like every single day. So I think that'll be a good one to take. And I would also today, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, like to get level three of Better Barter so we can start doing the Better Barter secret stash trick thing. So we're going to take one point into Intellect and one into the Daring Daring Adventurer, and our next point will be into Intellect, and then again into Better Barter, and then we have to decide at some point if we want to go into Advanced Engineering so that we can make cement mixers and workbenches. However, if we can get the better Secret Stash, that will basically unlock two sets of Secret Stash items at every trader, and we might just be able to get away with, like, you know, we could possibly buy a Crucible, or extra workbenches, or um, cement mixers, so we'll see. But first thing we need to do this morning is probably get a quest from Trader Wrecked. It's still pretty early, though, so perhaps we'll just spend some time gathering resources. There is this little place right here that I have not been through yet, and every time I drive by it, there's a mountain lion or something, and that's why I haven't. You got a chicken over there, not too concerned about him. We've been eating good lately. All right, anyway, I did put the bow away because I figured we could use that just for Horde Night, and that, that way we can save two inventory slots. So we'll just be using the crossbow then for all the stealth killing needs. Terrible reload speed though. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Got a little uh, fortifying grip mod there. Might as well just put that on something just to get that 10% boost to block damage. All right, there actually probably shouldn't be too many zombies here because um, we were harvesting wood a couple nights ago and they all came out. Ooh, acid. All right, I think we are good here. I am completely gummed up on just a bunch of crap. Literally just garbage here. Yep, a little bit more rotten flesh for me. Okay, let's get a quest real quick and then uh, head back to the base. We'll stash all this junk and then we'll get our day started. Come near me again. And I'll all right, what do you got today, buddy? Ooh, uh, restore power to the southeast. A uh, little bit out of our league right now, I think. And... Fetch. I would prefer a fetch and clear. Not a buried supplies, honestly. Don't want to spend all day digging, and those are kind of dangerous, actually. So, I guess I'll go with clear Danger zombies to the southeast. That's a house old blood. bungalow. I think I know what that is, Can actually. This one is to restaurant number two. I like the sound of that a little bit better. Alright, let's go back to the base. Alright, good. Where are we heading, anyway? To the southwest. Alright, I'll meet you there.
All right, we're rolling up on the spot right now. Oh, damn, the sewer. I forgot all about that thing. Oh, boy. Bottomless barrel buffet. Well, we might get some food in there. This wouldn't be too bad to have. Uh, Karen, get the hell out of here. Ow! Oh, yeah, this place is very active with zombies. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of inclined to poke my head down here and see what's going on. Just uh, seal up the top, though. Um, did I aggro zombies already? Yeah. Can you hit me, or am I good here? I'm not good here. Uh-oh. Ow. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Okay, <laughs> another zombie's coming for me. Crap. Ooh, one shot. Take that. Uh, we'll just top off with some boiled meat. We're hungry anyway, so might as well have a couple. Why not? All right, back in the hole. Nice and sneaky now. I'm sure there's some surprises for us down here somewhere. Oh, crap! Maybe lights out this time? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, crap! Well, this isn't creepy, is it? Pretty sure there's a cat that's aggroed on me upstairs, too. Oh, here we go. Damn, even with the 4x sneak damage, we were not able to kill them in one shot. However, it doesn't take much more. There we go. This will top us off right here. Oh, some loot. Oh, we got a zombie right here, too. All right. All right, not a bad little loot room here. I like it, but it's time to get back to the task at hand. Uh, why are there zombies down here? Did you guys break the hatch? Oh my God, there's cats up there. Um, if a cat comes down here, I am friggin' dead. I mean, we could hide behind that vault door, but there's no way out. The only exit is blocked by at least two mountain lions. Oh crap, and we got zombies coming down now. Okay, maybe cats can't come down manholes. That would be really nice. Oh man. I don't see any other way to do this. We should have brought the bow, damn it! Ah, Arlene, get the fuck out of here, I'm busy! Oh, how could I say no to stabbing you in the face, Arlene? Or the boob, either way. Alright, you freaking cats, just you and me now. There we go! I think he ran off because I hurt him too much. Well, I'll take the meat off of this one just to get rid of him. Hello? Where'd he go? Oh, he's coming back! Alright, I've had enough of this. Come here, you bitch! Get this! Ah! I got him! Ah! Arlene! She's back! Ow! Oh shit. Bo! We got more zombies coming too. Oh shit! Alright, let's get topside and see what the hell's going on up here. Are we good? I think we're good. I gotta just bring the bike over for easy escape pathing. Uh, hit it, I guess. Free resources, not gonna say no to that. Oh, of course, it's a friggin' trigger room. It's always a trigger room. They don't even give you a chance to sneak up on them. I don't like that. And we got zombies outside coming up on us now. Oh, got a bleeding kill. Someone was telling me that they're not noticing I'm getting XP for bleeding kills. I'm pretty sure I am. At least I did right there. Oh, again with the triggers. 
Oh, this is one of these new doors. That is locked, though. So perhaps that will be the exit on the way out. We'll have like a key or a button or something that activates it. Oh, I heard some flaps. So that means there's a bird out here somewhere. Oh, here he comes. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Wow. All right, gonna go lights out just in case I can get a couple extra sneak points. Oh, I see a bird. Got him. Aha, what is this? Ooh, sneaky loot. Nice. Uh-oh. Whoa, buddy. Anybody in there? Nope. Aha, there's our skill point right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just take that right into intellect right now. Next one for better barter. Oh, shit. Um... Yeah! Ow! Oh! Whoa, man! The Mookie shotgun is not that great. That or the dogs are just OP. I th it's probably a little bit of both. Why do I get the impression I'm, I'm dropping to my death here? Yeah, I know better than to just drop onto seemingly staple plates. Although it does look uh, pretty clear down here. That's unlocked, okay. Might just uh, make it... ...guaranteed safe for me. Okay, I'm confident. I can go in here now. Turn the light off real quick. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> Close the door when I'm on the other side of it! Uh-oh, there we go. Holy crap. <laughs> Eat that! And this guy here is gonna try and break this door down. That's gonna take him a while. Also have some guys out front. The two of them, they're trying to break their way through the bulletproof glass. Interesting restaurant design going with the bulletproof glass glass out front. Not sure that's exactly the most cost-effective and uh, most necessary item to use, but okay. Yeah, we got the, the manager here sleeping behind his desk. Oh, this reminds me. We need to take a point into lockpicking so that we can get more lockpicks. We're probably gonna run out here on the, the main chest, and all I brought with me was this damn stone axe. Or we'll just run out now. Damn it! Oh, hopefully that was worth it. Hmm. Not terrible. Lots of zombies outside, though. Probably banging on metal for 20 minutes was not the best use of my time in terms of attracting a lot of attention. Ooh, look at the loot out there. Uh-oh. Crap. Ow. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Okay, zombies are breaking in from the back here. Just in time. Oh, he could probably jump right over this too, so that would not be good. All right, well, we don't need to go back that way for anything. Let's continue forward. Oh shit. Zombies are breaking in from here too. What's going on here? Bathroom? All right, well, let's help him out. There we go. Who else is out here? Ah, Arlene. Oh boy. Too much going on right now. Okay, I'm just gonna seal this up. And progress this way. Big mama! Oh yeah, this is gonna be the big fight here, I think. Yep, see, I got a bleeding kill there and I got the XP for it, so I think that is a thing. Oh! Damn crawler! Crap! Gonna go ahead and take a bandage for this last fight here. See if I can at least get the drop on any of them. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go! Is that a cop? What is this crap? Whoa, okay, going this way. Biker, that's the main threat right now. He's the quick one. Ah! Come on, Moogie, get him! Get that cop! He's gonna blow! Yeah! Let him blow! There we go! Okay, I think that was it for the boss fight. Yes, clear the area is complete. There are zombies in the kitchen, and there's zombies out front as well. Although it looks like it's probably going to take them all a while to get here, so I don't think we're too pressed for time. Ooh, 
another acid. Can I get acid if I wrench this, do you think? I think I did read that Wasteland Treasures book where I can harvest it from, like, medical cabinets and stuff like that. Oh, here's a couple Wasteland Treasures here. Uh, weaving plant fibers into cloth and harvesting more lead and brass from sinks and plumbing. Good enough. Oh, and here's the key box here that will, like, uh, fix or open up all the doors. That zombie is going to break through there and come after me very quickly here. And I don't think I can shoot through these doors. No. They did fix a lot of the collisions, but not all of them. Alright, now begins the arduous task of breaking into this damn chest. Yeah, in fact, I found the wrench to be pretty much the best thing I have for block damage, and we're finally into it. Ooh, grenade schematic, some money, and a decent knife, which is actually not much better than the one I'm using. I'll take it to sell anyway. Zombies pretty much everywhere, so let's try to carve our way through this crowd and get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah, we got a biker over there, businessman over there. I kind of just want to check this medical pile real quick. Vitamins, not too bad. Get out of here. Oh, I'm encumbered really bad. Okay, we're on the move. Hit that. Not that I think it matters too much. Protect me, Moogie. Ah. Uh, go away. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, we are out of here. All right, what do you got for me? Laser sight, iron nux, antibiotics, batter up volume 5, that's bats and clubs degrade 20% slower, not interested in that at all. But that laser sight mod, I'm gonna take. Any other jobs for us? Okay, mm, at this time of night, maybe buried supplies isn't the worst thing. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Gonna put that laser sight onto the Moogie shotgun. Laser sight's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I like it now. And we're out of lockpicks, so we're down an inventory slot. We're definitely gonna have to take a point tomorrow into lockpicks. All right, rolling up on the spot right here. Oh, that airdrop! What? Nice! I thought that thing was gone forever. Wow, what luck! All right, man, please give me something good. Oh, man. What a waste. I guess um, if we end up taking that point into advanced engineering, that wrench kind of will come in handy because that'll be the wrench that I use to build the workbench. Well, let's hope that we get something better out of this damn supply chest and let's also hope that we can dig it up before nightfall. Let's hit it. And again, I'm thinking just to dig up the snow, get the radius reduction if we can, and fight the zombies that will spawn in as well. Looks like we got three. Yikes. Uh-oh. Okay, get some space here. I want to try putting an arrow in their leg, because I read some book that said that'll slow him down. Oh yeah, he's going wicked slow now. Oh, bleeding kill. Nice. Yeah, here we go again. It's like every radius reduction you get. Wow, a, like four zombies now. Jesus. You got a lumberjack on me too. Crap. Alright, for that lumberjack... See if I can get him in the knee real quick. Got him! Alright, that should slow him down. I'm not sure for how long or if it wears off, but better than nothing. Ow! Get out of here! Oh, not loaded! Yee! Oh, okay, nothing on that one. I'm getting the sense that it's kind of random. Oh, here we go again. Man, it is important to keep your stamina up when you're digging up these buried supplies now. Thomas, you're gonna get an arrow to the knee. Oh, nope. No, you're not. Never mind. He bled to death, though, so that's good. Oh my goodness, I found it. Just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna get another fight on my hands here when I open that, so get the guns loaded. Get the crossbow reloaded in case I need to kneecap someone. And we'll see what we get here. Anything good? Ooh, triple mod and a weighted head mod. Wow, not bad. Ba basically the two best mods in the game. And uh, I could just leave now. And in fact, I think I will because it's getting late. Goodbye. Just kidding. I'm not that much of a wimp. Ooh, got that skill point I was looking for, too. Oh, perfect. Love it. One more janitor over there. Don't worry, buddy. I didn't forget about you. 
All right, we do need to hustle now to get back to the trader, though. All right, well, that was pretty easy. What do you got for me, buddy? Yeah, that wrench is quite a bit better, but I don't do a lot of wrenching. First aid kits don't need that. Iron gloves not wearing heavy armor, so I will go with shotgun shells, and I'll get a job for first thing tomorrow morning. How about that other buried supplies? And that way we have something to do early, early on. Oof, okay, we're back. Just get a fire going here to warm up a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Come on, warm me up, warm me up. There we go. Let's get that triple mod onto my boots. Three more spots in the backpack. All right, we're halfway there. Weighted head, I think we'll have to go onto the axe because it won't go onto a bone knife, unfortunately. All right, let's get some food cooking. Got all this crap to sort through. Oh my god! Are you serious, man? That guy just almost wrecked me! He did wreck me! Oh my god, he's also wrecking my base! Alright, well, y'all can come up here then. Holy shit! You son of a bitch, you! Just gonna get some extra crossbow bolts crafted. Eat a chili dog. Take a painkiller. Alright, that should be good. Is everything out of here? Yep, we're good. Alright, you're making a mess down here, man. Stop doing that. Also, fix that before you break it. Holy cow, man. Ferals are no fucking joke. Alright, so the project for tonight is going to be to build a pit. And I think I'm going to just make it... Um, we want it so that the zombies, when they fall off here, they fall into a bit of a pit. So about right there. Should it maybe begin back here, do you think? Uh, I think it probably should. Okay, I think that just about does it. We'll knock this one out, too. Now we need to dig down a few layers. Interestingly, this uh, all looks like sand, but it's actually snow. Kind of some interesting looking snow, but okay. And then just uh, with the magic of placing blocks, I'll just do something like that. And so the, the zombies will fall down here into the pit, and then they'll have to jump their way out like this. And then up again onto the causeway only to be knocked down yet again and then rinse and repeat and then i'll be knocking out a block up there so that i can throw pipe bombs down on them so that's the idea right there we'll just plug this in with wooden blocks and the floor can just stay stone that's that's fine probably upgrade this a little bit more later on but um, i think that'll work for a good little bomb pit okay and in terms of like a hatch for us to throw things down i'm just gonna knock this block out here and here perfect and then just a shape like that and like that and just for fun i wanted to try this and see if it would work some wooden shutters just like that now we just have to open it up throw a bomb down close it up and we are whoop i guess we're good to go i don't know kind of glitchy i guess but anyway my friends and fellow survivors i think we can call it a day the nights are long and cold there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep so we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning but until then i wish you all the very best thanks for watching my back today and good night Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day number nine. And the first thing we have to do this morning is spend this skill point that we got yesterday. And the trick is here, we're going to go into Better Barter number three. And we'll do the Traitor Secret Stash trick a little bit later on. For this morning, we do have a Buried Supplies, we have this opening trade routes, and I have an inventory full of stuff that needs to be sold. And we have quite a few dukes as well, so we're going to have to do a big trader run. But first, we have that buried supplies. Uh, the traders are not going to be open for a little bit, so I think we'll grab the buried supplies and then we'll head around and do the trader rounds. All right, here we are. We've rolled up on the spot and we know the drill here. These tier three buried supplies are no joke. So let's make sure we have all the guns loaded here. It looks like we're good and we can hit it and start digging. Uh, I was just thinking to myself, too, might maybe just make like a little um, pole here to jump up on. Just in case, uh, you know, like a dire wolf comes out of nowhere and tries to eat me. We're clear on that one. 
Oh, here we go. Get out of here, Thomas. Ow! Oh boy, I'm off to a bad start, man. I am rusty in the morning. Forgot to drink my coffee, I guess. Oh, well, we need to heal up a little bit already. All right, I was kind of digging over here towards the southwest corner because that used to be the trick, but I I don't really think it is anymore, so I'm just going to kind of start digging over to the southeast. All right, here we go again. Oh, God. Oh, why is it always Thomas? Oh, my God. This is bad. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, this is getting really bad here. Got a Yeti coming out of nowhere now. Yeah. Okay. I'm alive, and I need a bandage. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. I got a broken leg or something. Ow. No. <laughs> you are not allowed up here, sir. All right, Moogie, you're up. Wow. I do not like these buried supply quests. Well, <laughs> there's only one way out of this, and this is that's to dig it up and find it and get the hell out of here after that. Oh, here we go again. Oh, jeez. Okay, just guns this time. Okay, that's the trick. I see, I see. Oh, finally. Can I get out of here now? Guns loaded. Get the treasure. Ooh, wow. Not bad stuff there either. Uh, oh, yeah. My leg is sprained, I guess. We gotta be careful with that. Ow. Oh boy, are we good? Almost. There we go. Man, that was a rough time, but I think it was worth it because we got the the bandolier mod. That's a big one, and we also got the uh, the sledge turret. That is a clutch find. All right, we're back at the trader now, and I can put that bandolier mod onto my chest piece. That hunting knife is still not as good as the quality six bone knife that I have. Oh, he's got a sugar butts this morning and an eye candy. Good deal. So I will go ahead and... Where'd it go? Sugar butts, I'll eat that. All right, we'll get our reward. Whoa, some interesting rewards here. Some leather leg armor. That's probably the most appealing of the things here. Steroids would be nice. I have some at home, though. And that probably will help with the broken or sprained leg that we have. So I'll take the leather armor. Check your other jobs. Ooh, oh, restore power, man. It's tempting. I don't know about that yet, though. I guess I'll just take whatever fetch clothing store okay and then we'll do the big sell-off okay so far so good just want to buy some of these construction materials from him and here we go we got the new secret stash here oh and he's got the mini bike and i can i can afford it holy cow it's also got a couple of rangers guides to archery bows degrade slower and successful sneak attacks with arrows have 20 percent greater chance of knocking down the target those are both really nice. I like that a lot. But I think I like the mini bike more. I'll take that. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. Now, here's the trick here. In case you've never done this before, you go to your nerdy glasses, you take them off. That will deduct one intellect point, and therefore it'll deduct that uh, better barter point and put me back down to two. And that will revert me back to the old secret stash. So this is the old secret stash that we had like earlier this morning, yesterday. And there's nothing in here that we want. But if I pop You're my nerdy glasses nerd, back on, friend. go back to the secret stash. We're back to the one that we just had uh, a second ago when we were shopping for these Ranger's Guide to Archery. So now every trader we go to, every time we go to them, we can swap back and forth. Know, now, in case you're not familiar, like though, you. it doesn't only just work from 2 to 3. It also works from 3 to 4 and 4 to 5. So you can do it at multiple stages as you level up into better barter. All right, enough of that. Let's go back to the base and stash our crap. And then um, 
I think, well, there was a wolf out here a minute ago. That probably is something we should look out for. Uh, I don't see him. I think he must have wandered off. Ow, my leg. All right, so what I heard is that you can take a steroid and then that negates the effect of your sprained leg. So I'm sprinting right now and actually not taking any damage and I'm moving at normal speed. So yeah, um, I didn't know that. I hadn't tried it until just now. I hadn't sprained my leg until just now. So yeah, steroids are the cure for sprained legs. Nice. All right, give me the gas. I'll put some of this crap away. Put the leg armor on. Okay, I'm going to bring that eye candy with me for the POI that we're about to go to. Probably would help if I fixed that infection. Plenty of honey there. Good. All right. Better barter paying off. We are in the motorized age now. Very good. So what I had wanted to do before I bought that mini bike was to head to the other trader in the other town and check his inventory. But we don't have any money now, so even if he had good stuff, I wouldn't be able to buy it. So... In order to do some fundraising, we have to go do some questing. So there's a savage country right there. Apparently that's not the one we're going to though. We are going to, whoops, <laughs> this one over here. Here we are. Ooh, one shot kill on a lumberjack. Nice. All right, let's hit it. All right, here they are. I knew they were hiding somewhere. Hey, another skill point, too. Oh, man, they are tough. And he is fast. No, get out of here. Whoa! Wake up! Get out of that freaking tent. Here we go. Woke a couple up. Oh, more than a couple. I woke several up. Ow! Oh boy, here we go! Oh! <laughs> Off with his leg! All right, I wonder if there's a, a combat skill that I can go into really quickly here that will benefit us. Oh, hang on, we got more zombies. Nice. How about maybe light armor? I feel like that's gonna be a good one to have. Oh, that's a cop, great. Oh, geez. Look out. Oh man, we got zombies all over the place out here. Arrow in the knee! Arrow in the knee! Oh, killed him! Oh boy! Whoa! Fucking cop! He's still spitting at me! Stop that! Get some bleeding damage on him, maybe. Uh oh! Oh no! Gotta go with the guns! I'm out of stamina! Oh! There we go. That's doing us no favors, letting off a couple rounds like that, though. None at all. Arlene! Oh, crap! Ah! Uh-oh! Quick! Dumpster of safety! Ow! Whoa! That's not a safe dumpster! Shit! Slow down, buddy. That's not the weapon I want. Okay, we're looking like mildly better at this point. Um, wolf, wolf outside. Great. Okay, just uh, came outside briefly to see if we can get this guy. Yep, wolf and a cat. Great. Here he comes. There we go. Let's just get that cat while we're at it. We need the meat anyway. There we go. All right, safe and sound now. All right, fortunately, we have not failed the quest yet, even though I've wandered off several occasions. Anybody in here? Arlene, this clothing store is too high class for you. Oh, hello. Crap, oh my God. 
All right, well, we'll get the satchel. At least that'll be over with. Good. Now we just gotta find the loot. Oh, here we go. Finding a lot of vending machines in the world, but all of them are broken. I feel like the, the probability of having a working workbench has been decreased in Alpha 20. Ooh, reflex mod schematic. That ain't bad. I love the design here, kind of like walking through the rafters. So cool. All right, I know that there are zombies down here. I think they're in places like that. I don't know, they, they're kind of like hidden in the walls. Am I right or am I wrong? Pretty sure I'm right. They're just not spawning in yet. Uh, let's try this. Oh crap! Oh shit! I fell down here. I on purpose, granted, but um, I didn't actually think I would spawn them in. Okay, well, weak zombies first. Arlene? Oh damn! I clipped the uh, equipment thing. That was a feral Arlene. There we go. Okay. I think we're good to loot up. Oh, no, we got one more in here. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Popping pills box here. What do you think the chances are we get a first aid kit? Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, we got cats. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, I don't want this. There we go. There is a zombie problem on the other side of that wall, I think, in there. So I just gotta board myself in here so I can go through this loot and then open up this chest. Fortunately, I brought the pickaxe with me today. All right, we're in, and I just heard another block break in here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Zombies in there. And a cat. Oh, shit. Let's get this friggin' eye candy in, and we will loot up and get the hell out of here. Here. Just, um... No, no, jeez. Block this in. Okay, loot up. Get the good stuff. Anything else here? Oh, some uh, military stuff there. Okay. We gotta go up. Just upgrade that. Up again. Okay. We've gotta get away from this friggin' cat. There we go. They're in. Oh, shit. Just in time. Alright, we'll have to come back here sometime and try to get some dye and some clothing and stuff like that. But for now, it's just not a good time. We are hurting real bad right now. I think I can manage to fall down to here and survive. Yep, we're good. Okay, to the mini bike and to the trader. Here we go. Ooh, military leg armor. I just got a, a quality three set of those. Ooh, a new pistol though. Uh, or the fire axe. Damn, I do need a fire axe because I'm, I'm using the stupid stone axe still. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the fire axe. Take another job real quick. What's this one? Downtown filler 11? Oh man, I almost die at all the downtown fillers. I mean, I almost die all the time anyway, so it wouldn't be any different, but... All right, we'll take that one. All right, so with the time that's left in the day, I'm going to... Where's my quest marker? Way over there. Instead of doing that mission, I'm gonna head down to this trader that's way off here to the west, and we're gonna check his inventory. I think it's uh, Trader Joel out there. We don't have a whole lot of money, but I do have some things I can sell if it's an emergency and maybe scrounge up enough to get anything that we need. So one thing that came up in the comments recently is that when you're harvesting an animal or when you're harvesting anything with a wrench, you can just do the power attack, guys. It's not a big deal. You get the same amount of resources and you do more block damage. So there's really no reason not to do the power attack. I'm gonna just go ahead and skip that car, you know, because there's like a mountain lion there. However, I will show you here too. So this is the normal gutting animation like this, but you get the same amount of resources if you start off your target and then do a power attack and then move it onto the target like that. So that's just the faster way to harvest your resources right there. All right, that's probably enough car harvesting for one day. Let's head over to the trader now. Anything good in here? Not a damn thing. 
Thank you, What's Dad. up, Joel? What do you got today, buddy? Yeah, see, he's got a workbench too. I think we'll be able to buy a couple of these here in the next couple of days and we'll be just fine. So we'll check his good secret stash now. Ooh, pistol schematic. <laughs> SMG auto turrets. Nice. Oh, damn. He's got an auger. There's no way I can sell enough to get that in just in the few hours that are left today. Travel. All right, well, we'll check his other secret stash anyway. Oh, he's got an SMG schematic? What? Here, take this stun baton and, and like some of this other crap that I have here. Give it, give, give it. Take it, don't want it, don't need it. Springs, sure. Mechanical parts, I need those. All right, that should be enough right there to get that SMG5 schematic. Nice. Thank you so much, Joel. You've just made my whole day. All right, back home. Ah! Whoa! Get out of here! Oh my god! Okay, I think we're done for the day. All right, home sweet home. Safe and sound and more or less in one piece. I finally got some decent glove armor. Get some of this dye moved around. I've got a skill point, so what I'm gonna do is put that into lock picking once I confirm that I can craft lock picks. I can, okay. Oh, and I just did that and immediately realized that you need a damn workbench to craft lock picks. Crap, forgot about that. Okay, so we're <laughs> we definitely need a workbench now. Oh, starving, and I need like hit points, so let's work on that. Can read this SMG schematic. That'll be huge. We'll be able to get the SMG like relatively early on. Man, that's so good. All right, there's a little bit of work to do downstairs. So I'm gonna gather up some resources for that. I also thought it might be interesting to dig up all these pallets after I eat a Rockbusters. Eh, why not? So we'll drink a coffee, take that Rockbusters, and get digging. I just spent the past couple minutes here digging out this little mine area. Uh, I took the top layer of sand and stone off and now we're just digging down. This is all snow right here, interestingly. And we'll just uh, have a little bit of access to stone down here. One little tip for you, if you're ever mining, especially at your home base, which is probably generating some heat by itself, you should sneak down. Because when you crouch down, whenever you break a block, you're gonna generate less heat. It's, it doesn't matter if you're using the pickaxe or the auger, if you're breaking glass, if you're breaking uh, stone, whatever. It doesn't matter. You generate 50% less heat when sneaking. All right, that should be good. I just wanted to get my money's worth out of that Rockbusters. Now, I just wanted to head in here real quick because we need to upgrade a couple of these blocks to cobblestone. All right, and that should probably do it. So tomorrow I think the big objective is gonna be to get the workbench. I think I'm ready for it. We need it now to make lock picks. We need it to make guns and, and new tools and all the cool stuff that we need for the future. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. We are on the move early this morning because we need to get a little bit of a head start today and get this quest knocked out. We need to get a little bit of XP so we can level up and we can take that point into advanced engineering. Perhaps later we'll get the workbench crafted. 
And then I want to swing by that clothing store we were at yesterday and see if I can get some dye and some clothing. And then after that, I think uh, the world is our oyster. We'll check the traders. Hopefully we'll see that airdrop at some point today. Uh, so yeah, we'll check the traders for restock. And I do want to do some scouting today if there's enough time left over and look for a spot for the permanent base that we're going to build. But anyway, let's hit it. Looks like some kind of a gym that we're here at today. Multi-level. This is called a downtown filler. It's uh, right across the street from that fitness place over there. Oh, I see some feet in that bathroom stall right there. Perfect. And that is a broken vending machine, unfortunately. Oh, jeez, I hear a dog kind of growling around. Oh, shit! Is he inside? Um, he is now. Am I just gonna- Whoa! Ow! Ow! Oh my god! Oh my- Jeez, why does this always happen to me? Ah! There's a spider! Whoa! Oh, feral! Slow down, please! I don't think I got her in the knee! Uh-oh! Oh boy! Alright, line up for me! Why are there so many ferals? I don't like this! Come on, Moogie! Get up! Ah! Oh, jeez. Soldier rolling up on me. Looks like he's a feral as well. Did we get here too early and, like, the nighttime zombies didn't get killed off or what? Ow! Oh, shit! Reload! Oh, man! They're coming out of the woodwork! Oh, crap. Just circles around the building. Oh, good clutch bleeding kill there. Reload. Ow. Ah, get back. Okay, well, I brought the painkillers just for this reason. Ow. Okay, off to a terrible start this morning. But the good news is, uh, anyone who was in, like, earshot of those gunshots is probably dead now. Nice, normal, squishy zombies. Nice. Oh, hey, we got an ATM machine here. I'm gonna have to break it open, though, because I don't have any lockpicks. Alright, we're in. 333 dukes. Not ideal. Zombies, uh, rolling up on me from outside. Might just, uh, do one of these real quick. Something I can get through, but zombies would have a harder time through. Okay, I'm gonna just go lights out for a second, because I have a sneaky suspicion there's someone sleeping over here. No? Okay, well, lights on, I guess. Be clutch if I could get a good water out of this. I'm gonna dehydrate eating all these painkillers. Nice! And another one. Cool. Another broken vending machine as well. Having a, a really hard time finding working vending machines. I feel like they've been nerfed a little bit. So I guess it's uh, going up from here. I kind of like this here because uh, zombies would have a hard time making that jump, I think. So we should be kind of safe from the ground level zombies from here on. Not taking any chances here. Somebody behind this counter or what? No? Where are all the zombies? Potentially, I woke them all up. I will be checking toilets as much as I can. I never know, you might get a toilet pistol, and we need the handgun parts so we can make that SMG as soon as possible. Oh, crap. What is this? They all just woke up from outside. Oh, shit. Okay, guns. There we go. Oh, I hear a zombie kind of behind me, but I'm not sure where he is! Oh, there he is! Holy crap! We made it! Take out painkiller. Go ahead and take a pure mineral water. There we go. Get this damn satchel. Ooh, wow, look at that wrench. That is nice. Oh, someone was telling me in the comments that if you wrench down an ATM machine, you get a bunch of steel out of it. So, if we don't get chased out of here in a complete panic, I'm gonna try that on the way out. 
Oh, there's like an interesting little uh, ladder portion here. How, where do I go from here? Out to the balcony, perhaps? That seems to make some sense. Oh, there we go. Oh, and someone was also telling me that you can harvest these and these have like extra nitrate in them or something. I mean, I don't know, four nitrate and 22 soil? That's not great. All right, I presume this is the big fight up here. I heard some flaps, so I, I expect a bird here somewhere. Lights out for just a second. Of course, it's probably a trigger room, so it won't matter what you do. Just knock these out. Oh boy! Soldier, there's a spider back there I can see. I might be able to get the drop on the rest of them, it seems. Maybe not. Alright, what do we got here? Soldier and spider. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can see the spider's head. I got him, though. Nice! Clutch, that was like an elevator full of zombies. Oh, and that's an elevator shaft going way down to the bottom. I see a box down there. We'll check that out a little later. Kinda wanna see first, like, uh, is there a way to get inside? What does this go to? That goes... basically nowhere, it seems. Where did you guys come from? Oh, jeez, am I getting knocked off the edge of the building here? Whoa! There's that friggin' bird! Oh, they're coming down from the ceiling. Oh, damn. I hear another spider. Alright, well, for the life of me, I cannot figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do here, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of a shortcut. Let me up! Ah! There we go. Reload. All right, what's going on here? There we go. Oh, shit. Whoa! Oh, shit! Did you see that? The friggin' floor gave out. Oh, shit! Oh, and they can come right back up here. I'm not safe at all. Oh, just run. Oh, we got that skill point we were looking for. Ow! Damn it, Arlene! Oh shit! Oh, wow. Well, I made it! Another painkiller, please! Oh. Whoa! Holy shit, man. This place is dangerous! Ooh, Iron Breaker mod. That's not bad. Uh oh! Feral! Ow! You bitch! Alright, we're in. What do we get for our efforts today? Oh, bunch of junk. I mean, I suppose we'll probably use those bow parts later, and a first aid bandage is not too bad. I only have two right now. So I suppose probably we can just drop down here. I've already killed everyone, and oh, we can probably check this for some dye and some clothing. Yeah, not a whole lot going on here, and I can't... I still really can't figure out how the hell you're supposed to go about this POI here. Are you really supposed to, like, parkour your way across the friggin' windowsills like this, or...? Oh, now I'm stuck. Alright, I, I think I could make it just by doing this here. Uh, yes. I think we're good. Just get this one more zombie that's kinda lurking around out here. Ah! There he is! Thomas! I think we're good. Now I'll take the wrench, please, and just... I wanna know what's in this here. Okay, so I got a forged iron out of it. I don't doubt that there is steel in here. There's another forged iron right there. There's a steel. Yeah, so you can get some forged iron and steel and crap out of that, but I think your time is probably better spent on, like, lamp posts and transformers and stuff like that. Yeah, you need lamp posts like that one up there. That's the good stuff. Okay, enough of this hellhole. This block here has, like, almost been the death of me, I think, probably at least four times now. So let's get the hell out of here. Oh, right there. That is a transformer, and that is right full of steel. So I'm gonna grab some real quick. Need to start kind of getting this wherever we can. There's one steel, two steel, and that's it. Oh, except I dropped, like, everything because my inventory is all gummed up. Okay, scrap, scrap. These are all just mechanical parts. Aha! There's another one! Well, I said we're gonna have to stop and get them wherever we can, so we have to stop and get them wherever we can, right? Two forged iron and one steel out of that one. 
It all adds up eventually. Aha, here comes the airdrop. And that is... Uh, that's kind of like downtown over by Deshong Tower, maybe? Maybe in that area? We'll swing by there a little later. We gotta do some exploring anyway. Alright, we don't have much to sell, and we don't have a lot of money, so we won't be able to buy anything probably for the next day or two. But I at least want to go over to the trader, turn that quest in, and see what he has for sale. Good morning, or it's actually early afternoon. Ooh, camp station schematic. Wow. Ooh, a beaker! Yes! Um... Double barrel shotgun, I don't need that because I have the pump shotgun, but beaker, yes, that is huge. That'll allow us to craft the chem station. All right, any other jobs that we should be able to do today, maybe? Probably not today. We're, I mean, I'm at the point right now where tier threes kind of take a good chunk of the day out. Might be able to do a quick fetch, though. Those are kind of easy. You can kind of just dive in, dive... Uh, downtown Filler 30? Uh, what's the other one? Downtown Filler 2. Okay, I'll, I'll take that one. Where's that at, anyway? That is... Oh, way over there. Haven't been to that neck of the woods yet, so... Let's go check that out. I don't, I'm not really inclined to do it just yet. Actually, scratch that. We need to go craft the workbench, and I'm going to actually see what it's going to take to craft the chem station too. I might be able to get both of those things knocked out real quick. After that, we're going to head over there, see if we can find that airdrop, check out that quest, and do some scouting on kind of like that whole side of the town, which I haven't been to since early, early on when we just kind of like walked through there. So here we are. Let's take that point into advanced engineering. Um, unfortunately, we would be able to craft cement mixers, but I don't have any engines, so uh, that's kind of weird. I've been scrapping a lot of cars and never got an engine. Got a couple of batteries, but we'll have to continue scrapping cars. They might have, like, reduced the likelihood of getting an engine or something to make it more difficult, but, you know, we'll see. Forged iron. Might need a little bit more forged iron. Got some rolling out of here. Okay, what else do we need? Ooh, we need five bottles of acid for a chem station? Holy cow. Well, I think we only have, like, three, so... That would be an issue. Okay, put my good hammer and my good wrench away. Get my crappy wrench and my crappy hammer back out. And workbench, let's hit it. Hit you as well. Right in the knee. How do you like that? There we go. Yeah, we're sitting on 25 forged steel right now. What would I need to get the SMG? Well, at level 1, only 10 steel. And the rest of that I could probably scrounge up pretty easily. How many handgun parts do I have? Six. Well, ideally you don't want the quality 1 SMG. Might have to think about putting some points into Gunslinger to kind of maybe get that up to 2 or 3. I'm pretty much done with intellect at this point, so... Uh, yeah, probably the next several points that we get could just go into agility perks. Alright, there is the workbench right there. Anywhere will do. We're going to be moving pretty soon anyway. And while I'm right here, I'm going to get those lockpicks that I wanted so bad going so we can stop having to break open safes and ATMs and stuff like that. Save us some time. That ought to do it. If we could, we should probably kill some animals today. We are running relatively low on meat. Uh, we're not going to run out anytime soon. We're really good on food, but always looking ahead. Here is the Bishong Tower, and this is where I kind of thought it was. Um, I was actually looking at the Higashi Tower in the distance, and um, I figured it was kind of over in this area, but I don't see it quite yet. Oh, I see... Was that like a puff of smoke? Like, because I kind of noticed that um, once it lands and you get next to it, the kind of the smoke goes out that usually kind of comes flying out of it. And I thought I just saw, like, a whiff of smoke there. All right, real quickly, I'm just gonna pull up here and see if I can see anything. I'm gonna attach my pillar to the wall every here and there, because uh, if something comes around and knocks out the base, I'll still be standing. Oh, some loot up here. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay, some free re repair kits. Not a big deal there. And I was just going to see if I could see anything from up here, and uh, I don't. I don't see a damn thing. Well, there's some pissed off zombies somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where they are. I'm leaving, though. Oh, crap. Oh, just, just charge. Yikes. Ow. Whoa. I fucking broke my arm. You assholes. 
Okay, well, here is the quest. Oh, it's the Lespank and Cloud 54 store. Okay, well, I, uh, I want to do that tomorrow, especially since I just broke my friggin' arm. Oh, I see a fire going over there. I thought for a minute that might be that supply box, but no, I, I don't know where that went. Oh, there it is. See, I did see the smoke over there. Where the hell is that? That must be inside that friggin' POI there. I would almost guarantee it. Okay, we just need to investigate a little bit closer. I did a lap around the block, so all the zombies kind of despawned or left or something. Oh, there it is right there! Oh, I see! I drove right by it! I'm too busy getting my arm broken. What the hell's in this thing? A food bundle, just a bunch of food. Okay, well, I've seen worse. While we're out and about today, I think I'm just going to have a little look-see at some different parts of the town that we haven't been to yet. So we'll head to the southern portion. And then we'll loop around to the east, and uh, it looks like over there, now that I'm looking at it, there's this POI right here. And this is one of my favorite new POIs. Oh, there's a pig. Hey, buddy. How you doing? There we go. Oops, yep. Probably shouldn't be, like, power attacking things for the next hour and 54 minutes. All right, so like I was saying, have a look at the map again. There is, this is a, a POI that I really like and I've been kind of having thoughts about making this into a horde base. So let's uh, loop south and then head north. We'll go south and then we'll head over east to this and then we'll head north and we'll see what's around that neighborhood over there. So yeah, what I was gonna do is build like a horde base out in the wilderness, just kind of like maybe over by the trader. But the more I thought about that, the more I thought that that would just be kind of boring because you know, if, if I just put a base, like, over here, like, what, what fun is that? I mean, it's fun, but, um, you know, I've done that before, and I'm, I'm kind of ready to do something different. And I thought, maybe, we have this great opportunity here. Oh, look! There's that POI right there! Oh, man! I love this place! These, like, grain silos, or... They're full of sand, so I guess they're, like, sand silos, but I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but it's such a cool POI. I've broken my leg there twice already <laughs> in different playthroughs, but um, actually, how, how much closer is that one? So that, it's uh, it's closer to the trader to go to the other one, so, okay. But yeah, so I was thinking, you know, why not make my base kind of more in the city and in an existing POI? An existing POI that's not like, you know, like a house, because I don't want to just live in like a plain, boring old house. In addition to that, if you make your base in the wilderness, you don't get the loot bonus that you get for being in like an urban area or in a tiered POI. But if I go to like a tier 2 POI, for example, like the barn that we're living in right now is a tier 2 POI, I actually get a pretty hefty loot stage bonus. Oh, jeez, big bear. Oh, look at that place. That would be a cool horde base. Yeah, we gotta start thinking about where to do one night stands. Yeah, so if you could find, like, a really nice Tier 4, maybe even a Tier 5 POI that you could convert safely and, like, you know, live inside of it, but also not have zombies, like, respawn because your land claim block is only so big, it's only gonna block so many respawns. And then every time you have a Horde Knight and they drop all these loot bags, you're gonna get that loot stage bonus for opening all of those loot bags. So I guess the new meta is gonna be to build your Horde base in, like, the highest tier POI you can find. Oh, damn, that's the Wasteland over there. To the south, it looks like. Okay, good to know. We might need to do some exploring over there at some point because uh, those that's a good place to do like a looting excursion for a day. So yeah, long story short, I guess we're going to be putting our base inside of a big POI. Do those not give you steel anymore or what? Ah, there's a steel. Okay, they still do. Got to be scared for a second. Oh, so this town just keeps going and going and going. I missed my turn. We're supposed to turn north back here. Oh, I've got a sneaky little deer here. Oh, right over his head, and I scared him off. Wait a minute. Oh, come on, man. Oh, now he's scared of the lumberjack. Come here, you son of a bitch. Can't tell if I'm shooting above him or under him. Oh, well... Come here. Die. Die. No. He's bleeding. Get him. I woke up all the zombies inside. Okay, leaving. Aha, this is the place right here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I love this place. 
And so another consideration I was having is I don't want to build downtown because I only get like 50 frames per second downtown. Out here I'm getting about 65 and out in the wilderness I'll get over 100. So I didn't want to live in too dense of an area in case that would become a performance issue. But yeah, this seems to be like a happy medium. And if I just check my loot stage real quick, uh, what's my loot stage in here? 76. Okay, not too bad. And as we level up, that will become higher and higher, benefiting from this, which I I believe that's a tier 2 POI. Yeah, because I'm just, if I'm out here in the wilderness, this is, um, you get like a tier 1 bonus out here. 72. Okay, and if I go into like the wilderness wilderness... It is down to 68. Okay, so that's a pretty hefty benefit from living inside that, uh, uh, we'll call it like the silo. Okay, so for the remainder of the day, I'm going to just harvest cars. Oh, wow. That is a good little mix of stuff in there. Okay. And we'll see if we can get an engine. Oh, great. Arrow to the knee, arrow to the knee. Or bolt, I should say, I guess. Get back. Get back. I don't have the power stab, but I can still bleed you with a thousand cuts. Ow! Oh, maybe not. I just realized, uh, it's not that I haven't found an engine, I've just been selling them because I've been so desperate for money. Making my own life difficult. Man, look at that sunset. Wow, they have done some real good improvements for lighting in this alpha. Whoa, look at that stuff. Holy cow. Yeah, okay, the nighttime zombies have spawned in, so I think we can just call it a day. We'll work on getting an engine and a cement mixer going tomorrow. All right, home sweet home. First things first, I'll put that plaster cast on my arm. 21 minutes on that, not terrible. And here we go, food bundle number two. What's inside here? Whoa, 10 hobo stew. Well, I'll just have one of those right now then. Top that off with some red tea. Should be good for a few minutes here. I will get some murky water going, followed by some boiled meat. Yeah, we've got company downstairs. What's new? Yeah, we've got multiple zombies coming in here, including a spider. Can just open that door there. If they want to come up, they can come right straight up here. Well, if it isn't Marlene. Holy cow, lots of company here tonight. Hello, friends. Yeah, see, Marlene fell right into the pit of death. Oh, let's see how the spider behaves here. Okay, he wants to just hit the bumper. That's fine. Oh, I think he fell down into the pit of death. Should call that something fun, like the the zombie play pit or the zombie pit of fun and dreams. I don't know. You guys tell me what I should name that thing. Oh, look, Lumberjack wants to have some fun down there too. Ah, perfect. I can't fall down there too, which is nice, because if I could, I would. Whoop, too far, buddy. Oh, crap. There we go. Oh, Thomas. Why were you beating on the wall out there? Oh, decapitation. Just gonna jump down here and get some of my bolts back. Oh, this is gonna work great. We just need to spend one of our next skill points into the demolitions expert so that we can then craft pipe bombs. Speaking of crafting, here are my lockpicks. Nice. And uh, we're looking bad on ammo, actually. And uh, I don't know if that's gonna be looking any better anytime soon because we're using guns more and more. Uh, we could always carry around the pipe machine gun for a couple of days and give the shotgun a rest. Take the bullet casings, the bullet tips. I could just craft up a little bit. 51 rounds of 9 mil. That's better than nothing, I guess. We are going to have to do some mining so that we can get some nitrate powder and coal and therefore start crafting more gunpowder for future ammo crafting and pipe bomb crafting. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. 
Today we continue the Frostbite series into day number 11. And we are still nursing a broken arm, but otherwise we're pretty much good to go here. We're fed and watered. It is almost daybreak. Uh, I think we left a little bit too early last night and there were just ferals everywhere. So from now on, we need to kind of stay in the safety of our base until it does break morning. So early on, we're going to head over to this quest that we have. Uh, that was the Lispank POI. So we'll head directly there. We'll do that quest early this morning, and by the time we're done, we'll head back to the trader. He'll be open. I forgot, I completely forgot to check his inventory, so we'll have to do that. And we'll have to decide if we want to head over to Trader Joel as well. Alright, here we are, and Mo is not happy about it. Good morning, Mo. Oh, ow. Oh, I got stuck on that car. Oh, crap. Arrow to the knee. Ah, I missed. Oh, a snake. <laughs> Why are there snakes here? It's winter. You're supposed to be hibernating. I've always thought that snakes should have, like, a venomous attack that kind of disables you or adds some kind of a debuff all right time for some breakfast we've had one yes but what about second breakfast all right everything's all put away i do hear some footsteps someone is lurking around nearby but it is time before i forget to show some love to the patreon supporters at the naming rights tier or above so i selected a name at random and it was flesh flurry so I went ahead and went to some of the game files. It's the localization.txt, and I renamed Flurry of Blows to Flurry of Flesh in honor of Flesh Flurry. So thank you, Flesh Flurry, and thank you to all the Patreon supporters. All right, let's hit it. Oh, look at that stuff. Holy crap, I've got so many freaking tank tops and stuff in my inventory. All I really want is some of this red dye. Alright, some people would probably call me crazy for doing all that work to just get a bunch of cloth and dye. Dye that I'm scrapping down into paint, but uh, we're seeming, seemingly nowhere close to getting a chem station, so I'm going to take the paint that I can get so I can paint up the base for day 14, put the rest of that crap away, and uh, probably should take that painkiller, but I... Eh, I think we'll be okay for now. All right, that is it for Lespank. Check the cash machine real quick. Oh, damn, a safe. Nice. Now I got all these new lockpicks. This fucking better be worth it. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, dogs. Yep, no thanks. I'm gonna see if I can do this quietly. I'd rather not let off firearms. It's working, it's working! Got him! And not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Merry Christmas to everyone. I didn't get a chance to say that during one of the previous episodes, but Happy New Year as well. Oh, that's where he was hiding back here, huh? Ooh, what is this? Sneaky. Oh, is this where you're supposed to go or what? Well, don't mind if I do. I heard some birds flapping. That's uh, never a good sign. Whoa, sneaky weapons bag. Baton parts. Oh my god. Crap. And I don't think I can fit through there. Okay. Ah, handgun parts. Perfect. We need that to make the SMG a little bit later. Oh, and I think... Uh, is that it? Was that just like a sneaky area to go explore the elevator shaft? I like that. Yeah, I think you're supposed to actually just go up the stairs here. Oop. Good morning. Eat that. And one to the knee for him. Yeah. Oh, bleeding kill. Yeah, someone said in the comments that uh, sometimes they don't get the credit, the XP for the bleeding kill if they switch off of their knife and then the zombie dies to bleeding. So I'd have to test that out, but um, I don't know. It could be a thing, I guess. Comments are not always the most accurate source of information. Uh-oh. Ah! Whoa! Okay, out we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! Bad. Um, not 
as bad as I was expecting. It's not cheese if the game made me do it. Now, I, the new lumberjack is too short. I can't quite reach him. Oh, there's a zombie above me, too. Get him right in the taint. Eat that. Okay, I think we're good here. I could search these shoe racks, but, um... Oh, red dye. I guess that's going to be worth it. Oh, those sell for a good amount of money, too. Yeah, give me all these cowboy boots. Nice. Ooh, dress shoes. Those sell pretty good, too. All right, not too bad, actually. Gothic boots. Yeah, okay. Ooh, duster. Nice. All right, there's a zombie that's, like, aggroed. He's outside the building, though. I don't think he's too much of a threat. Be nice if he could come around front here so we could shoot him through these grates. I, I call them grates, but they're called security gates. But it doesn't look like a gate to me. It looks like a grate. Ah, broken, broken vending machine here. Um, I'm, I've been kind of forgetting to take these apart. There we go. Yeah, inventory is becoming an issue. Don't think I need one forged iron. Oh, here we go. Crap. I'm trying to sneak up on her, but I tripped over some freaking garbage on the ground. Ah, the satchel. Nice. Stumbled right across it. Forgot I was even here for that. I guess we are continuing straight up. Oh, I see Bo over there. Aha. I see some loot up there. Um, I'll have to try to remember to get that. I'm not sure if there's like an intended pathway or that's supposed to be something sneaky. Yeah, I can't figure out how to like get up there, naturally at least, without polling. Okay, I did hear the flaps earlier, so I think there is a bird around somewhere. But we're back inside, I guess. Close the door behind me. Oh, Arlene, you bitch. Ooh, two one-shot kills in a row? What? Come on, toilet pistol. Oh, I got a toilet hunting knife that I'll just scrap, I guess. Oh, if this thing gives out and I break my leg, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Whoa, whoa, oh, fucking bird. Yikes. Nope, nope, not the gun, not the gun. We've learned our lesson. Don't let the gun off downtown. Ow. Okay, uh, boiled meat. All right, we're just barely not encumbered either. Oh, get rid of that paper and one mechanical part. Okay, we're good. Oh, um, where was that? Like, oh, was that up there? I, where was that, um, the loot crates that we saw there just a minute ago? I'm gonna open this up and see where it goes. This is not the intended path. Oh, I need to go up there. Okay, that probably is where this ladder goes. Okay, we, we must be nearing the end, I feel like. Ah, uh, yes. Oh no! And there's a bird up there, crap! Oh no. I'm just gonna go down, I guess. Oh, cr oh my god, I have no choice. We gotta use the guns here. Come on up here. Okay, look out, I can hear him above me, I can hear him below me. Ah, okay, I see him, yikes. Come on, Moogie, you're up! Nice! Good work. Nice. Okay, we did attract some attention, and, uh... Uh, but I think we're good. I kind of want to just see if there's anything up here for me. Uh, nope, I don't think so. Aha! Uh -huh, yep, this is the main loot. Okay, good deal. Not bad. Not bad at all. Freaking wall safe, eight, like nine lockpicks, and I get this first try. Okay, barbed wire mod schematic. I think I'm just gonna sell that. Got some first aid bandages, that is good. We're up to five, so that's good. All right, plenty of first aid. Let's, uh, whoa, 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 God damn. Okay, how do I get out of here now? Not really sure how to get out of here. Oh, Mo, what are you doing here? Nope, you can't come up here, stop that gonna go back the way I came from, I guess. Oh, man. I'm gonna get myself killed just trying to get out of here. Here we go. Um, yeah, just do this. Just do this. Easy. Okay. And we are out of here. Oh, freaking crawlers are tough. Tougher than they look, at least. All right, just put a bunch of junk in there. I'm gonna break down a couple of these cars because uh, we still need an engine. 
not gonna get an engine out of this car here because it's broken down too much. We'll get some other crap out of it. This is the one that you can get an engine out of. Oh, soldier boy running up on me. Yeah, second thought, I think we'll just leave. Goodbye. Yeah, maybe I'll just try this car instead. So I was doing some testing today earlier and uh, I basically, I did 40 cars total. Ooh, I got an acid out of that, that is clutch. And um, I did 20 cars with the power attack like this and I did 20 cars with the regular wrench attack like this. And um, basically I got the same results. Like uh, someone had commented that Oh, you have a decreased likelihood of getting engines and batteries, and at one point I had thought that as well, but I wanted to do some testing to kind of confirm that one way or the other, and um, I'll tell you just the rough numbers. I got, um, it was eight engines when I was power attacking, like this. I got eight out of the 20 cars, and I got uh, five when I was doing this, which is actually in keeping with the game files which say that you can only you only have a 25 percent chance of getting an engine out of a car when you break it down now batteries are the same it's a 25 percent chance radiators are a 50 percent chance of getting one out of a car come on uh, oh there see i just got an engine and a battery that was off of a regular attack and i got a radiator nice so yeah, I think the results are pretty much equivocal. I don't think there's any like advantage to doing the regular animation. So just for the sake of like doing more block damage and saving more time, I'm gonna continue using the power attack. Ah, another thing. People keep telling me that you can get wheels out of tires and you cannot. There is not a single tire or wheel in the game that you can harvest for a wheel that you could then use to like craft a vehicle. So stop that. I think I'm just going to head directly in and um, see if there's like a sugar butts Welcome or something here. Mm, nope, here there's an eye candy. I'll buy that in just a minute. Wipe that smirk off your face. Okay, our, oh, a steel. Wow! Whoa, quality four steel pickaxe. What is this though? Oh, that's just uh, harvesting like gems and stuff from ore. We'll definitely be taking that pickaxe. We'll grab another job from him real quick. Uh, what do we got here? Fetch to the south. That's the hardware store. I think we've done that one before. So, no thanks. Downtown Strip 1. I don't know if we've been to that one, so I'll take that one. We'll check the map real quick and see where that is. Oh, that's uh, yeah, that's a city block that we have not explored, really. I think we've driven through there a little bit, but uh, I don't know what that is. All right, so I will take that eye candy and the rock busters, and then let's just see his inventory real quick and see if he has anything good that we want. Oh, <laughs> my grandmother just sent me a text message. Apparently it's my grandfather's 75th birthday, so happy birthday, Grandpa. Anyway, what do we got for sale here? Okay, forged steel, that would be nice to have. Um, hmm, that's so expensive though, holy crap. Otherwise, nothing there. We'll check the secret stash. There is a tech junkie. Ooh, that is for the Repulsor mod for Stun Batons, which is super fun to have. Ooh, 44 Magnum Schematic as well. Silencer, that would be pretty cool to have, especially like downtown. We could slap that on the pistol. Ooh, he's got the, uh, the Magnum Enforcer with the 44 gun drawn. Wow, 5% better deal. Yep, we're gonna probably need to buy that. Okay, Just definitely some stuff we wanna- Shut up, Wrecked. I'm trying to talk here. Okay, take the nerdy glasses off so we can unlock the, the, the lower secret stash. What's wrong with you, Wrecked? Give me the inventory menu here. In this one, he's got this, uh, ooh, the art of mining that gives you stacks, so we need to buy that. Some nine mil, and that's uh, pretty much it. Tech assault rifle. That's a lot. Eat it. All right, definitely some stuff we need to buy there. However, we don't really have any money at all, so <laughs> we need to go back and get all of our sellables, and we'll be right back. All right, now we just gotta sort through all of our crap. Put those back on. All right, I've got all the sellables together. I think everything can be sold here. I did put a mod onto this iron sledgehammer so we can sell that for a little bit more. Let's head over to Wrecked, do the big sell-off and uh, buy some of the stuff that we need. All right, we're back hey, Jack, and yes. here's Wrecked. Backpack up for you. No sugar butts today. It hurts me to do it, but oh, someone was saying that the hunting knife is better than the bone knife. Uh, and it, uh, let's see, if I'm comparing, uh, we're doing a 2.3 more power attack damage. How many mods do I have on this? Oh, man, I got like four mods on this. That's giving me plus 
10% each. That's plus 40% to base damage. I can only put two mods onto this. So yes, the hunting knife at base is a little bit better, but overall not any better. So, okay, let's get rid of this crap. And he is not interested in my fourth pair of cowboy boots. Okay, we've got a little bit of coin here, not a whole lot. Okay, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful how we spend our money. I am going to get the silencer. I think that'll just help so that we don't attract too many zombies. Uh, 44 magnum schematic, super duper expensive. Yeah, and we were, I think we have some magnum ammo at home, but overall magnum ammo is reportedly really hard to come by. And then there's the book there that gives us the better deal when bartering. Oh man, and that's gonna be basically all of our money. Sale is a sale. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, 44 magnum schematic and the magnum enforcer that gives us the better deal when we have one drawn. And we'll have to uh, get one of those crafted here at some point. Good Don't enough. Door hit you on your way All right, so uh, I know I said we could go, I've been saying for days now, that we should go to the other traders and see what they have, and probably that is the best practice, but with such little money, uh, I just, I don't... I don't know, it's a long trip. Probably our time is better spent like doing activities that'll help us in the long run more so than like, you know, going to a trader and buying one acid. So let's read this book. I can't read when I'm on a vehicle. Okay, I you know, safety first, you can't read and drive. So we'll read those, modify this, put that new silencer on it. That'll reduce the damage a little bit, but overall it'll just attract a lot less attention. So I'll be more inclined to use it when we get into like an oh shit type of scenario. And I am not liking this fog right now. Damn it. All right, just back at the base right here. I was going to um, just eat some food here because we're kind of starving to death. Gonna bring a couple of coffees with me and I'm gonna bring that rock busters with me. Oh, I was using rock busters to dig up pallets in a couple episodes ago. That is not a thing, so don't do not do that. Um, it, it only works for like trees and, and, and ore and stone and stuff like that, so my bad. And we've got this new pickaxe here, so I think it's probably best to do some mining tonight. What we really need are bullet manufacturing materials like lead, nitrate, and coal so that, that we can then craft the gunpowder that we need. And um, do I have a skill point? I do have a skill point. So eventually, I'm just going to do it now. I'm going to take that point into demolitions expert so that we can craft pipe bombs. That way I just don't have to remember to do that later because uh, knowing me, I'll get to Horde Knight and be like, crap, I forgot. So <laughs> we're all good now. Uh, and then from now on, we'll probably be specking into agility perks more than anything. Oh, here's some lead right here. Rockbusters, coffee, and we'll get some mining done. Okay, that should hold us over there. Ah, and the fog has lifted. Nice. Aha, nitrate. Ooh, there's, there's iron down in this one too. That's kind of convenient. Yeah, let me, what do you guys think of the new iron sounds? Like when you hit iron and metal and stuff like that? Uh, I don't know why they keep changing little things like that, but um, yeah, I don't know. Still undecided, I guess. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, oh, the fog is back, damn it. All right, one more thing on the agenda and that's to get some coal. I did mark these spots on the map so we can come back at a later date. Is that coal? That's metal. Okay, having a hard time finding some coal, so I'm using the the map trick to see if I can find some, and there it is. So what you do is you, you zoom in close to your map, and and uh, it's probably a bad example now because I'm too close to it. And let's get the marker out of the way. See that little black dot there? I hope you can see that. There are lots of dots on the map, and they're colored to whatever item is there. So you look for the most black dot you can find, and that should be a coal node. All right, I'm officially hungry and I'm freezing my nuts off. And it's almost nightfall and the nighttime zombies will surely eat me alive. So let's get the hell out of here. Oh, geez, I gotta warm up. Get this fire going. Nice. Okay, time for a hobo stew, I think. Let's get these materials put away, but I am gonna need the lead put into the forge, the coal and the nitrate powder. Where'd that go? Right there. Okay, get that lead rolling. Picked up a couple of eggs while I was out, so might as well get this going. That's already going. Uh, get the bacon and eggs going. And some boiled meat after that. Good. Gonna actually need to put some iron into the forge so I can get some forged iron so that we can then make the cement mixer. Only need like three of it. Come on. There we go. 
Okay, that's all we needed. Get that rolling. Three minutes. Good. Okay. And while that stuff is going, are we good? Are we good? We're good. Let's head downstairs. I need to make a quick modification to the fighting position here. Okay, and uh, yes, fortunately nothing fell apart when that happened. Oh, that needs some repairs there. Ooh, uh oh, uh-oh. Okay, so uh, there's a new block I'm going to put there in that in the place of the, the, the gate that was there. So yes, we were, we were using the dynamic grate. Why is this one called a security gate? And this is called a dynamic grate. I feel like the fun pimps made a little bit of a typo here. Anyway, anyway. So the one that we want to use instead is the scaffolding plank. Now, I am not the, the person that found this out. This was shown to me by Dragon Angel, who is also a Patreon supporter and uh, just like a super fan. So shout out to Dragon Angel. And I think what she does is this. And uh, this seems to work really good at preventing zombies from like crawling in towards you. Because remember last time the front bumper got knocked out and zombies were like able to basically crawl up in here and that was bad. So we're going to give this a shot. Now it does hamper visibility a little bit, but we still have the gates or grates or whatever the hell you want to call them on the bottom here and we have our little like peeking uh, windows or whatever you want to call these on the side and uh, have not yet decided on a name for the pit so please tell me some cool fun name we can name the pit and uh, yeah I think we're good here good to go how are we looking here oh perfect timing cement mixer I'll take that just pop that down right there what can I get rolling there I can get 857 cement mix going. Concrete mix. Man, I always get those mixed up. I'm sorry. Okay, now that that's done, we can get some gunpowder going. And I don't think I need coal or nitrate for anything else, so just give me all of it. And here's a fun thing you can do right here. If you just type in log into your crafting menu, you can get a couple of logs crafted. It takes, um... Oh, I don't know. How much wood does it take? It takes... 10 wood to make one log and when you burn a log it burns just as long as 10 wood wood if that makes any sense so <laughs> all right so we got 10 wood that's going to give us eight minutes and 20 seconds and one log also gives us eight minutes and 20 seconds so you're not like it's not more efficient to do this it's just easier on the clicking all right, give me up that food for the inventory. We'll lock that up for tomorrow. The rest of it can just go into the food box. So we'll get some bullet tips while we're waiting here. We still need one more bottle of acid before we can get the chem station. And I think that'll probably do it for the iron. And let's just get all of the iron, forged iron, we can craft it out. Except we're out of clay crap. And just gonna like put this crap in here so I don't have to deal with it right now. Okay, good. Uh oh, we got a screamer out here somewhere. She's at the front door. I wonder if I could just peek over the edge here and just put an arrow right into her skull. Oh, crap. Ah, she screamed. Would you just, just die? Got her. But her friends are coming. Oh, one of them's fighting that mountain lion. Good luck with that. Yeah, a couple, two, three zombies rolling up here. All right, let's get into position. Get out of here. There we go. No loot bags. You guys are cheap. All right, my friends, we are in pretty good shape here for day 12 on... Uh, so what do we have? We have day 12, 13, and 14 to, to live here. So three more days here. And then on the morning of day 15, we'll be moving to the new base, which is going to be right there. Probably tomorrow or the next day. We're going to be over in that neighborhood tomorrow. So maybe we'll clear that place out if we have enough hit points left after we do the fetch quest. <laughs> and... Uh, we'll start thinking about making that our permanent home. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. And on a little bit of a side note, if you're still watching, thank you so much. I just wanted to let you all know that uh, I achieved sort of a huge life milestone in paying off my student loan debt. Thanks in no small part to my YouTube revenue so far and to the Patreon supporters and the YouTube members who are so generous with their money and in supporting the channel. So um, I don't often take time to kind of do a heart to heart like this, but it means a lot. 
lot to me that we've made it this far. The channel has doubled in size since December, really, since I made that Alpha 20 video that was then, you know, put on the patch notes by the Fun Pimps. More than I could have ever asked for. I'm just truly really humbled by everything I've achieved so far and all of the support from you guys. So thank you for watching and goodbye. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day number 12. And it's been a busy morning for me. Let's see, what do we got going here? We have brass going into the forge here, cooking up some water and some coffee and stuff here, making up some concrete mix. I made up some sand earlier. I didn't realize, but sand actually processes in the cement mixer like way faster now. I did make some pipe bombs. We'll have 20 of those going for Horde Night. And I'm making a quality one magnum just because it gives us a way to use this, uh, you know, 30 odd magnum ammo we have. We can use it on Horde Night potentially. And it will give us the plus five bartering, but I didn't want to like level up into gunslinger here because then it would have been a higher quality gun and I would have had to use more resources. So we're still, we're pretty short on handgun parts again here, but I don't plan on crafting the SMG for a, a good while because I don't want to like blow through all my handgun parts and only have to uh, a quality two or three. I want to get like a quality four or five by the time I need that, which will probably be like a couple weeks down the line. So no big deal there. All right. So I have a couple things in the inventory here. I'm just going to start stashing these in the bike because we don't need them when we're at home as much as we do when we're out and about. And I brought some dye because I want to dye the... Uh, the, the mini bike finally get it something besides white at least and uh, This is gonna be rolling all day. We're good there. All right, let's head out check that the coast is clear here I don't see any. Oh, there is a vicious predator over there. I think the mini bikes on this side. Yep, so we should be okay Dye it up red uh, doesn't look great and just uh, put that stuff away Lock it up with the inventory lock slot mod. We'll have a look at the map real quick. Uh, I want to head over to The the new base location and clear that out and I was thinking we could clear that out And then we could clear out this tier 3 fetch and clear and then we'll loot them up together with the with the eye candy that I'm bringing with me So I'll meet you there and uh, Just a uh, looking at that motel there we did that a little earlier in the series and uh, I made the mistake of going into the main loot room first before I did the rest of the POI and it was actually like a really easy main loot to get to so I might just open this up and we'll try to include this with the the big loot run we're gonna do later okay so there should be just a couple of zombies in here and it's not too difficult to kill them either Um, unless you wake them all up. Thomas, eat that! Uh, we got, like, wolves, lumberjacks. It's a- it's a busy, busy neighborhood right now. Ah! Ow! Oh, fucking wolf! Um... Yeah, can I just do this, and then up, and then up? Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck! Run! <laughs> oh, man. I don't have the dexterity, I guess, to, to like, nerd pull when there's four zombies and a friggin' direwolf chasing me around. Yeah, we need running gun, don't we? That might be the next point. In the knee, get him a bleeding damage, or a bleeding debuff to slow him down. Look how slow he's going. We'll get him bleeding, too. Alright, good deal. Well, that's basically the main loot. Hopefully that direwolf won't be there when we come back. Alright, and the fog has lifted, so I'll meet you at the base. Here we are. This is gonna be home here pretty soon, the next couple days. Is there anyone in here? I bet someone's in there. Yep. Eat this. So I've been here a few times. I pretty much know the drill. Um, there should be a zombie around here somewhere. I think he's in this room here. I'm just gonna sneak my way. Oh, I can see him kind of shaking over there. Can I get him though? Yep. 
Okay, where do I go? I go up here now? Is there anybody in here? Oh, I see a foot. Oh, come on. Ah, got him. Oh, whoa, hello. It's a couple more, it looks like. Oh, he's... Uh, did he, like, fall down or was he crawling? I can't really tell what was going on there. Oh, he's totally confused, though. He doesn't know where he wants to go. And there was one more that was beating around up here. He's confused as well, it looks like. Ah, oh, they had no idea what they were doing, did they? Got a skill point there. Uh, what did I say? I wanted to go into run and gun there a minute ago. I think that's a good idea. We can reload a little bit more quickly when we're trying to run away. Okay, on to the big ladder. Now, zombies, I believe, can come up here from the bottom. So we just have to, like, watch our back a little bit here. All right. Where are the zombies around here? Oh, there they are. In the knee. Slow down. Nope. I don't think so. Do the old open the door, stab them in the face, close the door trick. This is the only way. Uh, oh, just a snack here. Ooh, good handful of uh, ammo there, too. Nice. And I'll just leave the pallets here. We'll mine them up when we basically claim this as our base. Okay, I guess I sort of forget the trick. The loot's in there. Where do I go, though? That's locked. Yeah, I broke my leg right here once. I uh, mistimed the jump, so not taking any chances anymore. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, jeez, there's three of them. Whoa, get down! Got him. Uh-oh. Yep, come over here. Let's see if they're gonna mistime their jumps. Yep. Uh-oh. Yeah! Oh. I made it. I'm kind of in rough shape, though. Maybe uh, just have a little bit more breakfast. Some would call it second breakfast. Oh, yes, the button. That should open everything up for us. Although I don't quite remember where to go from here. I go into one of these, don't I? Is it this one here? Yep, down here. And there should be, like, one more zombie in here. Or two, maybe? Right behind the ear. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Aha, uh -huh, now I go over here. I believe this is the only way to get to the main loot, unless, uh, perhaps there's a way that they want you to, like, get onto the rooftop. I'm not sure. But yes, yes, this is the main loot right here. I'm just gonna open these up, and we're gonna do the big looting run in a little bit with the eye candy. Hmm, I think I can get down from over there. Should I chance it? Eee. Ah, yeah, we're good. Sometimes it's just hard to judge whether you're gonna hurt yourself or not. Oh crap, he's a fucking feral. Uh-oh. No, sir. Holy crap. Take that extra bandage immediately. And we'll have some boiled meat for Eleventies. Any good loot in here, though? Ooh, a Night Stalker book. Bladed weapons do 10% more damage at night. That'll help on Horde Night. Nice. Who's that? Is that a feral white? I'm pretty sure it is. Damn, man. I don't want to fight that guy. Okay, I think we're good for this place. Let's go uh, do a drive-by on that friggin' feral white over there, and then we'll do that quest. I'll meet you there. Charge! Ow! Why doesn't that work? Oh my god, he's so fast! All right, I'm parking in the handicap spot because I'm I'm hurting real bad right now. Oh, you die. Thank you. Read that book up and stash our stuff a little bit. I just saw out of the corner of my eye this guy over here. Almost certainly going to become a problem here in a minute. Oh, stripper back there too. Okay, well, he's kind of wandered into that POI, so let's hit it here. Not 100% sure if this place has changed much for Alpha 20, so just gonna, whoop, be on my feet a little bit. Okay, this, oh, oh, I triggered him. Crap, let's head outside and fight him. Just use the 9 mil, I think. There we go. Man, their jumping is a little bit janky. This is a toilet store, so... Hopefully that means we can get a toilet pistol. Not sure how many toilets there are, but uh, there's one on the sign out front. I'll have to keep an eye out for that one. 
Okay, turning my lights out. Not that it's going to probably help too much, but I can... Uh, mountain lion? That's bad. Ah! He's inside! Oh, shit! Ah, I'm stuck! Boogie! Help me! Ah! Run, 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 run! Out front! On the pole! Not that high! Uh, um, boiled meat, something. Oh, jeez, zombies everywhere. Okay. Uh, freaking dog, where'd you come from? Dogs are bad. I think they can hit the, the bottom of the pole. I can hear the cat. I don't see him, though. But if I just do this really quickly here, I'm s just like sweating bullets here. He should be in here somewhere. Oh crap. There he is. I see him. Quick, just get the regular gun. Got him. Oh god. That was the most terrifying experience of my day. Okay, we got zombies breaking in downstairs too. Where are they? Right here. Get a preemptive block down just in case it's like a dog or feral or something crazy. Oh, uh, yes. A feral stripper. Alright, there we go. Top that off. Just gonna seal that up. Slow him down a little bit at least. Couple extra frames going. Good. Okay, I think we're back on track. Maybe... maybe some food would be good though. We got a zombie coming upstairs here. Where is he? Hello! Get the fuck out of here, please. Arrow in the knee, except it's not loaded, although I got run and gun now, so I can kind of load and run at the same time. Whoa! Looking good, looking good. Alright, harvest this guy up. Ah, uh, yes, that was a dead end over there. Out the window, then. Okay. Good. Ah, yes, the toilet sign. Or the sign toilet, maybe. Uh, ooh, oh, look at the zombies. Holy cow. Ha! nice. I managed to sneak my way all the way over here. Nice. Whoa, weapons bag. Ah, handgun parts. Perfect. Acid, nice. Speaking of acid, look what we got here. This is a, um, medicine cabinet. <laughs> acid out of that as well. Actually, this morning, I made that video on, like, the pro tip for getting acid. And up until the, the moment this morning, basically, when I made that video, I didn't know that that gave you acid when you read The Wasteland Treasures Volume 3, which I think I got, like, on day one, or really early on anyway. So I never really looked into it much because in Alpha 19, you know, acid was really not that hard to come by. And um, if you got the Wasteland Treasures book, it was just like, oh yeah, you know, cool. A little bit of extra acid, but wasn't a big deal. But now, man, Alpha 20, I, I haven't actually like compared the game files, but it is much more difficult to find acid, it seems. But yeah, now the, it's a 50% chance, too, to get acid out of those little medicine cabinets. So I feel like we're going to be getting acid like hand over fist now. In fact, we have enough as of today to make the chem station. So we'll probably look into doing that tonight if we have enough forged iron and all that stuff. Oh my god, more acid. My goodness. I am so sorry, guys. I know a lot of y'all are struggling to get acid. And here I am sitting on like nine of it right now. Oh boy, he's a feral. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, just get the gun. Just get the gun. We're good here. Eat that! Ha ha! Little snack there. We have another broken vending machine here. Very hard to find a working vending machine these days, it seems. Uh-oh! Close that. Oh, that's not gonna help, because they can come right in this way, can't they? Okay, and where did pizza come from anyway? He he probably came from outside, I would have thought, but he was in here. Oh, okay. Probably over there somewhere. Uh yeah, probably can he could he have come right through here or something? Okay, there we go. Ow! Oh, that's another feral. What is it with you freaks? <laughs> oh, magnificent architecture right there. 
just came out here quickly to stash my stuff. I don't want to be all gummed up when we do the eye candy thing. All right, this whole toilet store needs to have a toilet pistol. If I don't get a toilet pistol out of this store, I'm going to be mighty upset. Aha! There it is! The magic toilet! We do have some friends outside here. It sounds like they're on the other side of this wall here. Another medicine cabinet we can check real quick. Ooh, that's a good one. So we can get that acid out of it. Nope, not on that one. Oh, there's friggin' Feral White! Feral White! Be on your guard here! Ah! There he is! Arlene! Quickly, get an arrow into his knee. Nice. I think we're good here. Ah, Arlene. You crafty bitch. Get out of here. Okay, run. Run and gun, save me. That's a feral Arlene. Ah. What? Why are there so many Arlenes? Aha. Eat that. Oh boy, things are crazy right now. Okay. Just wanted to stash the bike one more time. Let's head back in. Hopefully, I don't think there's a whole lot left of this place here. Oh, steel shovel. Nice. You no, know, while I'm out here, just gonna grab a painkiller. Yep. Yeah. Oh, much better. Much better. Okay, drink that water just to wash it down. Aha! Another little medicine box here. Nope, nothing out of that one. Okay, close that door behind us. I don't think zombies are going to want to come up here. Ooh, <laughs> recog. Nice. I love that you can just find that everywhere now. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, a whole bunch of zombies. Yikes. Just keep backing up. Hopefully I don't run into anything. <laughs> okay, we're good. Ow. Ooh. Oh, he's kicking my ass. Ah! Get a gun! I'M BLEEDING! Ow! God, I was like stuck in the crossbow, I couldn't switch out of it. Uh, I don't have a sewing kit on me, do I? Not at the moment. I think there's one in the mini bike. that would be nice. And we're almost encumbered, so I'm inclined to just get rid of some of this stuff here. Cornmeal, get rid of that. Jar, I don't need that. Alright, we've gone through half of our boiled meat. Not a big deal. We got the cat today, and like a rabbit, and a chicken, so I think we're, you know, we're net positive. Aha, the satchel. I love it when I just stumble onto it. Perfect. Okay, I think we're nearing the end. What do we do? We go up here and um, not down there, over here. And the main loot is up there. That's why the spikes are there. They don't want you to go that way. But I think we're pretty safe to just uh, kind of... Where do I go now? This way? Just moving right along here. Might get a sneaky little radiator out of this. That would be nice. Yep, there we go. I think it's a 50% chance on those, if I recall correctly. Um, I woke them up. It's a trigger room, it seems. But they're not very clever ones, are they? Yeah, what's the deal here? Uh, what is that up there? Anything up here? Oh man, a weapons bag! Holy cow! Can I just get in there? Uh, I could eat the eye candy now. I don't really want to, because we have a lot to do. One pipe bomb? Are you kidding me? Should have ate that eye candy. I don't think I've found a single good thing in a filing cabinet in Alpha 20. I don't know if they've, like, decreased the likelihood of getting something good out of it, but you used to get schematics and stuff, right? Maybe I'm just, uh, not having any luck. I think you can get forged iron and... what else out of this? Like, polymer? Okay, electrical parts. There's not steel in this, I don't think. Yeah, just a couple forged iron, no big deal. Fog is rolling in again, man, the weather changes quick here. Oh, we got a drop on this dog here, and I can see a couple other zombies as well. Ooh, is that a bird? I, I think those are feathers there. Nice. And uh, I don't know if I can get the arrow into that guy or not. I got him, but it wasn't a headshot. That's okay. The compass says two more, so let's see if I can sneak up on him. Oh, we got a uh, hard hat zombie here. Whoops. One more. Aha! Mission complete. All right, too much stuff in the inventory. Gonna need to make some sacrifices here. Okay, better. Now we can uh, eat the eye candy in just a second. Okay, first try. Man, I hear zombie footsteps and I just don't know where they're coming from. All right, I think we're good though. Eye candy in. Not bad. 
Pretty good. Terrible. Uh, not bad on the first aid, but um, I would hope to get something better than that as we go to the next uh, loot, main loot area. I think um, I'm totally encumbered right now, so I'm just gonna like hustle my ass over to the mini bike. Oh, they're right behind me. Please don't be ferals that are gonna run really fast. Yeah! Okay, yep, they they came out, but I, I'm we're, we're making a clean getaway. <laughs> okay. All right, right there should do. Let's see if I can stash the bike at all. I'm like totally gummed up right now. Yep, it's bad. I think I just go on this ladder here. Up to here, yep. Check this real quick. Why not? Up to here. I don't know, I'm just gonna do this. It seems faster. Here we go. All right, what do we got left on the loot and candy? Uh, a little over three minutes. Man, we are doing good. Mm, helmet light mod schematic. Probably just sell that, to be perfectly honest, and I'll scrap those knuckles for parts. Bandages? Freaking garbage. Ugh, nothing good so far. We got one more spot to check, though. Alright, same trick here. Just doink right down to there. And we're off to the motel. Alright, where's that dire wolf? Hopefully he didn't wander into the loot room. I think we're good. I have two inventory spots, man. Okay, I need to do some uh, rearranging here. All right, that'll have to do it. No one left in here, right? Everyone all came out? Okay. All right, check that chest real quick. Something good, please. Ah, oh, terrible. Ah, oh, I hear mountain lion. Eee, onto the bike. Where is he? Oh, he's he's uh, kind of way back there. I... I think we're good, I think. Just in case, though, I'm gonna, like, park the mini bike right there and finish looting here. If I can, I mean, I don't really have any inventory space. Just eat it, drink it, don't care. Come on, charred meat, come on, man! And corn, uh, I kinda do want that. Corn seeds, what can I get rid of here? Red tea, drink that, okay. Yo, pissed off Lumberjack, and I'm completely encumbered, and the bike is full, so let's get the hell out of here. Alright, everything is stashed away in here right now. Uh, really, the only good haul for today was that steel shovel. That's gonna replace the iron shovel here in uh, about two seconds. Could just use one of those sewing kits to suture up whatever was deeply lacerated. And we'll go collect our reward. Hello, Wrecked. Good afternoon. Whoa. Steel helmet. That's gonna sell for a lot of dukes right there. Yep, we'll take that. Ooh, oh, we're done, we're done, we, we did it. We've completed this um, this this tier of quest. We're on to tier fours, man. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Okay, dart trap bundle, uh, I don't know about that. Melee mods, I don't know about that either. M ranged mods, yeah, dukes. Motorcycle parts, is that like all of the motorcycle parts? Oh man. I don't know. I've uh, I've never gotten this far in a playthrough yet. I mean, I do a lot of like playing and testing, but not like actual playing unless I'm doing this series. So I don't know what to expect out of that, but I need to find out. <laughs> All right. What is it? What is it? Oh, it doesn't have the chassis. What the hell? Wheels and an engine. Oh, the chassis is like, is, he, is anyone going to sell me the chassis, do you think? All right, so we just need to look out for the chassis in the inventories then and buy it whenever we can. Wow, what a ripoff, man. Engine and wheels. What? All right, anyway, we have uh, some Dukes, and uh, I do remember he has some things that I wanted to buy, and today's the last day before Trader Restock, so I'm gonna just go through the inventory real quick. He's got this Tech Junkie book that uh, allows us to craft the Repulsor mod, so I am gonna take that. That'll be That's gonna be fun. I just wanna do that for fun. Okay, Nerdy Glasses off. Check the other secret stash. He's got that rocket launcher schematic. I'm not a big rocket launcher fan, though. Just a personal preference, I guess. And the only other thing he has that I think I'll take here is this Art of Mining book for crafting stacks. That's a good way to farm some XP a little bit later on, so we'll take that. Plus, if you complete that series, you can then do the one-shot ore thing with the auger, and it just makes for, like, really, really OP mining. All right, so that will do it. Do uh, anything in his vending machine? Ooh, store. sugar butts. Uh, eye candy. Good. Okay, good. I think that is it for today. Yeah! Ha! Ah, I got him. <laughs> I love that you can roadkill small game. Perfect. All right, a few minutes left in the day. Just gonna harvest up some wood.
All right, that's a fair little bit of wood. We still have an hour left of the day, and uh, one thing I think we do need, I was looking last night, is nitrate. Let's head over to the nitrate mine real quick. I want to just basically preemptively make some farm plots before we move to the big base. And uh, that way we can just start some some like low-key farming. Not gonna like take it too seriously. Probably not even gonna take points into living off the land. But um, oop, there's some nitrate right there. But you know, might as well plant the seeds that I have, get a couple extra vegetables here and there. All right, that is it. The sun is setting and the nighttime zombies are about to spawn, so it's time to head home. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to stop and see if I could see any of them spawn in and looks like businessman over there just spawned in. Probably many others, I just can't see him. Oh, Arlene's rolling up. Let's go meet her downstairs. This is in kind of bad shape too. Oh, hello. <laughs> Any more? Nope, I think we're good. All right, gotta sort through all this crap. We can read the tech junkie for crafting repulsors and read the mining book for crafting stacks. Not that we're anywhere near having enough resources to craft stacks. Oh, nurse. Oh, geez, got a screamer. All right, surely there must be a way for me to kill her without her screaming. Can I just see her around the corner here? Did she just break her way in? Not quite. Okay, I hit her, but she's not dead. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, great. She's down, but her friends are coming. We've got a thousand hit points on this hatch. Let's see if we can hold it. No, there we go. How many hit points did we lose? Only like 150, so not too bad. All right, overall a pretty productive day today. Tomorrow is Trader Restock Day, and I think we're probably gunning for the motorcycle chassis more than anything. I'm not even sure what that's gonna cost, but, and we don't have a whole lot to sell. I'll scrounge up some stuff that we can sell, and maybe tomorrow we'll actually make the big trip out to Trader Joel, and maybe the big trip out to um, wherever this White River citizen We'll make that active real quick and I'll just check and see where that's going to send me. Yes, down here, that was the original trader we were supposed to go to before we struck off to the north. So we could make like a little triangle, we'll check the traders, see if we can get that chassis. I mean, that's like the big deal right now. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day 13. And uh, what have I been working on here? So I've got everything basically ready for the chem station, crafting out some more bullets there. In the forge, I'm getting the rest of the forged iron we need. We need 100, so we'll work on that. We'll get the rest of the bullet casings and brass out of it, and... Uh, otherwise, I think we're pretty much good to go, you know, cooking and stuff like that, usual stuff. So, uh, what we need to do today is make the big, big trader loop. So, let me lock this up first, and I'll get the magnum down here. Okay, something like that will do. I'll grab up all of this. Not a whole lot to sell here, unfortunately. Uh, I've got some parts, like machete parts. Uh, I guess, ooh, we could take the motor tool parts. I'm gonna save these. Okay, we need to find the, the, the motorcycle chassis, so we're, we're really desperate for that. Oh, rifle parts, so bring those with me. I don't need those. Oh yes, and that reminds me, the robotic sledge. I hope, I'll just put that down there, and hopefully I'll remember. We need to, um, oh, bring that wrench with me. I can sell that. I wanna set that up down in the pit. And uh, I've received tons of really good suggestions for what to name the pit. And uh, I'm going to let the suggestions keep rolling in until Horde Night. So if you have any ideas, you know, I'm still listening. All right, so that's going to be all the iron and all of the brass rolling out of that. Just kind of like save some wood here. Two more, come on. Okay, there we go. Give me all this stuff. And chemistry station. 
Nice, 12 minutes. All right, that'll be done by tonight. All right, so without further ado, do we have food and water? Yep, I think we're pretty good. All right, let's hit the road. Oop, got an extra wire tool there. We'll just stash up the bike here real quick. And uh, yeah, just everything I don't need can go in there until we find a trader that has the chassis and then we'll do the big sell-off. Hopefully, do, did I have a sugar? I think I did have a sugar butts, but all right, so we're heading. Let's look at the map real quick. We're going way, way down here where we first spawned in to see if we can uh, meet. I think it's Trader Wreck down there. All right, I'm just going to loot like any little look. I'm not going to loot that car because <laughs> there's a freaking bear there. I think I've already looted that car anyway, but just kind of loot along the way. You never know. You might find like a, I don't know, like a pipe gun or something that we can sell. So I will meet you there. Ah, the temperate biome. Wow, it's kind of a refreshing palette of colors here, having lived in the snow biome for so long. Yep, don't need that crap. Oh, come on, something good, something good, something good! Um, yeah, not great. Whoa, that's better. Nice. Alright, into Trader Rex and we'll just quickly loot the compound. Nothing really good here at all. He does have a skull crusher. Probably all set on that, honestly. All right, that's it for his stuff. Let's check his... Oh, okay, we get the XP reward there. Oh, he's got a special job. That's because uh, we didn't actually do the one from tier... The tier three completion. T what? Trader wrecked again? To the west? And I believe that was like 600 kilometers? Where is that? Oh, damn, it's right over there. Okay. Um, wow, there's a whole bunch of traders kind of like right in our proximity here. All right, back to the task at hand. We need to see if he has a motorcycle chassis or anything else good for that matter. I'll just write it down and we'll come back and get it later. Oh, he's got the gyrocopter accessories. You son of a bitch wrecked. Okay, no matter. Let's take off the nerdy glasses so we downgrade the secret stash and check it again. This time, no luck. Yes, the engine. So. He has a chance to spawn in vehicle parts, and there's a whole list of them. Motorcycle chassis is on the list, but so is like engine and wheel and crap that we don't need. Okay, I'm just like making some mental notes, and then when I'm editing, I'll kind of write some of this stuff down, so if we want to come back and get it, we can. I'm leaving, don't worry. Alright, well, let's uh, change his plans a little bit. I think we need to head now directly west and check out that trader over there. Oh look, it's our cute little opening campfire. <laughs> All right, here we are. This is a huge city. I've seen this before. There's like uh, Shotgun Messiah or Shamway Factory. It's not as big of a city as the one we currently live in, which is why I chose to live in the other one when I was looking at the map previewer. But yep, we're going to see, see the trader here at least. And uh, I'm noticing now that I'm basically out of gas, so we probably need to wrench a couple cars as we go along. All right, another new wrecked. <laughs> Let's loot the compound. It's like Groundhog Day. Oh, look. It's just a bear right outside the window. <laughs> and a Yeti. Oh, the bear is pissed too. Yikes. Just taking the money right out of his register right in front of him. We'll pretend he's distracted by the, the bear outside. <laughs> okay, I think that's pretty much everything I get to. So, nerdy glasses are off, so we're on like the basic secret stash first. Just got some XP for completing the opening trade routes quest, and we'll check his inventory. Bicycle chassis. So unfortunately, the spawn on him today was the bicycle chassis. We can slap the nerdy glasses back on and unlock the level three or or whatever the extra secret stash. And this time, the bicycle and the four x four truck spawned in. So no luck yet again. All right, just taking like mental note. Oh, that's for lanterns. That's kind of a good one. And finding more ammo and loot, also a good book. Nothing game-changing here, though, so moving on. Okay, I think we're heading... Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, basically due north, I think, from here. Whoa, arrow rest mod. Wow, good stuff in there. Get rid of that stupid water. Whoa, crap. Uh, I've kind of rolled up on this mystery town here. Is this, like, a big enough town to maybe have a trader? Because it's not... It's not the one we were just at, and it's not the one we're going to. So I'm gonna have a little lap around the town and see what I can see. Another thing I'm really looking for is like a Bob's Boars. That would be a really good POI to find. Kind of like, it always sets you up on meat, and it has the super corn in it, which is kind of like a critical resource in this game now. 
Oh, yes, the traitor. He's right there. Nice. This is like another whole huge city. Oh, God. Cats are mad. Zombies are mad. Almost got my bike stuck. Great. Ah, uh, get out of the ditch. Who's this? It's Trader Hugh! Honestly, I was hoping for Trader Bob, because Bob has, like, the vehicle parts. If you need vehicles, go to Trader Bob. Speaking of Bob, a couple boars there. I'm gonna loot his compound real quick. Never know what you're gonna find. He's got the good compound, too, with two munitions boxes. Whoa! Oh my god, the inventory. I think his chem station is down in the well here, as well as uh, 19 clay in that box. Working stiff tools box with some frames in it, and nothing up here. Okay, back top side. Munitions box up here. Anything good? A little bit of ammo? Won't say no to that. All right, should be some real goodies in here too. Check the gun safe. Oh, I almost got it on the first try. Okay, there we go, not too bad. Anything good? Oh, a couple, ooh, candy cane club. Interesting. Uh, yeah, inventory has become an issue. Okay, real quickly now, let's just sell him a couple of things just to kind of loosen things up on the inventory side. Just some cheap stuff. Time to move off. Okay, that'll do it. Oh, the airdrop's coming. Where's that? South. All right, I don't know when we're gonna get to that, but someday. Hobo stew recipe, nice. All right, that is all I care to look at. Now, I need to probably sell him a couple more things so we can check his inventory. All right, buddy, what do you got? Got a bottle of acid. <laughs> don't need it, though. Was what the hell happened out there? Did y'all hear that? Something, like, collapsed out there. <laughs> All right, now for the real stuff. Oh, he's got the 4x4 chassis and the wheel. Got a nice machete here. Well, anyway, <laughs> no sense in dwelling on it. We can uh, check two more traders, I think. We have Trader Joel to the north right there. And then we have uh, good old Trader Rex back at home. This freaking cat right out here isn't there. Eh, somewhere. All right, we're out of here. All right, here we are. It's our second to last chance for redemption. All right, what do you got, buddy? Come on, something good, something good. Bicycle chassis and gyrocopter chassis schematic. And a bicycle. Ugh, not what we're looking for. Anyway, take off the nerdy glasses. Did I forget to do that last time? Goodness, I hope not. All right, and this one, God, he's got the friggin' bicycle chassis, damn it. Otherwise, nothing too critical here. All right, well, let's get a move on. We'll head back to Trader Rect and see if he has it. And if not, it's a complete lost day. One more chance today. Come on, Rekt. Tell me you got the chassis. Take a crap. Ah! Oh my god! There it is! Motorcycle chassis and surprisingly affordable, too. And I think I have a sugar butts in the bike. We'll have to go check that in just a second. Um, okay, what else do you have? Arrows knocking down the target. Uh, man, all kinds of good stuff. AP44. It's got some handgun parts. All right, we'll go th through that stuff a little bit further in a minute. Okay, oop, sugar butts right there. Nerd tats, skull crushers. They're taking the nerd tats because we're going to make us a, a repulsor mod and we'll get a stun baton in the future. Just gonna want to stock up on that for now. All right, we've got uh, sugar butts here. Let's just take as much as we can out. And uh, how are we gonna do this? So my nerdy glasses are off. So that means that his chassis is in the 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 lower tiered secret stash inventory. So what we'll do first it's is put the customers. oh my god, correct. Come on, uh, put the nerdy glasses on. Eat the sugar butts. We'll do the big sell-off, we'll sell everything that's in the bike, and then we'll come back, take the nerdy glasses off, and we'll purchase the bike. All right, we're on the clock now, though. All right, that's pretty much all I wanted to sell him right there. We'll check the bike. This is where all the really valuable stuff is. Oh, you. Arrow to the knee. Good deal. Yep, here's the good stuff right here. And like, ugh, this doesn't really look like as much as I thought it was going to be. Uh-oh. Is this like a wandering horde? Oh, probably. What a uh, opportune timing. I'm in the safety of the this uh, trader compound. However, it's a little bit distracting. All right, we're continuing to sell things off. Hang on a minute, though. Can I put that bipod onto this just to get a few extra dukes there? And we'll put that tempered blade onto the iron shovel. I think we're gonna get enough here. Yep, I think that'll do it. So, now we need to take the nerdy glasses back off to get back to the lower level secret stash inventory. Right here. Oh yes, we've got plenty. Nice! Alright, let's go get that crafted if we can. Oh crap. 
Real quick, I need to get a job from him before I leave. Any jobs? Ooh, he's got restore power jobs. And it is late in the afternoon. That's way to the south. These are pretty close by. What's this going to be? Uh, apartments? That sounds terrifying. What are the other ones? Parking garage. I want to see what the last one is. This one's going to be the modern house to the south. I think I like the sound of the parking garage the best. I don't think I've been there before. All right. Parking garage, except. Oh, man, I can't believe I'm going to do this. Oh, I can see the parking garage off in the distance there. Okay. Oh, all right. What a day. All right, so with that, uh, chem station is done. Give me that ammo. Give me the chem station. Craft up the motorcycle. Nice. Just slap down this chem station anywhere. Now, people have been telling me that they're seeing this, like, purple outline, and um, I see it too. I don't think it's, um, it's an issue. I think it's a bug, honestly. But now I'm concerned about putting it somewhere, so <laughs> I'm just going to jump over here and put it over here. Yeah, see, it, it was pink, but um, I, I don't know why it's doing that. It's a glitch, I think. You know, Alpha 20, quote-unquote, stable. All right, that is everything. The bike is almost done. All right, for this adventure, I think we're going to just g all hands on deck. We need everything. We need lots of guns and ammo. All right, that motorcycle is complete. My God, I can't believe I have the motorcycle. It's such a good thing to get. Okay, so I, I just bringing like whatever I can think of to bring with me some Molotovs. I don't know how it's going to all shake out. I've never done a night restore power quest with Feral Sense on, so... I'm just assuming it's going to be really dangerous. And that freaking wandering horde wandered their ass right up on the base. All right, so down we go. Got a little bit of a warm up here. Aha, they're trying to break their way in from the back. Stop breaking my place, man. Oh, helps if you have a freaking crossbow bolt loaded. Ah! Okay, just wanted to slap down the motorcycle real quick. Get my stuff out of here, fuel it up, dye it red, and just put some of these things in here that might help us out in the future. And with that, I think we are ready to roll for that quest over there. We can't start it until 2200, so that gives us two hours to kind of just poke around here. As for this guy here, I want to find a place to put him. Now, you know, the meta basically is to put him kind of up here so that he'll knock people off into the pit, but... I quite like my zombies to be able to, like, run up to me so that I can fight with them. If you just put a turret there, they just keep getting knocked down. You, you don't have as much of a chance to kill them. But keeping them in the pit, however, is a little bit of a different story. I think having a sledge set up, um... I was thinking, like, right here, I guess? To kind of, um, perhaps punch them as they're trying to jump their way out and just keep the pit filling up. That might do the trick, and then we can just throw pipe bombs down there every minute or so and blow them all up. Just for the next minute or two, I'm going to head down into the mine and just get a little bit of stone for cement production. Okay, that'll have to do it. Let's uh, get final preparations done, and then we'll head over to the garage. Alright, I guess we're as ready as we'll ever be. <laughs> Let's hit the road. nightfall officially and it looks like this is the spot now I've been to a parking garage before but it wasn't this one so I don't know quite what to expect here probably gonna be a big shit show though oh boy yeah the the kneecap trick is gonna be probably our saving grace Oh man, I hear just beating everywhere. Beating on metal, beating on glass. This is gonna be bad. Well, oh frig, Arlene. Yikes. Eat that. Oh, she's feral. Just get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. Ow, 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 ow. No, get back. Ah! Whoa! More ferals! Ah! 
Whoa! Holy crap! Here we fucking go! There's a bear after me! Oh boy! Ow! Oh man! Um, why? There's so many zombies, man. So many zombies. I need to get somewhere elevated real fast here. Okay. I haven't even started the damn quest yet! And there's a bear. Oh man. Do the bears have feral sense too? Is that a thing? Oh my god. It's like Horde Night, man. I don't even know if I brought enough ammo for all this crap. Whoa! They're, they're dropping down from the ceiling! Oh my god. What the fuck is going on here? I see, they're like going up above me somehow, and then they're just, they keep like falling down, but they're breaking stuff too. Oh boy, two skill points to spend. Maybe do that real quick. Anything that can help me, anything at all. Uh, let's take two points into Gunslinger, that way we can use the 9 mil a little bit better. All right, I just hear a couple left, plus the bear. Oh, there's one. The bear probably being like the biggest threat as well. They just keep coming. And they're all ferals. What the hell, man? Okay, just quickly gonna make myself a staircase. In case I need to come back up here. Or I should say probably when I need to come back up here. I'll just, you know, double check that that's good. Oh, there's the freaking bear. Here. Eat that. Okay, I need to activate this quest if we're ever going to. Whoa. I wish that bear would just die. He can fit through that doorway too, so we we'll probably just need to kill him. Just give me some hit points back, please. In fact, I'm gonna bring the bike over, get the first aid kits out. We're just gonna have to carry those tonight, I think. Yep, just give me all that stuff. All right, hope maybe the bear will just forget about me if I just go in here. Ah. Whoa. No, 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 no. None of that stuff. What the hell, you guys? Oh, a spider now. Yeah, I'm thinking this is just too much for us to handle. No, oh, crap. Something above me broke. Not good. Oh, he fell down. Get him. Got him. All right, I'm gonna do something potentially insane. Let's do it. Okay, hide in this bathroom, take a steroid, gives me extra run speed. Also, take a first aid kit and we're just gonna run it! Yikes! Up, 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 up we go! Out here! What's over here? A little sneaky space to run around? Okay, zombies? Not a surprise. Um, where to now? Just keep running. Run, 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 up onto the bus. I don't think this is the thing. Let's leave. Up this friggin' thingy here. Stamina in issue. Okay. Guns. Got a little bit of stamina. Jump up here. Bird. Light him up. It's working. They can't figure out the ladder. I don't know why. I'm not asking any questions. Uh, I hear wolves. That's bad. Okay, everyone else is like stuck downstairs, it seems. I was just trying to open up this up. Uh, yep, it's chilly. Oh, more bullets. Clutch. Okay, so we would uh, go up here, and now what? There's a doorway here, and lots of zombies. Ooh, they seem kind of content to just hang out here, too. Okay, close that. Board it up, just in case. Uh, I don't have any forged iron to repair it. Crap. Kill! Ah!
The plan is working, although I'm out of 762. We just have the pistol. Okay, where do we go now? I think we go down here. Is this the way? Is there anything back here that I need to know about? Yes, it seems as though there is. Oh, that was clutch, like she woke up, but I still got a headshot and killed her. Nice. Not entirely sure how I'm supposed to go in through here, but I'm just gonna go this way. Shamway food box, just gonna check. Oh, sham chowder, that is clutch. Okay, put this away, give me that sham chowder on the hot bar. What is this? Oh, we we're supposed to come over here and then go down here. And then you would not have gone that way. You'd go this way. That doesn't seem right. Oh, over here? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, crap! Ah! Are they gonna follow me up here? Do they know how to do that? Fire! Oh, they, they seemingly do. Oh, soldiers! No, 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 no. Oh, I've got them all sorts of confused, it looks like. Okay, where's the rest of them? I can hear them everywhere. We still got the steroids yet. We got five minutes on the steroids still. You come over here, that's locked. I don't think that's the way. I think we just continue down. Whoa! Darlene! Take that bandage. Got zombies above, zombies below. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna run. Just gonna run. Run it, run it. Ah, they're all in here. Here they come. A few of them anyway. Two for one there. Come on, reload this frickin' gun. Yow. Ow. Boiled meat. I think at this point, I'm just gonna take that recog. Plus 50% on the shotgun damage. Oh, oh, they just broke in here. Watch my back. Uh oh, ow. Oh, that was a feral. Uh, first aid kit. Where's this damn generator? Zombies? Where are they? Close that door. There's no door here to close, so I'll just board it up. Um, probably just boarded myself in here with a bunch of zombies. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, here's a generator. Ah! Zombies, I think, spawned in. Uh, wall safe there. Here, board that up. I think we're good. Just gotta get the guns reloaded here. We just gotta clear the area and start this generator, and I think we're good to go after that. Generator started. Whoa, whoa, what is going on here? Whoa, clutch. Ooh, damn. What's in that loot bag? Not much. We got more zombies banging around. I've got probably five or so dots on the compass. Hopefully that's all the zombies we need to kill. Okay, guns are reloaded. Hit points are full. What do we got here? The main loot! And it's officially morning, which means I think the zombies are, like, easier now. And Feral Sense is off, so that's good. All right, well, I can't pass up the loot. We're gonna unlock this, loot up, and then we'll go through and clear the rest of the area. Nice. Oh, crap, forgot eye candy. Get that in me. The fucking motorcycle chassis! ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! Oh my god. Uh, I did get a fort bite. That's, uh, what's that good for? Two minutes? Let's take that, a little bit of extra protection, and recog... I think it's, uh, still going. Isn't this the recog right here? Okay, let's hunt these fucking zombies down, and I'm thirsty. I don't have anything to drink, so we're gonna have to suffer. The bear's still outside. Oh my god, that was it. The mission is over. Return to the traitor. All right, now I hear the bear. The bear is still around. I'm just gonna hustle back over here because if you go in here, there was a button. Where was that button? I just saw it. Here it is. Um, the button doesn't work. 
Oh, God. Is oh, no. Key box. And then... Button? What? Uh, I don't understand. I'm just gonna go back upstairs. And I'm just gonna, like, bail out the side. Yeah, my bike is right over here somewhere. Where is it? Right over there. Dehydrated. Spiders everywhere. Get to the bike and get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. That's the crew that was banging on the outside. I don't know where that bear went, though. Oh, there he is. Ah, there's another one in there. Oh, man. We made it. Oof. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Did I forget the main loot? I forgot the main loot! Shit! Ah, uh, we gotta fucking fly! 46 seconds, oh no! I don't think we're gonna make it for the looting candy. I'm such an idiot! Well, better late than never. Ah, uh, not much in there. Oh well. Anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today, we continue the Frostbite series into day 14. And today's gonna be a pretty important day because we just need to get our lives sorted out. I've been making mistakes left and right. We were just all discombobulated and disorganized, so I'm gonna take a moment this morning to just loot this compound up a little bit and kind of explore it because we went right through here in a hurry last night and um, I kind of want to see what this place has to offer. Ooh, we've got a little ATM machine here. I can try to break into that. Nice. What do we get? Whoa, $739 or cash or whatever you want to call that. Could really use a drink here. Nice. There's some coffee. Just gonna slurp all this stuff down. I'm super dehydrated from eating the fort bites and the painkillers and all that stuff. Should be able to wrench this for a little bit of acid. Nope. People were telling me that that had acid in it, and I might have gotten that mixed up on my acid video because it's um, it's called a utility cart in the game files, but I think that includes the other little cart and possibly that one as well. Not entirely sure. Gonna have to do some testing on that. However, I did learn that you can just break this one with your axe and you can get the acid out of it that way. I think everything else you have to actually harvest it and what the game files mean by harvesting is use a wrench. But on those little crates there, it's um, it's not on harvest, it's on destroy, which means you can use any tool to do that. Watch yourself there, buddy. You're gonna get fucked up. Yeah, I told you. So there's this button right here. If I press that, I think that button must activate this button okay i see so there's like a sequence of buttons okay heavy fog rolling in and zombies rolling in as well oh there they are i think there's a cop out here too oh he's a feral yo crap here he comes whoa he's just spitting at random stuff is he a feral cop yep oh crap get him out oh get him Stab! He's gonna blow! No! No! Run! Ah, whatever. Alright, I kind of think that's good enough there. There was this area over here. Did that have the bear in it still? Or did the bear despawn? I think we're good. Uh, let's check this ladder up here. This is how the zombies were getting up here last night. And then they were trying to beat down through when I was kind of, oh, whoa, whoa, hiding there. So that's interesting. This is a, a POI zombie, I presume. Oh, ow. And um, that quest last night was like a restore power and clear. So apparently that zombie did not count in the, the clear zombies quest. This is just probably some like other POI here. Oh, hello. Oh, crap. Ah! Oof, there we go. Oh, yes, these bars. Now, these apparently are bars that you can make, but I can't copy shape. 
I gotta sit down. Let me know in the comments if you know what block this is. I gotta look for that at some point. Okay, I feel like that's pretty good. And damn, the heavy fog has rolled in. We gotta head back to the base because I'm all mucked up on the inventory. But wait, 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 one minute though. Uh, I think Lespank is over here somewhere. Isn't that right over here? Yes. Aha! I'm gonna get that damn box that I left behind. There's a cat. Oh crap. Cat's coming. I gotta check this real quick. Acid, acid, no, no acid. Run! Ah, okay, I can hear him. Why do the cats always come into this building? Whoa! Did you see that? The fucking cat, he's like right behind me. Ah! Uh, just head up the stairs and pull up this set of stairs here. We're here. You fuck off. What is this anyway? It's a freaking poppin' pills box. All that for one painkiller. I didn't leave anything else here, did I? Okay, that cat is pissed. And uh, I don't really want to fight him. I don't even know where he is, to be honest. He's um, in the building somewhere. Last I checked, he was uh, in there. Oh, ah, there he is. Oh, crap, run. Okay. <laughs> Bring this place, man. All right, I'll meet you back at the base. Well, I figured might as well turn this quest in while we're right here. Whoa, man, a steel club. Why couldn't that be a machete? Uh, grenades. That would be fun tonight. Or military boots. Wow, those are like way, way better than the boots I'm wearing. What is this needle and thread? If that was the double pocket mod one, I would take it. But uh, nope, that's just for dusters. Yeah, screw that. Uh, military boots it is. What does he have for other jobs today? Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna take a break from the restore powers just so I don't have a friggin' heart attack and have a premature death here. Um, fetch and clear to the south. What's that? Clothing store? I know what that place is, actually. That's the, um, Savage Country Store. That's a really quick one, actually. Uh, I don't know if we can do that today. Probably we could. All right, home sweet home. Just gonna take a moment to go through all of our crap here and just get it all organized. I did get this insulated liner mod schematic. That could be useful here in the snow biome, and we'll wear the new boots. Okay, and just scrap the old ones. What does it take to make one of those liners? Sewing kit, duct tape, some polymers, and cloth. Easy to make, really. And it looks like I could fit four of them onto my current loadout of clothing. Get a couple extra duct tape crafted. I can roll out four of those. Good deal. That is giving us a ton of extra insulation, so hopefully we won't be as cold as much. So I think we're all set. Uh, let's grab some materials and just uh, make sure the base is kind of like ship shape for tonight. All right, we'll just get things patched up here on the base. A couple of these like most critical items probably should be upgraded just a little bit. Uh, that should be good. Don't want to sink too many resources into this base because this is in fact our last day here. See, these are important. All of this is important here. All right, I think that's it for the upgrades. We'll be just fine tonight. We'll be more than fine, I, I think. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so I received a ton of good suggestions for what to call the pit. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call this the glory hole. And the pit down there is gonna be Brad Pit. So we're gonna take our pipe, we're gonna lay it into the glory hole and into Brad Pit. And we're gonna keep laying pipe into the glory hole and into Brad Pit until they explode. We've got lots of pipe to lay tonight and hopefully all of it goes directly into Brad Pit through the glory hole. <laughs> So thanks for the suggestions there. Uh, I thought we'd just have a little bit of fun with that. This is, um, we're gonna build like a similar style horde base over at the silo. So, um, you know, we'll think of some cool names for the stuff over there at that base as well. All right, the last thing we need here is just a little bit of a paint job. All right, I think that will do it. Here on GNS, the motto is look good, feel good, feel good, fight good. And I think we are looking real good for tonight. Got a little bit of zombie activity downstairs somewhere. I wanted to get this upgraded anyway. What is this? Is this a horde? Nope, just a loner. All right, do you think this is like the optimal positioning for this thing? I mean, ideally I would like 
carve this out a little bit and kind of lay it back and center it right here. But, um, you know, it's just day one or uh, <laughs> not day one, uh, horde number two, day 14. So uh, I don't think we're going to have a serious threat from the horde just yet. Let's see. Lock up the inventory for seven. And we definitely don't have time to go do that tier four POI, but uh, maybe we can find something to do just locally here. to kill some time anyway uh what about this place right here i don't know what tier poi this is there's also these uh potatoes here i wouldn't mind having and some free corn as well okay not too bad uh i think uh I, we, what do we do we start in the house i don't really see a good starting location that is locked all right we'll just keep exploring i guess oh here we go this is where you want to start right here Okay, so if we get pressed for time, I mean, there's no pressure. We can just leave. And uh, the horde base is right across the street. So I think this is perfect. Hello. Aha, off to a good start. Barrel extender mod schematic. We'll sell the other one. It's an interesting start. It's taking me right to the attic already. Hello? Somebody in there? I bet there is. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> just, just three of them. Holy crap! Come here, Steve. You freaking hobo. Someone's been telling me that this guy looks like um, Morty from Rick and Morty's. <laughs> A little bit tall for Morty, if you ask me. Oh my god, it's just up and down everywhere here. Aha! Black die! Yes! Unfortunately, the shotguns don't show the die. Ugh, that's a bummer. Hope hopefully they fix that at some point. Hello? Oh boy! Big Mama! What are you doing in there? You're too fat for that kind of acrobatics. Oh boy, lumberjack, confined spaces, not ideal. Ow, whoa, ah, ow, whoa, god. Luckily, I found a first aid kit. I have plenty of bandages. I can just take a bandage and uh, have a little bit of food locked, but uh, not very difficult to get in here. Okay. Sniper book here. Headshots have a chance to stun and dismember targets. I don't think I'm going to waste the lockpicks on this now that I have this quality 4 steel pickaxe. Probably get into it faster with the pickaxe anyway. Here we go. Oh my goodness, a crossbow. A better crossbow than the one I'm using. What's the damage comparison here? Uh, I know I have to put a crossbow bolt into it first. Hang on. Right, give, give me that stuff before I forget it here. And, uh, yep, it's doing better damage, so we'll just go ahead and slap the flashlight onto it. Just, you know, 10% little damage boost there, no big deal. And we'll be able to sell that one. Oh, what do we got here? Lots of company. Good amount of bookshelves here. I like that machine gunner book here. Fully automatic fire is more accurate with each shot fired. If I could just find a fully automatic weapon that's not a pipe gun, that would be nice. Where are all the AK-47s? Alright, we kind of got to move right along here. Uh, time is of the essence, it seems. Getting there, at least. Whoa! Hey, none of that shit. Freaking go-go gadget arms on you. Did I get the credit for that kill? I think I did. Lots of people have been reporting that um, the kills from bleeding seems to be a little bit bugged. I have not noticed that yet, but could be a thing. Wow, interesting. That's a good one. Are these just all trigger rooms or what? Whoa! Ow! Oh crap, I didn't close that door like I meant to. E I've got the high ground, you bitches! Haha! <laughs> All right, that would lead up to the the door, the basement door. Ooh, free wood. Oh, I see a tunnel that pro- Whoa, oh. Yep, watch that barrel. Don't want to set that off. That's a barrel. Oh, yes, up here into the garage, it seems. 
Aha, uh, the generator, if you're doing a restore power quest, cool. Okay, is this the big boss fight or what? Seems like it. Help. Oh, I don't want to really fight next to that barrel there. All right, just get the good guns. Oh, jeez. Get back. Get back. Oh, run. Aha. Is that it? Yeah, indeed, I think that was the boss fight there. Uh, anything cool down here? Toolbox. Ah, another uh, purse pistol. That's like the fourth one I've found in this series. Yep. Oh, here's the loot way over here. Oh, got to do a little uh, catwalk thing here. Okay. I'm a agility master. I can do this. Sledgehammer schematic. Sell that. Nothing good in there. Damn. Did I miss anything? Because it's becoming an issue. I don't think I did. Is there anything trapped behind this? No. Okay. So I have gotten all the loot. Yes. Yes, we're good. <laughs> Just like double, triple, quadruple check. All right. I'm encumbered. Open this door. And we're gonna, we gotta head home and get ready for the horde. Just for now, put all that stuff away. Gonna make some repair kits up. Okay, should be good. Uh, no repairs on Horde Knight, so we can get rid of this stuff. Kind of get the, the loadout set here. All right, that ought to do it. Get everything repaired up. Apparently need a freaking pipe to repair the pipe gun. Who'd have thunk that? A couple of extra torches here. Get some extra lighting set up. How about that? Kind of out of the field of fire. Yeah, uh, we're gonna be doing some damage to this wall tonight, I bet. <laughs> Alright, I am so ready to stick my pipes in that glory hole and down into Brad Pitt. I think it's gonna work. I don't know if I would dare to throw a Molotov down there. Let's try that. No, no, see that... I, I wouldn't want to risk it. See, it's gonna clip the edge and I'm just gonna set myself on fire. So we'll use the Molotov like over here on the side. If we use the pipe bombs down the chute there, the glory hole. The hour is late. Only a few more minutes until the horde arrives. It's time to lock and load. Sounds like we got an early customer here somewhere too. Who's out here? Oh, Big Mama, you kind of jumped me there. Wow, that's not very good. Four headshots with the Magnum to kill Big Mama. <laughs> All right, my friends, the horde is almost upon us. Oh boy, things are getting fucking crazy here already. Uh, you know what? Maybe just a couple of these will help. And some fire for the rest of them. Oh, I'm blowing up my freaking torches. Great. Give me that back. All right. I think this is about all we can do here. Let's fall back. Wow, they stack up really bad there. Fire. I drank a um, recog just to give us some more range damage. Not sure if it's gonna help much. All right, here they come. Close that. Let's get a, see if we can get a view here of what they're doing. Oh, they're just burning to death. I love it. Oh, that was a headshot. Clutch. All right, here we go. 
Let's have a look at the glory hole. Um, nobody down there just yet. They're falling off really well, though. Oh, look at the glory hole. It's filling right up. Brad Pitt's right full of zombies. And then we just throw that through the glory hole. And maybe another one for good measure. Nice. Loving it. Okay, let's focus on the fighting position for a bit here. Don't want this stuff to get all mucked up. A lot of dogs here tonight. I don't like how the dogs, like, jump up and down like that. Stop that. All right, how's the Brad Pitt doing? Uh, only a couple zombies down there. They seem to be able to get out of there, like, relatively quickly. Maybe get a couple down there for them. Oh, wow, got like five or six kills there. Stop that. Oh, this freaking dog. Get him out of the way. How's my glory hole doing? Let's get three down there for him this time. Ooh, nice. That was like nine kills there. Get Arlene right in the crotch. <laughs> All right, I suppose we can use the Magnum a little bit for what it's worth. I have a whole bunch of Magnum ammo, a lot more than I thought I would. Ah, these freaking dogs. Get out of here, man. All right, we'll get some fight. I can hear the punch turret going. I'm not really sure if that's working or not. Here, get a couple pipe bombs down in the glory hole for Brad Pitt. Oh, nice. Oh man, they are not standing a chance. Just the way I like it. Eat this. Yeah, and just like the way that they jump out of there, they line up really well for some headshots. Yeah, see that dog just got punched back into the pit. Oh man, now we gotta come up with a name for the sledge. Probably have to go to Patreon for that one. Oh yeah, man, very little pressure here up front, and these are all concrete, so they'd have to sit here for a couple of minutes to to actually beat through. And I actually, I don't think I've seen a feral tonight. No ferals, no cops, thankfully. All right, how y'all looking down there? Need some help? Here, just have one. Just soften them up a little bit. <laughs> Looks like uh, they're kind of grouped up on this side over here. There they go. Well, arrows are cheap. We're out of the regular arrows. I did make some steel arrows, just kind of see how they perform. Not enough to get like a one-shot kill or anything, but not too bad either. Oh, they've beat in through the side. I still, I don't know for the life of me why they choose to do that sometimes. All right, a whole bunch of them just fell down into the glory hole pit, Brad pit, whatever we're calling this stuff. <laughs> We got birds. Didn't really account for that on this base, but what I can probably do is just run up here, run out here. Where's the bird? Okay, whatever. We're only living here for about six more hours anyway. God, got a little air burst for him there. Oh, he's out he's outside now. I think we can probably make it up here and kill him. Where are you, son of a bitch? Get out of here. Things are getting quiet now. I would almost venture to say that the horde might almost be over. I mean, we have just been slaying them so far. Feel safe enough to kind of even open the hatch and get out of here. Yeah, because we have, we have zombies in the barn that are trying to beat their way through here. I might be able to get a, a good viewpoint of him from over here.
There we go. I feel like that is it. Just gonna quickly... Oh, look at the loot bags out here. Yeah, I don't even think we need to plug anything up. This is it. The hoard is over. Good freaking deal. I don't think I have an eye candy upstairs. I kind of have been eating them as I go. So, uh, you know, we're doing the best we can here. Let's see what we get for loot. Ooh, a ratchet. Nice. Eh, I'm all gummed up. Last and pretty much least, a little bit of steel out of that one. All right, I think this design is going to be a good sort of like proof of concept for the main base, which we're gonna get started on a little bit later on today. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, the dollhouse held, the horde has been dispatched, and we can finally call it a night. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into Day 15. And the first thing you'll probably notice is we're going to be rolling with the new Riles HUD Plus mod that changes the UI a little bit. And uh, just as I'm looking out the window this morning, that is our quest for today. That's the Savage Country, and it's a pretty small one for a, for a Tier 4 anyway. There's a pretty big boss fight there at the end, but... I don't know that I've been there since uh, Alpha 20 has uh, dropped, so we'll see if anything's changed there. So I have everything, almost everything, picked up here, and I'm encumbered, so try not to fall down there and hurt myself. Do I have enough inventory for this? I do. Let's grab this. Okay, try not to fall again. I'm nervous now. He Ah, I made it. Okay, so we still have a whole bunch of stuff here that we're going to have to make a couple trips to come and get, but I did get all the building materials at least. So uh, first off, we'll stack the bike... Get as much as we can loaded up, and why is the bike way over there? That's kind of weird. Okay. All right, I got a whole nother load here. I just wanted to grab the wood. I have the wood on the inventory, so let's get, like... Uh, we're going to need, like, ten of these or something like that. Just get a whole bunch of them. All right, I'll meet you over at the new base. Here we are. This is going to be, like, the parking spot right here. Need to open this up. Man, that is weak as hell. We're going to have to replace all this crap. Good morning, sir. Okay, so I think we need to knock probably a couple rungs off this ladder. There we go. That way no one can chase us up to the top. I don't know that they can get up through here. We'll have to check on this too. But I don't think I could get up through there when I tried. Oh, they might be able to get like up to here and then come over. No, I don't I don't think zombies can do that. Zombies have a really hard time on ladders and Alpha 20 has made that even worse. Okay, so here we are. This is basically where I want to live, is kind of on this end of the base. So I'm just gonna drop some chests down and get everything out of the inventory. There we go, that should do it. Grab all that. Put that away. Okay, back to the base. I got all that food. So this cool little driveway right here. We could maybe think about putting like a garage right there where this little thing is. That might be kind of cool to have. Okay, one more trip. All right, this should be the last of it right here. Just gonna make one last pass through here and get everything else like the torches and things like that. Pull up these frames once and for all. This place is dead to us now. All right, we can finally put our affair with Brad Pitt in the dollhouse through the glory hole behind us <laughs> and move on to bigger, better things. Goodbye to the dollhouse and hello to our new house. I cannot wait to get this place converted all into a mega base. All right, that is everything put away and uh, not very well organized. We're going to spend the night tonight doing all that stuff. We got to do some uh, remodeling too. This place is very skinny, so I want to kind of extend it out to the sides and like push it out to the end of these little cylinders here and then we'll have to explore too and see if like this is even like a viable thing for enemies to come up here but it is still pretty early that didn't take as long as i thought it would so the uh, first thing to do today is going to be actually i should probably find my money because um if if wrecked has anything that i need we're gonna need to buy that today mm, 
Ah, uh, should we do a big sell-off too? We do have a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't want to sell the sledge and things are so disorganized right now. Yeah, I don't think he had anything critical and expensive that I would need to like sell off for. I want to kind of do that when uh, I have a little bit more organization and I can get things repaired and put some mods on things. We're kind of getting to that point now where I I start repairing my items. I get comments all the freaking time like, hey, did you know that you can repair items and get more value out of them? Like, yes, I literally make tutorials on this stuff, but I don't do it early on because you're then, you're using all of your bones to make glue, glue to make duct tape, duct tape to make repair kits and your forged iron as well, only to get a, maybe a hundred or two hundred dukes out of repairing things like, you know, a quality two iron helmet or something like that. So I kind of like, stockpile that stuff early on and then once i get into like week three week four and i'm starting to get into like military equipment and steel and um you know steel tools and stuff like that that that's when i start putting my mods on stuff i try to find the higher quality tier six items or quality six items because you get like 450 dukes per mod whereas like lower quality things you don't get as much and um here we are at savage country I'm blabbing my mouth off. Now we're not, we're not going to be able to do a cinematic intro for this one. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, let's hit this. And uh, yeah, we'll start making more dukes uh, going forward here. Oh, I see one over there. Uh, let's see here. Everything's all kind of not organized the way I like it. Uh, that's a little bit better. Let's eat some food. Ooh, decapitation on that one. So in addition to the Riles HUD Plus, which we're now playing with... On the multiplayer server, we also play with like extra dyes, and I've been having so much fun because there's so many extra dye colors with that mod. Um, if you watch Jawoodle, you're probably familiar with Jawoodle Purple, which I think is his own mod, but like that same color is a part of that mod. And um, that would be something I'd be interested in kind of playing with, maybe with the next playthrough. It also makes the dye craftable, which is kind of fun. I mean, it kind of probably should be craftable. But then you wouldn't have uh, much to do in places like this, would you? Alright, we still have to clear the area. Fortunately, um, they're all showing up on the compass now. So I can just kind of like find out where they are that way. Like this one. Haha! <laughs> so there's a glass in the way. So we gotta break that glass. Unfortunately, that's gonna wake her right up, isn't it? See if I can just remain sneaking. There we go. Yep, got that kill. Bleeding kill too. And I got the XP. Get another one there. We'll just uh, drop him in. There we go. Another bleeding kill. Nice. Freaking Marlene. She looks like the person that would hang out at a clothing store all day long. Oh, hello, buddy. Unfortunately, I don't have an eye candy. I, I would have hoped to have one for a place like this. So I guess I can just loot as I go here. Oh, wow. Okay, double barrel, wooden bow, weapon flashlight, grave digger mod. Do I have one of those already? I don't. I put that right on the shovel and take this fortifying grip off. Good. Yeah, there you go. See, steel armor. Nice. Would have preferred military armor, but it is what it is. All right. There's no... Well, there is a way to... Um, you can go outside and actually pick off all the zombies that are upstairs. Like, that's an option. Might just close that door. I know there's a zombie in there. Nice. Decapitation. Oh, another one. Ow. Oh, crap. He got me twice. All right. We're hungry anyway. Oh, crap. Lumberjack coming in from outside. Get this loaded. Arrow to the knee. Nice. It might have been more of like a, a pelvis shot. No, I th he's pretty slow. I think I slowed him down. Oh, not working. Great. Now, another thing people have been saying is, why aren't you using the club? Because the club is a far superior weapon than a bone knife. And I would definitely agree with you there. It's just, I used the club for the road series, which is, um... Uh, I think, did I use it for, um... No, I used the sledgehammer for, um, the last act, but... Oh, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, I'm just trying to change it up, you know? Why use the same gun or, or the same weapon over and over and over again? I mean, it's it boring. Alright, there's only one fight left and it's the big one, so... Might as well just roll loud and proud for this one, I think. Oh, unless I could get a couple of sneak kills here. 
Is this the trigger room or is this uh, like a sneaky room where I, I can sneak into it? I don't know. I'm going to go around the other side and see if I can sneak up on any of them. Oh, nope. Nope. I woke them all up. Here we go. Get the Just get the guns. No, that's not a gun. There we go. Oh, ow. Crap. Hey, Mo. Anybody out here gonna sneak up on me? Nope, looks pretty clear. Kind of quiet day in the neighborhood here. All right, gonna need lots of cobblestone for the big base build. See, this is a... I can't believe I just did that. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Almost 2,000 hours in this game. I'm still making rookie mistakes. Spear Hunter book here. Um, geez, I might as well just sell that, I think. And I think there's like um like a backpack up here or something. It's like nothing good, I know that. Yep, here we go. Ah, oh, man. Well, guys, that was a bad one. My bad there. Destroyed the freaking Tier 4 loot crate. Man, well, hopefully Trader Wrecked has something better for us to, to make up for it. I'll meet you over at the Trader. Wrecked, you are not gonna believe what I did to that freaking Tier 4 hey, loot Jack, chest. Can I lighten it? Yeah, I deserved that one. Whoa, wow. Quality 5 pick. Um, Probably not dramatically better than... Yeah, uh, not much better than the one I'm using, so won't be needing that. Motor tool, large tank mod, would be nice to have, but not critical. I'll take that 44 Magnum. Damn, that is worth a lot, too. Let's get another job from him real quick. Um, let's see what these are. Got a warehouse. Oh, I don't know what that is. Let's go take, let's take that. And just check his inventory real quick to see if there's anything that I really need. Ooh, a uh, single pocket mod. Do I need that? Yeah, wouldn't hurt, honestly. Whole bunch of cobblestone. I'll take that. Cement. This stuff is so cheap, it's hard to pass it up. Ah, damn, he's got this machete. Holy cow, man. That's affordable. I could afford that, too. Is that going to be, like, significantly better than the one I'm using? Yep. Yeah, yeah, by like 33% or more. All right, yep, we're gonna take that. <laughs> it's funny, I was just getting comments the other day. Oh, the Give me a second here, I gotta take the nerdy glasses off and check his other secret stash, just for the sake of it. Yeah, someone's been telling me in the comments, like, why are you still using the bone knife? You should get a better <laughs> melee weapon. I'm like, yeah, I would if I could, man. You know, I can't just make these things appear out of thin air. Well, how about you browse your ass right out of my store? Nerdy glasses back on. Let's get this knife changed over. Ooh, we're gonna have a whole bunch of extra mods here. Uh, I can only choose one. Probably the ergonomic grip. Stamina usage, negative uh, 10% with that is probably the best one. And we'll get the black dye onto it. Hopefully that, yeah, the appearance on some of the weapons, it, it doesn't show the dye anymore. Even some Alpha 19 weapons, so that's unfortunate. But nice, get an upgrade here. Okay, um, where to next? Let's go do that quest. Well, we gotta stop by the, the new base, the silo base. We're gonna have to come up with a better name with that uh, for that eventually. But yeah, we have plenty of time today to do one more quest. All right, we got an opportunity here. Let's see if I can get an arrow into his knee. Yep, got him. Let's get one into his too. If I can manage to aim. There we go. Eat this. Nice. Wow, that is much better. I love the feel of it too. Put all that crap away, give me some food, and let's head over to that, um, what was it, the warehouse. So cue up that cinematic intro. All right, here's the spot. Okay, three shots, that ain't bad at all. I just wanted to check this uh, Mo Power truck here real quick. Arlene, get the hell out of here. Why? Why do I always miss Arlene? Damn it. Okay, blade trap schematic, nice. Stun baton, 
probably sell that. Some relays, nice. Okay, not bad at all. All right, here we go. Let's see what it feels like just to go like toe to toe with them. Oh, the reach. The reach is much better on this too, so I don't have to get as close. There we go. All right, let's hit it. I've never been here before, so I don't know quite what to expect. Weighted head mod schematic, nice. Okay, we are here to clear the area and find the supplies, so keep an eye out for that stuff. Oh my god, tack assault rifle schematic just sitting in that desk. Kind of a warehouse is this, anyway. Hello? Ooh, bleeding kills for the win. Yeah, my stamina holds up pretty well with this, too. I like it. All right, on that one, it was uh, two power strokes and a regular stroke got the kill. Oh, man, a sewer. What? That's scary. Ah, that's not loaded. Crap. Yep, the old 2-1 uh, slash. <laughs> Kind of like the one-two punch, but with a machete and backwards. I don't have a good feeling about this here. Just quickly make sure the guns are all loaded. Oh, look at that. Just me being me. Oh, I see. There's going to be zombies in all these little freaking holes here. These little side panels. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, he takes more than just three. Any more of you all? Yep. Ah, oh, damn. She must have some, like, variable hit points, because that was not the, uh, the 2-1 the slash <laughs> that was working before. Oh, here we go. How about, uh, an arrow to your knee, except... Oh, they're all confused now. Where is he going? Why did you want to go in there, you freaking lunatic? Whoa, he's a feral! Ow, ow, ow! Ah, dang. Okay, first aid bandage. We've alerted some zombies uh, at the surface. I don't think they can really easily get down here, but they'll be waiting for me when I get up. This is where you want to go, right here. Oh, geez, right up into the building. Okay, I don't see anybody yet. There's going to be one in here, I bet. Uh, workbench? Okay, yep, yeah, nope, not one in here. Okay. I could just do this uh, the easy way and kind of use my skill set to my advantage. I am an agility player, so this is, like, how I go about things. If I was a sledgehammer player, I would just go right up into his face and smash it in. Oh, look, he, he actually thinks he can come up here. Oh, we got uh, birds. Ooh, clutch. Got at least one more up there somewhere. Here, come way over here. And now come over here. There we go. Aha, here we go. I can see where they're all going to spawn in now. Nice. Clutch. Ah, oh, where were those supplies anyway? Did I walk right by those or have I not found them yet? Yeah, we got zombies all over the place out here. Oh yeah, there's like a lot, a lot of zombies. Can I see them out the window? Not quite. Uh, where are they kind of try to break in from? Acid, nice. All right, it looks like they're trying to break in just like through the wall. Let's uh, help them out, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I think we'll just move on. Maybe they'll probably find an easier place to get to me if I go out here. Oh, yeah. See, they could come right over here if they wanted to. Or I could just go out there and, like, preemptively deal with this. I think that's probably the better move. Arrow to the knee! Okay. Let's fucking dance! Oh, that was a landmine? Are you kidding me? Wow! I saw that hubcap, too. I was like, oh, just a hubcap, right? At the warehouse. Nope. Oh, that's gonna bring a lot of attention here. Think we're good? While I'm right over here, the supply chest, it says... Oh, it's right here. Okay, good thing I came out here to get this. 
probably would have forgot it if I didn't. I did hear either a cop or that ah, pizza. Oh god, They're coming up from all directions. Oh my god, was that another landmine? Oh my good lord, I gotta keep an eye out for these things. All right, well, from now on, watch your damn step. Go, oh, another feral. Not fucking around with that guy. Whoa, what happened, buddy? What did you do? Did you hit a vending machine? Ow. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, I have four skill points. My goodness. It's been a few days since I filmed, so I forgot all about it. Hey, a working vending machine. I don't have any money, and there's really nothing there I need. Kind of good to know, though. See, this feels like a tier 4 POI, not that friggin' clothing store. Alright, my bow is gonna break here in just a minute. Steroids. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of those. That frees up the backpack a lot better. Nice. Whoa! Whoa, God! I didn't realize all these guys were here! Alright, where are we going anyway? I didn't even see where the main loot would be. Is it in this warehouse? This is not the, the one we were just in. That was that one. Okay, if I'm lucky, I got maybe uh, two more shots out of this before it breaks. And I don't have any forged iron on me to make a repair kit. Should have probably taken down that workbench that I passed up earlier. Dogs? Ah, oh, I, I see. Tell me you can't get up here. Just get the regular guns. Okay, we're good. And uh, we're losing time now, so I think I'm just gonna forego the uh, digging up stuff and we'll just get this box right here. Ah, wooden frames, damn it. Oh boy. Uh oh. Out of stamina, crap. God, are we like close to the end or what? We've already been here for ages. This is a whole nother warehouse. Oh boy. All right, the compass is showing like one more cluster of zombies. Kind of uh, getting close here. But this would be the boss fight if there was one. So just get the shotgun. Trigger room? Yes! Here we go! Oh boy! Oh, Feral! Ow! Oh shit! Get him! Ah! Oh, we made it! Alright, let that health roll in for just a minute here. Oh, look at the loot! Nice! Oh, jeez. Inventory. Crap. Just read that. Throw some of this stuff away. Painkiller. Eat that. And that is it. A couple more boxes downstairs that we can grab, but then we need to get the hell out of the city because um, Feral Sits is going to be on in just a few moments. Okay, that is it. Is there a button for me to press? No, there's no door. Although I probably can just bail out the side here. Yep, right here. Down. Where do I go? Oh, yeah, the bike's right here. Nice. And we are out of here. All right, home sweet home. Clear out the riffraff here. And Feral Sense is on. Oh, I'm scared. I don't hear anything, though, so I think we're probably good. Nope, there's one coming. Frickin' Lumberjack. You just die. Oh, jeez, all kinds of them rolling in now. All right, well, this is the life now. Let's <laughs> carve a path down to him and see if we can clear him out. Oh yeah, so what I really wanted to see is, are they going to be able to come straight up here? Oh no, yes, there's this big chunk here taken out. 
Can I just jump over here? Oh, there he is. That's one down. Oh my god, look at them all. And they're ferals. Ah, damn it. Now my gun's broken. Ah, uh, all I have is a shotgun. Okay, maybe I, if, if they... No, they're gonna, they're gonna break the door. Ah, here they come! Oh, they're, they're gonna have a, such a hard time coming up here, though. Like, this, this zigzagging kind of movement coming up these, not gonna work for them. Let me just listen for a minute. No, we got more. Oh, yeah, here he comes. I think that's it. First things first, where the hell are my repair kits? Aha, found them. Now, now I lost my shovel. Where'd that thing go? There it is. Dig up these damn cobblestone pallets. Man, that cobblestone secured chest destruction thing. I'll never be able to live that down. <laughs> All right. What we need to do now for the night is get this place kind of like opened up and widened out. So let me just have a look here for a moment and see if I can come up with a plan. Yeah, so one of the things I want to do is preserve these lights because I think they're cool and there's the blinking ones on the top. I mean, they don't look red, but they do blink like this nice red light. And then some of them blink like a green light, like these ones over here. So I want to preserve that. So I'm thinking if I just widen out this corridor like up to this pipe and then um, maybe like just knock this out here. Okay, that way... I can kind of knock out some of these walls and maybe knock this out. Yep, yep, I think this is gonna work. All right, there's only one way to go about this and it's to take a moment to find my coffee. There it is. Drink a coffee for the stamina boost and we'll get to work. Ah! Oh crap! Okay. Early, early in the morning now, but that is gonna do it right there, and... Mm, I think I'm gonna have to knock out some of these top blocks here to um, put in like a regular floor so that it's like flush up with this piece here because I can actually put blocks on top of this and that's good and I'm gonna want to bring the wall like out a little bit further so let me do a little bit of testing here and see what I can come up with I'm thinking something like this right here a little bit tricky with the shapes and uh, I'm not gonna actually upgrade these until I'm sure this is gonna work but then we could probably put, um, I made some storage boxes and I was thinking one, two, three, four, five. I could do five here and then five on this side. I've got to get these up at some point, so might as well do it now. And then I can start getting this stuff organized. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day 16. And um, as you can see, I'm, I'm wielding the new Magnum, the Quality 5 Magnum. We got that as a quest reward. I put the silencer on it because I, you know, I don't know if it works very well. Reportedly, um, according to the devs, it's not an effective silencer. And the other drawback here is that it does reduce our effective range and it actually reduces our damage. But we're already rolling with 105 damage. So I feel like we can sacrifice a little bit for that extra like sneakiness especially when we're in the city. The other thing was, is earlier this morning, I was kind of out looking around and uh, the fog has kind of rolled in a little bit since then, but there was a mountain off in the distance there and it was white. 
and then there was a mountain off in the distance there and it was black which leads me to believe that i i think the the wasteland biome is like out here and i thought it would be cool if today instead of doing a quest for wrecked uh, I think we actually have to go back there and turn our quest in so we can do that this morning We'll do the trader run because today was trader day But then with the rest of our day, I think I want to head into the wasteland and see if there's like a big town that we can um, Go and check on there. Whoa. Whoa. Jeez. What is going on here? Holy crap my ceiling. Oh boy All right So the reason why we're getting such a late start this morning is because I've got everything all cleaned up and put into proper storage boxes so I'm just gonna grab up all of the trader equipment here. Let's uh, let's see one two three four five six We'll lock up the inventory. Uh, I will make sure that I'm fed and hydrated before I go uh, We'll roll with the chili dogs today. In fact, let's just take the hobo stew with us If we're gonna go to the wasteland might as well wash it down with a red tea for that digestive efficiency and don't forget the sugar butts and uh, We have the magnum so we'll be benefiting from that and I don't have any awesome sauce So we'll just have to suck it up Oh, geez, I just noticed that there's shotgun ammo in the food container. We'll sort that out later. Oh, geez. look at that guy just like hanging out in the snow. Freaking bum. Aha! Whoa, I almost forgot something. We have four skill points to spend. So I think I was going to go into Daring Adventurer a little bit more, but I want to benefit at least one more day, one more like trader restock from the, the Better Barter Secret Stash trick. So instead, I'm just going to pump all of these points into Agility. And what do I need to get Gunslinger up? Ooh, we need like two points into that. What about Parkour? It's probably time to get some Parkour points. In fact, I want to do that. Three will go straight into, well, like one into Agility, two into Parkour. And with the last remaining one, probably Flurry of Flesh so that we can do a little bit better attack speed with the Machete. All right, first things first, we'll check this. Ooh, two eye candy. Actually, that's kind of clutch because we're going to need that if we're heading into the wasteland. Uh, I might as well take the Rock Buster and the Skull Crusher. I would typically take the dog food, but honestly, I don't feel like dog food is the limiting factor anymore for learning Elixir. It's friggin' super corn. All right, let's get our reward here. Mm, probably the Ratchet's going to sell for a lot more, so... Um, in fact, I'll probably just take that ratchet for myself and I'll sell him my old one. So with that, um, unfortunately I won't be able to repair this. Oh crap, Wrecked, you're screwing up my plans. Alright, we will eat the sugar butt and kind of rearrange things. I want to sell... Oh, I don't want to sell my steroids. Man, I'm still like kind of really disorganized here. <laughs> Alright, let's sell him all this crap. I'll just sell him a couple of those steroids. Don't need six of those. And we'll see what he has for sale. Eggs, those are cheap. I'll take those. He's got this Ranger's Guide to Archery for flaming bolts and, uh, and arrows. I might as well take that so we can get a little bit closer to completing that series at least. Otherwise, nothing in that secret stash that's particularly exciting. So I'll take the nerdy glasses off. Check the other one. And quite honestly, he's got nothing in this one either. Holy cow, man. Oh, boy. Well, bust. All right, we'll read this Ranger's Guide to Archery. What do I even get for completing that series? I will get bulk crafting arrows and bolts. Not the greatest, honestly, but... Um, oh, well, I, I do want to kind of complete that series anyway. So, now that I have parkour, it's easy to get into Rex's bedroom, so I will check that out while I'm right here. You can actually get up here without parkour. It's a little tricky. You just gotta like start here and then do like a jump like that. It's just like way easier with parkour though. All right, good enough. And I'll just sell him that little bit of junk that I stole from him. Okay, good enough. I guess we're off to the wasteland now. At least hopefully we can find it. Oh, bear. And, um, where's my bike? Wasn't my bike right here? Um, game? Where's, where's my motorcycle? And that bear is, is it over here? I can see it. What? Why, why is my motorcycle in the air? Um, I have concerns. Why? Okay. That's about the weirdest thing I've seen so far in Alpha 20. <laughs> Alright, got a little bit of uh, distance here between that bear, so um, 
Put this stuff away real quick. I don't need all this crap in the inventory right now. And get that ratchet switched over. I will sell that ratchet later. I just want to repair it first. I did repair several of the items that we sold today, but not 100% of them. So we'll have a look at the map here. I want to head basically over here to see if this main road that we're on right now continues to the east or to the southeast. And then we'll follow that road until we find like a town or a city or something. Yeah, here we are, we're coming up on the waypoint and uh, I think this is where we're gonna go right here. Does this make sense? I think, I think so. Is this heading, this is kind of heading northeast. So I'm gonna follow this for a minute. It, this might actually take us, uh, I actually have no idea where this is gonna take us. Let's just follow this road for a little while. Get out of the road. Oh, we do need the meat, but I'm not ex <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that my guns are loaded, so I don't want to pop out and try to shoot them. <laughs> so might as well stop. This gun's loaded. That gun's loaded. I'll have the shotgun out just in case we need to pop out and let off a couple rounds. Aha! Okay, we've got a fork in the road here. Uh, I, I want to go right. Oh, we've got the airdrop. Aha! Due south from where we are now. I'm gonna just put a waypoint here, drop. Maybe we'll try to hit that up on the way home, or if it's on this road, we'll just pick it up on the way through here. Oh, but this just immediately turns left to the east. Okay. And then immediately turns again to the northeast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got birds coming. Um, okay, screw that bird, screw the map. I think we passed like a, it might have been like a, a little tiny shanty town or like a wild west town. I just heard a landmine go off, oh boy. So on the uh, GNS multiplayer server, I have a base. Um, I usually play on there like once or twice a week. And there we go, I wanted to like kind of concentrate on that. So I live in the wasteland on that playthrough just because I wanted to get some experience. And because I wanted to test and see, like, is this viable? Wow, here we are rolling up on a city here. I think I'll just um, make the lap around the outside. There actually should be a trader here somewhere. Anyway, I was thinking about, like, should I do a series in the wasteland? Because, you know, the loot bonus and all that. It would be really cool to, like, just do a whole series from day one in the wasteland. But ultimately, I decided that the color palette is so dreary. And it's just so dark and dusty and just foggy and yuck that I, I couldn't stomach having a series here just based on like visuals alone and it looks as though oh uh this should be like the entry loop to the city and there is trader bob right here nice all right always careful for landmines i'm pretty sure i did not read that book hopefully bob will sell it to me that would be clutch did i have the money with me i don't even have the money with me hang on grab that money and check this for eggs nice good of course, always check the vending machine first. We've got eye candy. We've got uh, nerd tats. We're going to be using the nerd tats later. I'm going to get a stun baton and a repulsor mod going. All right, Bob. Oh, we still have 48 seconds left on that uh, candy, too. The um, sugar butts candy. And the magnum is not drawn. Let's get that out. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, gyrocopter. Cannot afford that, though. Not even close. Wood, I'll take that. Save me some time. Cement, good deal. Check the secret stash real quick. Pistol Pete book, I don't care, I just want to buy it, I'll read it later, and 19 seconds left, anything here that I want, I, I don't think so, I think we're good here, we've got 10 seconds left, lucky goggles, those are the plus 4 variety, okay, 5 seconds, take these off, get back into his inventory, and if you watch it tick out, the price did not change. I'm still benefiting from the candy even though it's expired because I've already loaded in the inventory. So I can just kind of take my time here now. 
Whew, I will get this Magnum Enforcer book. Oh, and that's it. That's, this is only one page, so really nothing terribly important here. Uh, I will take that cobble. I missed that a minute ago. All right, I'm pretty satisfied with that. We'll get the nerdy glasses back on. What book was this? This is 10% uh, more damage with 9 mil, and that was yeah, the high power 44 Magnum ammunition. Okay, let's uh, head back to the bike then. I think we're good. I think I probably want to do a lap around the city first. It looks like this is the road heading into the city. Uh, I want to just peruse the area and see if we can find like a decent size tier 3 or tier 4. Okay, it is kind of late in the afternoon, so probably leaning more toward like a tier 3. Maybe like, um, I don't know, like a waterworks or something or like a shotgun messiah or uh, something where we can get uh, some bang for our buck with the increased loot stage, which at this point is 114. Oh, these friggin' birds. Ah, get out of here. Okay, this is the new Poppin' Pills factory, which is like just way out of my league right now. Oh my god, I've got like nine birds chasing me. This is crazy. Would prefer to do something I'm a little bit familiar with here, just on account of uh, I don't want to like have any surprises. What? Why are there so many birds? There needs to be a vehicle mod that's like a robotic turret on the back end to freaking shoot things as you're driving away from them. So just rolling through the downtown, I kind of would be partial to not spending my day downtown. Ooh, doggos. And mo power, working stiff tools. Oh, that place. Uh, I do have the parkour now, so I would be a little bit more confident doing it, but... <laughs> Like, preferably, you want to have max parkour before you do that place. All right, continuing our search here. Yeah, these are really, like, dinky places out here. Passing gas, the car lot, O'Reilly Auto, Savage Country. That wouldn't be a bad one if we hadn't just done it, like, a couple of days ago. Oh, that's the other Savage Country, too. Okay, that is an option, at least. I'm going to hang a left and complete the loop, though. Try to outrun this freaking bird. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Shotgun Messiah shooting range. Which one is this? This is the live fire outdoor shooting range one. So that's good to know about. Uh, oh, crap. Would you get the hell out of here, man? All right, I'm just going to head to the end of the road here and then we'll turn around and maybe do um, that Shotgun Messiah. Ooh, that would be a good one. Fates Motel. I know that one like exceptionally well. Like, I don't think I know a POI in the game better than that one. <laughs> I don't know how many practice runs I did in the Tournament of Champions to try to figure that place out. And, uh, oh god, to trying to get back on the main friggin' road here, I took a wrong turn. Alright, that is pretty much it for this place, so, whoop, kill him, or at least hit him. Oh, these birds! I'm gonna loop back around and go back to that shotgun messiah. All right, I've made the loop back. We are here. This is actually not the entrance, though. The entrance is over here. Oh, jeez, the freaking bird. Ah! Aha, skill point. Guess these birds are good for something. Well, let's have a look then. I think I'm gonna just pump that point that we just got into something agility here. We could do run and gun. We could also do light armor. Let's try, let's do run and gun. Maybe the next one into light armor. I think that's a good plan. All right, in we go. Did I have the looting candy with me? I do. Okay, I know this place really well. I should be nice and comfortable to loot this in relative safety. Except I don't want to loot it until the very end when I have the eye candy, so we're just gonna clear this place out now. Ooh, <laughs> yes, I love that jump height. Nice. Good, don't forget the bookshelf back there. Okay, medicine cabinet, might as well search this now. There's no tiered loot or anything in here, so we can just take this stuff and check it for acid as well. Nope, not that time. Oh, hello. Oh, I can see a hand there and he is awake. Good morning. And Thomas here, should be a little easy kill, nice. And a zombie outside trying to beat his way in. It's going to take him some time, so let's move on. Yeah, I don't even know that it's worth it to bother here. Let's just use the guns on these guys. Whoa! Oh, okay, I'm dead. I was shooting right straight through her, wasn't I? Oh, I can't wait to review the footage on that one. That was some bullshit. 
Bubbles, what are you doing in here? Ah, get out of here. Ow. Ah, boy. Okay, take that painkiller I found earlier. Get a little bit of action over here. Not sure exactly where. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we're good there. And uh, all that's left is the main loot area. Can I just jump right over this now? I can. I've got that extra jump height. Two block jump height. Nice. Okay. Well, let's get geared up for this. Unfortunately, I don't have like a, a fully automatic weapon, but uh, I think we can do this. Let's drink that recog that I found a minute ago, and I'm going to take a steroid, and I'm probably going to die of dehydration by doing this. Let's see. Uh, that gives me 20 water if I just eat this, so that'll help a little bit. All right. Let's do this! Wake up, everyone! It's time to play! Come on over here, ladies and gentlemen! Eat that! Ha ha! Ow, ow, ow! Oh, Arlene, she's a feral one. Got her. All right, try to cluster him up in this little corner here and let one rip. Nice. A red. Whoa, just jump. Get out of here. Ow. The revolver, it has a rad remover on it. It's, it's our only chance against that rad. All right, we got the running gun points now. We can just basically sprint while we're running. <laughs> yes, we can sprint while we're running. No, we can sprint while we're reloading. Get her. Aha. Compound is secure, I think. Let's just jump our way up here and clear out the riffraff we've attracted. Surprised I don't see a screamer anywhere. All right, I'm feeling good about this. Let's um, open this up and then we'll loot up. All right, we are ready to go. Eye candy in, gun out, just in case someone sneaks up on me and we'll see what we get here. Ah, oh, treasure map, nice. A bunch of magnum ammo there too. Scrap that magnum, don't need it. Whoa, battery bank schematic, shotgun turret schematic, and that's the robotic turret shells. We can sell that. All right, I'm gonna prioritize going into the gun store portion over here and looting, and then we'll go back and just pick through whatever we left behind. Nice. Junk turret, nice. Oh, give me some good drinks out of this beer. It's <laughs> not what I had in mind. Acid, nice. Um, chance of dysentery. <laughs> okay, I don't need 10 water with a 12% chance of dysentery. Ah, nothing in there. Okay, I think that's it for like the good loot. Now we just get to like pick through and see if we can find any like little loot. Oh, look at this. Straggler. Uh oh, I just aggroed that bear. Great. All right, well, there are like um, resource piles and pallets kind of scattered around, but unless anything has changed significantly since Alpha 19, which I don't think they've changed much here, then I think that we've gotten everything that's good to be gotten out of this area, if that's even a sentence. So, oh, I hear a dog that's aggroed on me, and that bear is aggroed on me too. Super dehydrated, it's really holding me back right now. I'm just gonna pull a fast one, kind of like jump down from the roof onto the bike because I have no idea where that bear went. Here we go, onto the bike, and we are making a clean getaway, nice. Well, that was fun. I wonder if there's anything else cool around here. Um, we have some time left in the day. Like, I'm kind of thinking, do I want to read that treasure map right now and then go dig it up? We could try that and just have like a low threshold to like not do it. Oh, it's gonna be like kind of toward, 
home? Where is that, anyway? Oh my god, that's way over in the friggin' temperate biome! What a lame treasure map! Alright, well, in that case, let's go see if we can find- Whoa, friggin' cop, Jesus Christ. Let's go see if we can find that airdrop, and uh, we'll probably just call it a day after that. Yep, okay, we just crossed over into the snow biome again, and that indeed was a Wild West town over there. But I'm gonna hang a left and head south and see if we can pick up the smoke trail off of that airdrop. Of course, the frickin' heavy fog rolled in right as we get over here. Ah, I see it though, right there, nice. Okay, let's just check this really quickly. Forged iron and corn on the cob. That's about the worst one I've ever seen in my entire life. And I was way off on my marker there. Oh, jeez. All right, we are home safe and sound. We just gotta get everything unloaded and start our projects for the night. And get some friggin' water in me. My mouth is as dry as a popcorn fart. Uh, literally, the second it ticked into night, a zombie aggroed on me. Like, that is an immediate effect there. Damn it. Oh, jeez. All kinds of them now. All right, we gotta head down here. I think this is gonna be kind of the way- Oh, dog! What the hell? Uh, they're coming up the stairs. I don't like that. Whoa, get out of here. And you as well. Yeah, gonna knock that out after I saw what just happened there. No, thank you. That's it for that. I love the stopping power on this gun. Big upgrade from that pistol. Alright, I'm gonna take some time now just to get things a little bit organized here and get the workstations all set up again and stuff like that. It's all just kind of temporary stuff for now, so how about... Workbench there. Land claim. Campfire. Cooking pot. Forge. Bellows anvil. Cement mixer. And I'll just sneak my chem station in there for now. Okay, uh, it's gonna be like a never-ending struggle here to fend off the nighttime zombies. The population of zombies is pretty thick here. It seems uh, worse than when we were over at the dollhouse. So, I think tonight, in the hours we have remaining in this episode, I'm gonna get started on the horde base design. And in order to do that... Gonna need to kind of make some drastic modifications to how things work here. So just having a look at these silos, they are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 16, roughly 16 blocks high. So at about eight blocks high, I'm gonna build a platform that spans inside all of these pillars. Oh, freaking zombies down there, you stupid zombies. You wait until I get a friggin' pit to put you all into. I, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna go down here and uh, knock out a block and see what happens. I think that's actually roughly right what I wanted to do right there. Okay. Um, does this seem right? One, two, three, four, and then right here. Okay. Well, we gotta kill zombies now. All right, so you can kind of see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to connect all of these pillars from from left to right and then also like from I guess north to south. So like uh I can't reach it from here, but basically I'm going to like knock a block out here, knock a block out here so that we go into this uh pillar here and then we'll connect them like this. I keep saying like this and like that, but you know, basically you're gonna be able to walk from this end to the front pillar by going through all of these pillars, and then you're gonna be able to walk from this pillar to that pillar, and there will just be like doors each way, and then all along this central corridor, there will be a long slit trench and a long skinny corridor a la what we had at the dollhouse. And we'll have multiple fighting positions. Fighting positions next to each one of these pillars. And since there are no repairs at Horde Knight, we will hold them at the front. And as each position fails, we will fall back. 
And inside all of these pillars, I'm gonna put traps, things like dart traps, electric fences, and I'll put blade traps down at the bottom to chew them all up. And I'll put little like glory holes in all of the platforms that we're gonna make spanning between these so that we can toss molotovs and uh, grenades and whatnot down into the zombies below. And I believe that we'll be low enough below the base, which will be up there, that even if demos come on Horde Night, and blow stuff up, I, you know, these pillars, they'll never knock down all eight of these pillars, uh, and they'll never, the blast will never, like, reach high enough to affect the bottom of our base. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day 17. All right, this morning we are cooking and crafting and just generally getting things organized. Tonight we're gonna have to do a big construction project. Time is ticking and it will be day 21 before we know it, so we need to get the horde base up and running sooner rather than later. And there is the morning bell. So today, I think it's probably going to be worth our time to take the money with us and it, like make our way out to some of the other traders that we found. There is also that treasure map way off in the distance. And that is over by Trader Wrecked, I believe, way down here. So that's probably going to be worth our time. We can swing by this trader here. I think it's right there on the way back. Maybe just do up the whole loop and see what we have left for time after that. I do not have a quest today, so by the time we make it back to Trader Wrecked here in this town, we could maybe look at doing a job, but I would have a low threshold for skipping questing today to in favor of, like, building, so... We just have a ton of work to do. We have a ton of remodeling. I really would like to get an auger. That would be like the most clutch find today because it's going to take us so much time to dig through the concrete and do the remodeling we need to do. I mean, I suppose we don't need to do it, but I would like to do it. All right, so just going to take a couple of boiled meats with me. Oh, no, we're rolling with the uh, the hobo stew these days. So, yeah, we're good. Let's get out of here. All right, how are we looking on fuel here? 100%. I gassed up last night. Where are we going? I think we'll just roll through the downtown area. See if we can run over any zombies on our way, or chickens, for that matter. <laughs> Good enough. Alright, Heavy Fog is rolling in. Oh, here's our first customer. Get out of here, Mo. It might be fun to just, you know, not even do a quest today and just find some place that we like, that we want to raid. Alright, we've made it to the outskirts of town. I will meet you over at that treasure map. Boy, here we are, the treasure map, and it's under the friggin' road. Who the hell would bury their treasure under a road? I suppose it's probably, like, a good tactic. Uh, not easy to dig up, but Jesus Christ, it's gonna make it really hard on me. I did search a Mo Power truck, and it had this little tech junkie book to instantly charge the stun baton. 50% chance on that. We'll read that. We'll be using the stun baton at some point. Oh, boy. Here we go. Fortunately, it appears that there is this one layer of clay. Uh, above me is the asphalt. Or no, I guess I have a little bit of sand above me too. Oh, that'd be nice, I can stand up here. Uh, but below me, it's stone, so I'm just gonna kinda just dig around. It looks like asphalt, but it's clay. It's kind of weird how these textures work. Oh, there it is. Look, it's outside the freaking circle! What the hell? There we go. From what I've heard, these are mostly just money and potentially ammo is what I was gonna say. But yeah, we can sell a lot of that stuff. Really not that great, honestly. Oh, and it's uh, started raining. Oh, great. Okay, from here, we need to head back north and go check on Trader Wrecked up here. All right, here we go. We are at Trader Wrecked. Take care of him. Check the vending machine. 
Not much going on in there. Oh, look, he's got a couple bottles of acid. That is clutch. Yeah, otherwise, it's really nothing exciting in the secret stash. Let's take off the nerdy glasses real quick. Check his other secret stash. You never know. Nope, nope. Really nothing in here either. Dang it, that's a bust. All right, I think we'll check maybe one more trader and just see what they have. Ow, ow, ow. Get out of the bike. Ah! Ow! I'm bleeding! Ah! Go! Jeez! Leave me alone! Oh, get a bandage on. Yikes. Freaking cats are tough. Oh! You son of a bitch! Whoa! Oh, I got the cat. Alright, I think we've got enough meat today. I can stop risking my life for that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm infected too. Okay, sugar butts and a skull crusher. I'll take the dog food. Alright, what's this guy have? Uh, basically, not much. Watch yourself, stranger. Check the other secret stash. Oh, he's got the Art of Mining book for lanterns. That's a good one. I do want to make some lanterns. So I will take that. Oh, man. Otherwise, uh, nothing I really want here. Sniper book, brawling book, iron spear schematic, bunch of bullshit. Oh, geez, I'm out of here. All right, the next trader is kind of like on the outskirt of that town. And then we've got another trader up here. That's kind of on the way. Okay, so we'll skip the trader in this town. I think this is Trader Hugh over here. Actually, Trader Hugh sells weapons and stuff. I want to go check on Trader Hugh. I guess we're making the full trade rounds today, damn it. Ah, it's a big waste of time. I can't wait until I get the gyrocopter and some more money. Probably our time is better spent looting and making money and just relying on one to two traders, but I'm desperate for that auger. Probably couldn't even afford it if I found it. All right, what do you got, bud? Anything good? Oh, he's got a cigar. Thank you so much. Put that immediately in my mouth. Yeah, not much going on there. What a surprise. Let's check this one. And really nothing. All right, I'm done with this crap. We're heading home now. I guess it was worth it all around just to get that extra, or the cigar, to get the extra point into strength and all that. Uh, anything local here that we can just hit up real quick? Oh, Mo Power Truck. Those are freaking gold these days. Oh, <laughs> but there's a dire wolf guarding it, so on second thought, no thanks. Nothing is worth my life. However, while I'm right here, let's just put some of this stuff away. Okay, read that book. I'm gonna need this on my inventory, but put everything else away. I'm gonna do just a little cheeky raid here into O'Malley Oats. I think there's like a good chance to get some tools maybe, and maybe some like concrete or cobble, a bellows apparently. Okay, all right, in we go. I think this is like a tier two or tier three, so nothing too spectacular here, but every little bit counts. Oh, two bikers, my goodness, get back. I see you there, Bo. Oh, is he a feral? I mean, that was a headshot right there. Uh, he seems awfully fast. Yes, that was a feral, nice. Ooh, not bad, a cripple mod schematic. Never been a particularly big fan of the cripple mod. I'd rather kill my zombies than blow their legs off and then make them crawl on the ground and make them even more difficult to kill. But to each their own. Oh, good job. I can't wait until you can cut the limbs off of all the zombies. That will be the day. Ooh, hey Cole, what's up? Ah, we call this guy Cole after Patreon supporter Cole Slauson. You don't see very many of those guys in the winter biome. Man, they are nasty looking though, aren't they? Oh, jeez, all kinds of them here though. Get back! Alright, now for the grand finale. This guy is just too easy to take out.
Wasteland Treasures book. This is to get um, honey out of trees. Not particularly bad, I guess. And some ammo. Meh. Not the best raid I've ever done in my life. What's the, what's the trick to get this? You just gotta, what, knock this block out here? Watch out for the zombies coming up behind me. Yep. Whoa! Hey, there's a honey right there. That'll cure my infection. Nice. Alright, we are moving on. I am done checking traders today. But then again, this one is on the way home, so geez. <sighs> Might as well. One more trip. I can't wait to read all the comments of things I've missed so far at the trader. <laughs> I have a little bit of tunnel vision right now. I'm looking for an auger, and that's basically it. All right, last stop for the day, Trader Joel. Couple of eye candies, nice, nerd tats. Practically spend all my money just on candy. I won't have enough to buy an augury even if I find one. Okay. Whoa, timed charges. I've been watching uh, Joe Moodle use timed charges instead of lock picks, but I can make the lock picks now, so eh. to me, I, I've already got the tool to open chests and stuff. But it's a pretty cool tactic if you ask me. And then secret stash, ooh, art of mining book. That's uh, to get rare gems from ore. I have to take that. We've got to get one step closer to getting the one-shotting the ore. That's a really important one. Never encumbered at night. That would be a good one, too. Hang on. Let's check the other secret stash real quick before we decide on what to do. Uh, this one just has this... Um, well, it's got a lucky looter book. More lead. Yeah, right. I don't need that. And an urban combat book. That would be land silently. Unless you take damage. Oh, gyrocopter accessory schematic. I'm gonna buy that. That gets us one step closer to the gyrocopter. I'll take that urban Let's combat fly, book, stranger. pop my glasses back on, and I think there was one other book that I wanted to buy here. Yeah, there was a Night Stalker. There's actually two Night Stalkers, and I can't afford both of them, but I could sell him some stuff real quick to make up the difference. Okay, Night Stalker number one, and I still I need more money. Here, take this money here. Take Night Stalker number two, and at least today we learned a little bit. All right, I'll meet you back home. We got a big construction project to start working on today. Ah, fucking cats. Uh, something's wrong with this one here. Aha! And <laughs> as I just had that magnum out, I'm pretty sure I have gone all day today at the traders without my magnum out. My goodness, oh, such bad habits. Uh, the, probably the problem is, is that I I have multiple different playthroughs. I'm playing on the GNS multiplayer server. I'm playing on Totally Not Prepared, and I'm playing here, and I just forget. Oh, boy. Hopefully, I will remember it next time. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that, a hunting rifle in there. Uh, give me that. Ooh, home sweet home, but we've got company. We don't want any more visitors, well-wishers, or distant relations. Ow! All right, that's everything put away for the day. Here's all the books we got. Art of Mining, Night Stalker, two of those, Urban Combat, and the Gyrocopter Accessories Schematic. And now we need to do some remodeling downstairs. So I'm gonna grab up some... Actually, I'm like practically dying right now. So let me stitch up my wound. And I'll drink a water and suck down a painkiller. Take a bandage. Looking much better now. Okay, just gonna grab up some construction materials as well as those blocks. The blocks that I got in like an early, early airdrop. Not sure what else I'm gonna need. So I'm just gonna bring a little bit of everything, I think. Okay, plenty of coffee so that we can get that um, stamina bonus, and let's head down. So I have a bit of a project that we need to do in order to get things organized for the big build, and that is we gotta knock this thing out here, but I think we can do that relatively- Oh, jeez, Feral White! Holy crap, man. These guys are tough. Whoa! Okay, so what we want to do is collapse this entire thing. It would be too much work to do it otherwise, so I need to knock out the four base structures. And I guess I woke up someone in this building? Hello? Oh, there he is. Okay, that's that. Now, it's all kind of sitting on this trailer, I think. 
The question is, what blocks do I need to knock out to make this thing collapse? So definitely these things here. Wow, those are weak as hell. Oh my god. And then, yeah, so that, that has clearance now. It looks like there's a center portion here we also need to knock out. Hopefully this doesn't have like 10,000 hit points. Aha! There we go. Oh boy. Look out. Nice! Now, certainly there's going to be a screamer here, so be on your guard. Make sure the guns are loaded. I don't see one. I don't know. I saw Marlene. I don't hear anything. There's Arlene over there. Might just pop a couple rounds into her just for the fun of it. Wouldn't be a day unless you blew Arlene's head off. Yeah, so what has likely happened is that the screamer has spawned, but... Oh! Oh! Yes, I heard her! Oh, jeez! Run! Fog is rolling in. Shit! There she is. Got her. Okay, she's down. Okay, now I just gotta clean up all this metal. Uh oh, fuck another screamer. Get, no, oh, get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. Get her. I shot her. Ah, she's down. Oh, she left a loot bag, too. Not bad. Oh, boy. Oh, crap. That's a feral. Oh, he's fast. Ah! Regular guns, please. Oh, hello. Did she maybe scream and we just didn't hear it? Quite possible. All right, that mess is all cleaned up. I think we might be able to utilize this little piece right here as a part of the the base. So I'm not gonna knock it out just yet. I'm not even sure if I could upgrade it even if I wanted to. I guess I could, so yeah, I mean, that might look pretty cool. But what I wanna do is get this, the, the spacing like finalized. I, I want, I want it to be a little over halfway up from the ground. I want to be off the ground enough space so that spiders can't jump up to me when I'm up here. And I believe, I don't know, I, I need to go down and kind of get a view from the, the ground. Yeah, that's about halfway, but it seems lower than what I would like. So let's try like two blocks higher from that. Let's try that and get another vantage point from the ground. Mm, that looks kind of high, but I want it to be kind of centered on these blocks too. I'm not gonna paint these, I like those blocks. They look pretty cool. I'd rather be too high than too low, quite honestly. So I think I'm gonna roll with this one the way it is right now. I need a safe way to get down. Can I jump on that light? Of course not, ow. I'm just gonna like get a little bit of a support structure going like right here. And it's almost nightfall, so that's gonna be not an issue, but a thing for sure. In fact, they're probably going to try to knock out the support pillar from under me. Uh, but I am connected to the sides now, so that's probably okay. Probably. And immediately, zombies are trying to run up on me. Where are they? Oh, <laughs> damn, I knocked. I took out the wrong block. Oh, man. We got a cop. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Pizza! Ah! Oh, the cop just spit on his own guy! Kill that cop! Ow! Oh my god, I'm getting beat up here! Get a bandage on! Oh, there's a dog! Or a wolf, actually! Just run! Run and use what stamina I have left to get on this damn ladder! Oh boy! Oh! Alright, all quiet now, I think. Hands are only shaking a little bit. More zombies are rolling up on us now. I do have the general layout for how this horde base is gonna work, just to kind of show you guys 
my concept. So zombies are going to come up this way. We'll build a good ramp for them. I mean, this is just your classic kind of corridor base. It is the only way if you're playing insane 64 zombies. I wouldn't dare put myself on the ground level or anything like that, like in a turtle base. And a tower base would just be too much work and repairs. And I have to be able to use melee on my Horde Knights. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is just do some fancy work with the shapes. And I'm going to try to get like an access point. Kind of, I, I guess I have one right here. So we're going to have to knock out a lot of these concrete blocks. So that these are all going to be like communicating with each other. But the zombie, the general zombie flow will be right down the middle. With fighting position here. Fighting position here, fall back, fighting position over here, and then we'll make that long trench down there at the bottom. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day 18. And there's a pissed off zombie downstairs somewhere, and as I'm looking right straight ahead, whoop, there's a zombie in that building over there as well, I can see him trying to beat through the window. There he goes. Yes, there's a shotgun messiah right there, I think that's what we should do this morning. I don't have a quest, so we've got to do something to fill the time, might as well do some questing. In terms of the base, uh, let me just show you real quick what that looks like. How do I get down here? Yes, right here. So yeah, this is basically what I came up with in the wee hours of the morning. Same fighting position that we've been building so far that we had at the dollhouse, but it's going to be replicated four times, or at least three times, so we'll have three fallback positions. And this front one out here, this this is going to be like the first position. I've just put this like round shape here. This is all kind of tentative, and I'll show you guys how to build this a little bit later on. Probably today when we get the third position built, but I just wanted to get it kind of framed up early, early on. we got to build the ramp. I need something to get the zombies up here to a killing position because night times are crazy. I kill probably like 20 or 30 zombies a night just because they spawn in, they hear me, they roll up. And it's kind of inconvenient, and I have to kind of cheese it a little bit over here on the ladder. But anyway, am I good here on inventory? We've got some shotgun rounds, some bullets, some food. How am I doing here? Pretty good. I think we're good to roll out. Uh, who's this? Are you a feral? Let's soften her up a little bit before I go down. Here we go. Come on. Come and get it. Ow! Oh, my goodness. Whoa! Oh, God! Soldier! Okay, yes. Oh, there's a cop over there as well. My god. Whoa! Oh, my face! Oh, loot bag! More rolling up. Oh, this looks like a wandering horde. It probably is. Whoa! Look out! And it's like straight barrels! Oh, god! Ah! Look out! Chicken! Holy cow, man. Good morning. Oh, boy. Let's see what's in that loot bag over there. Oh, another spider. Might be able to get the drop on him. Got him, but not enough to kill him. There we go. All right, breakfast is served, I guess. Oh, I don't have any first aid on me. I gotta go grab some. All right, another spider over here, you son of a bitch. Whoa, is he a feral or something? Yikes. Get the gun. Whoa, yes, he was a feral. I guess this is the life when you live right close to the downtown district. All right, this would be a good little place for us to raid this morning. Let's do this. Explosive barrels, watch where you shoot in this place. Wide open out back, so cats could basically roll right up in here and get us. Nope, woke her up. Good morning, Marlene. 
I guess I've already killed you once this morning. Not opposed to doing it twice, though. Probably would be nice to have an eye candy. Do I have any of those at the base? I have a bunch of those. Let's keep those in the bike from now on. Soldier rolling up on me here. Arrow to the knee! Nice! go another one. Oh boy nice okay we're back in business now got the eye candy I'm gonna save these racks here just when we get the eye candy we'll remember to come back down here and loot those up never know might pull out like a good piece of military armor or something like that uh oh who's this nice <laughs> Oh, I love the machete. It's just so satisfying to chop them and let them bleed to death. Oh, lots of uh, footsteps here. Oh boy, here we go. Get off the ground, Bo, Bo, whoever you are. Ooh. Ah, no, no, <laughs> crap. Ow. Oh man, this is bad. Just gone. Whoa. Saved by the door, although I am infected and I have an abrasion. Oh, there's a ton of zombies outside. Okay, let's get a move on. Just close every door behind me. Uh, more gun racks here. Okay, gotta remember all these things. We're gonna have to basically like run through the whole POI again when we're done. Where are these zombies anyway? I'm gonna open this window. It sounds like they're right outside here. Oh, this is like ground level here. Yep, we need to fix this problem right now. Oh, Feral! Not fucking around with her. Uh, bear. Oh, jeez. Alright, that bear is awfully close. Can I just go back in this way? Yeah, sure. Oh, cop! Ah! You son of a bitch jumping me like that! I won't deny it, I'm getting my ass kicked today. Which reminds me, I do have a skill point and I wanted to put that into light armor. That'll help today. Bears aggroed, not good. Um... I need to put some distance between him and I. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Is he... Did he go inside or... No, oh, there he is. Oh, nice. We're gonna be eating good off this one. Yes! Nice! Ah, working vending machine here. Nothing great in it, though. Oh, what? It's just a freaking feral soldier. What? Eat that! I am not ready to be facing ferals inside POIs left and right, especially when they're soldiers. Who's that? Hey, lucky goggles! Wow, they are the plus five version. Well, I'm gonna be using those from now on. I've been just waiting to get the good, good ones, and now we're gonna do the whole swapping goggles thing whenever we get to main loot. Aha. I have had some trouble in this room before. <laughs> Careful with the gunfire, at least. Oh, and I, I go and do that, and I immediately fired and hit one of the barrels. Oh my god, get... Hold still, first of all. Get out of my face. Damn, man. What do you want? Why, why is it always a soldier? Wait for him to open the door. Shoot him in the knee. Um, oh, jeez. You clumsy motherfucker. Ow! Uh-oh. Run, 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 run. In here. <laughs> Use a bandage real quick. Slurp down some salmon. Eat this. Whoa. Oh my god, man. <laughs> I was shooting right over his shoulder. Now what? You guys, leave me alone. Moving right along, then. Use another bandage.
Oh my god, there's a lot of fucking zombies outside right now. I think this is a wandering horde rolling up on us. Ah, I'm gonna go down and check. I can hear them trundling around. Where are they? There they are. Holy shit, that's a lot. All right, come and get it. Ah, spider. Whoa, get out of here. Ah, get out of here. Ow. Uh oh. Get back. Ah. Oh, hey, pup shotgun schematic there. Nice. Oh, and some extra shotgun rounds. That that helps. All right, that's all those little resources. I just want to gather up what I can, you know. No rush today anyway. I think we'll probably just do this POI and then call it good after that. All right, up to the rooftop. I believe we're nearing the end of this now. Is this the big boss fight? I believe it is. I'm expecting at least ferals up here, if not probably like cops and stuff like that. Oh, and there's a freaking dire wolf after me now. Great. Okay, also on the lookout for birds. Eat that. Arrow to the knee! I think I missed. Arrow to the knee! Ah, I got him. There we go. Yep, oh, geez, just a freaking feral white here. He needs an arrow to the knee too, doesn't he? Yikes! Come on up here, big boy. Aha! I'll chop your fucking face off! More than it's already chopped off! Ah! Ow! Run! Oh, he bled out. All right, lucky goggles on, and I will put the eye candy in me in a little bit, because the loot is right down here. Just got to unlock this. This is only a tier 3 POI. This is pretty involved for a tier 3. We've been here half the day. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to break every one of my lockpicks here. Come on! Ah! Aha, there we go. That took forever. Okay, with all that done, eye candy in, lucky goggles are on, and we can see what we get. Ooh, a junk turret. Not a great one, but better than nothing. Better than not having one at all. Automatic weapons handbook here. Uh, automatic, fully automatic mode has an increasing chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. Okay, cool. And a hobo stew recipe we can sell. Ah, damn it. That's not good stuff. What about this last box here? Another automatic weapons handbook that we've already read and some parts and just basically a bunch of garbage. All right, are we encumbered? We are not. I did uh, slurp down some stew and stuff like that. We got to be careful because I need to go to the ground level and loot, but there is a dire wolf somewhere. Just carefully jump down here, jump over here. Okay, we do probably need to stash the bike. Let's do that real quickly here. And, oh, there's the wolf right there. Fortunately, I don't think that's a dire wolf, so probably I could kill him. Or I could just avoid him entirely. That's probably a better plan. Thomas! Feral Thomas! Yikes! Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Uh-oh. It's just like a completely open door here. Where's that wolf? I don't know, he's beating on stuff. Just get the loot. Armor parts, I don't need that crap. Uh, tier 2 machete, that's, we can compare that. Oh! Quality 6 military vest! Wow! Are you kidding me? Get out of my face! To the basement, there's a couple more. Right in here, close the doors behind me. Wolf is directly above me, got some mods in there. This one has some fucking iron arrowheads, damn it! What about this desk? Gothic pants. Uh, am I wearing gothic pants? I'm wearing BDU bottoms. I like gothic pants better, but I'll switch that over later. Yep, dogs of... Oh, jeez. How do I get out of here? Just, um... Oh, they're out there. Okay, I'm just leaving. I am done with this shit. Downtown is crazy. On to the bike. And... Oh, you know what? I never did harvest up that bear, did I? And he despawned, so that sucks. Right? Yep, yep, he's gone. Long gone. My bad. I could kill that wolf, but honestly, I think we're pretty good on meat after yesterday. Alright, we don't have too far to go. We live right here. So, was that a wolf? It fucking was. <laughs> Just a wolf hanging out in my damn 
right in my base area. It helps if you have a bolt in it. Sometimes I edit that out, but yeah, sometimes I leave it in there because it's kind of funny. Oh, well, there's some meats. A little consolation prize. Okay, let's knock these out because they're like a freaking hazard to my health right now. All right, that cleared things out pretty nicely. I like that. Just comparing the machetes here, the, the one that we have is the better one, so we'll sell the other. New gothic pants on. Wow, <laughs> replacing this quality six padded vest with a, or padded chest armor with the quality six military vest. That is a huge jump in quality right there. How are we looking after that? Mm, getting there, okay? Usually my look is the military gloves. So that's what we're on the lookout for. Oops, speaking of gloves, those are all messed up. Just taking a moment here to kind of take stock of what we have. We have a lot of 762, quite a bit of nine mil. We're gonna need that nine mil because I'm gonna make the SMG here really, really soon. In terms of mods, everything that can take a mod has a mod. Probably could put something else on the rat there how about like a iron breaker mod onto that we are pretty low on magnum ammo so perhaps let's try and craft some of that 44 magnum ammo you could go with the ap or the i actually i can't make the ap right now i could make the high power but it takes like double the amount of bullet tips which i guess is not a huge limiting factor i'm gonna get 173 either way so um I guess high power is not a bad idea right now because they're not hollow tips anymore, so they don't, like, you don't get a penalty for shooting against an armored target, at least I think. I haven't done any personal testing, but I've watched some videos on other people doing their tests. So this uh, seems like, since, you know, bullet tips are not really a limiting factor for me, this seems like the way to go. The limiting factor there was, in fact, gunpowder, which we could probably get some more of that crafted. How much of this do we have? And how much coal do we have? Um, not too much, but it's enough. Just get some stuff started there. 521, good enough. Could use some extra crossbow bolts, so I'm going to work on that for a minute. 63, good enough. We have lots of cement, but not lots of cron concrete mix, and the limiting factor there is going to be sand and therefore stone, so probably tonight I need to start getting the mine set up. Definitely need to get some glue going. Wait a minute. I can actually do that uh, in the chem station. Forgot about that. Okay, at this point I have enough to make the... I think I do. The repulsor mod? Yep, there we go. We're going to put that onto a stun baton and have some fun with that during the next horde night. All right, and while all this stuff is going, let's go get some work done. One last thing, though, I think I can make bandages, so I'm just gonna stock up on those real quick. Ah, no, I cannot make the first aid bandage. Crap, that must be one of the other multiple playthroughs I'm doing. All right, let's head downstairs. Who's that? Is that a feral white? Oh, no, just a lumberjack. Who's making kind of a weird screechy squealy noise. Just gonna do a little trick here to get down safely. Just give me a frame right there. That should be good with the parkour skills we have. Oh, friggin' A, mountain lion within the compound over there. Great. Uh, he just needs to be dealt with here. Definitely can't get me up here, buddy. Oh, is this a frickin' horde or just downtown zombies? Well, here we go. Oh, herky-jerky businessman must be a feral. Yep, definitely. God damn, another one over there. Okay, my infection's getting kind of bad. Let's go take some antibiotics. Certainly, I have found some somewhere. Yep, herbal antibiotics, that'll do. All right, so we just need to come up with a good-looking aesthetic design to get the zombies up to us up there. And if I, if I came out this way, we'd be going right into the ditch in the road. So I'm thinking to just branch it out to the side. However, that puts them awful close to this. I don't want them to be able to reach this. So I'm going to bring it out like one more, maybe even more, like out to, say, here? Yeah, this is the idea. We're not going to do steps. We're going to do ramps or stairs, but because I, I like them to be able to come up very smoothly without, you know, falling down and then go into like destroy everything mode. Yeah, that's the general idea of it right there, though. Yep, yep, yep. That's it right there. I mean, it's not going to look like this. <laughs> it's going to look nice. Don't worry about that. But uh, we just need to get something functional up. I was hoping by 
like nightfall tonight, which is in like one hour so that we could, you know, so that the nighttime zombies would come up here and we could just kill them more efficiently. So let's get some of this upgraded at least for now. All right, now at least they have a way to get up to us up here and we just need to kind of like fortify this position a little bit more. In order to do that, I'm gonna need to get some iron and iron hatches, which are already pre-made. Oh, I can hear some footsteps in the snow. I guess we're gonna get our first customer up here. And it's nightfall. And here he is, he made it all the way to the top. Feral, of course. All right, good, so we can just sit here with relative ease while we're doing our construction tonight and just come right over here to kill the zombies that come up to try to kill us. Yep, here they come. Ow, whoa, fucking cop, you son of a bitch. Don't be doing that all night long and breaking wood blocks and stuff like that. Oh no, don't blow up, don't, no, no, good. Whoa, get back. More cop spit? Oh my goodness. Get out of here. We're gonna have to just upgrade these, I think. If a cop spits on these, they are toast. Oh great, it's like basically Horde Night here right now. Good proof of concept, I guess. No! Might as well go loud and proud. I mean, all the zombies are gonna come here eventually. Might as well just aggro them and get it over with. Yeah, see, they just have such a hard time getting up here if, it, if you just do the jumpy blocks. And then they'll get pissed off eventually and start beating on things. And we don't want that. See? Well, yep, having a real hard time there. Hello there. I'm going back here. Another cop? Oh, man. No, 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 no. Okay. We've got a moment of reprieve here. I need to get some lighting set up. Oh, I've been neglecting this aspect, haven't I? Wow, it is dark as hell around here. Hey! Oh, crap! I wasn't paying attention. Oh no! Run! Oh my god! Close that! Wow, man! The amount of times I've almost died in this playthrough is too damn high! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go, like, find some first aid or something, man, and just get my life sorted out. I'm hungry anyway, and then tonight I'll just be like, upgrading stuff around the base and playing around with the shapes and just, I don't know, getting a plan going for tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day 19, and 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 minus 1 is 9, and 9 is divisible by 3, and that's the little trick I use to know that it is Trader Day, so I think probably what we'll do this morning is uh, head over to the Trader at some point just to check the inventory. I actually don't have too much to sell. Uh, but I suppose it doesn't hurt to make some money anyway, because we don't have any at all. <laughs> so, probably what we should start off with then is some base upgrades. I thought about looting today, but it's day 19, we're getting close to the horde, so I'd like to get some, uh, some progress made to the base here. I think we'll just do some upgrading, we'll get the trench started, and get everything upgraded to concrete. That way, you know, it's day 19, so if we are short on materials, we have plenty of days to make up for it. Probably going to be super short on stone and sand. In fact, that kind of reminds me. I wanted to make some bulletproof glass. What do I need to make that? Going to need to put some sand and some stone into the forge to get... Uh, I think I need five blocks of that. So I'll just get all the crushed sand I can and... I don't know, just put the rest into this, I guess. Can I smelt a little bit of cobble? I feel like I have way too much of that stuff. Yep, that'll do. All right, so I, I'm sort of getting a, nice, a sense of what we should do today. Let me just cover these up and fix this real quick, because, um, whoops. Oh, I forgot, these are all broken. Not all of them, apparently, but most of them. Okay, 
I'm just gonna like seal up the roof so that we're nice and warm and toasty at night. <laughs> so someone had commented uh, uh, several days ago at this point that I was giving them like anxiety because these storage chests and, and basically like my crafting stations are kind of like hanging off the edge of these uh, frames. And they're not. I, technically, I think they're supported by the, the concrete blocks down here, but still we probably should get these all patched up and upgraded at this point. Okay, there we go, and we'll just put these on top real quick, and we'll get it kind of dressed up and looking better at some point, but for now, it's all about function. All right, that, that'll do for now, I think. Uh, looks much better, much more secure. Yeah, we gotta fix the ceiling and stuff like that. We'll get some better lights in here eventually. Okay, so what I want to do real quick now is head downstairs and see if we can find a place where we can start a mine safely because I don't want um, zombies to come kind of like barreling into the mine behind me. So I think one of these rooms down here could be um, defensible but also like um, easy access to like the stone layer below everything. I'm just kind of having a look out here too. This might be a good place for a garden, like uh, on top of this area here. I mean, not that we're gonna be gardening hardcore, but I have seeds and I'm going to plant them. So we might as well like call it a garden, I guess. I don't know, I guess if I just put that there and uh, clean some of this stuff up here. Oh, garbage. Maybe we could just put like a little mine shaft over here. Here, so what is this even made out of anyways? concrete that's pretty good actually i suppose somewhere here we could just make a little like mine shaft oh geez company here oh more important company coming ah no stamina okay there we go now we should just have, like, snow to dig through for a little while. And then we're down to the stone layer. Nice! Alright, we are pretty far down here, and I just got a handful of stone. That's all we probably should need for today. Let's get out of here. So eventually we'll be digging down to bedrock, because that's probably the safest place if you want to go down and mine stone, and then hopefully we'll find some kind of a resource around here locally that we can dig up. Alright, let's check on the status of this stuff. I want to get that bulletproof glass going. Uh oh no, we're going to need a bunch more lead for that. We have to go mine lead. Crap. What? We need a crucible? That's bullshit! <laughs> so on second thought, we're not using bulletproof glass tonight. Oh, jeez. If we get lucky, though, we, I mean, we have the ability to, oh, Jesus, Screamer here somewhere. We could potentially get a Crucible out of the secret stash. Oh, jeez. How am I going to kill this Screamer? She's, um, right at the front. Uh, she hasn't seen me or screamed yet. If I just do this, should be good. Oh, no, she's not dead. Oh, crap. Deuce. Oh, damn it. All right. Well, come on up here. We've got the high ground. Oh, I don't have the high ground anymore. Crap. I don't have any stamina either. Ah. Whoa, biker. Ah, no, no, no. Ah. Ooh, <laughs> loot bag. Well, might as well get the lucky goggles on, I guess. Oh, bunch of crap. Well, anyway, while we're down here, right, we're not making bulletproof glass anymore. I learned my lesson there. I, you know, I've only made bulletproof glass on, like, one other occasion in my entire life, so <laughs> I'm not surprised I didn't know that. All right, I need to make a couple of renovations here. What do we need to do here? Ha, ah, yes. Uh, one, we need to knock these out. And then I want to make the same system that we had kind of at the last base, although I've been practicing and I've got it down a little bit you know, cleaner. So what we need are these uh, stairs, spiral pillar, railing, corner, left and right. And I need to put these on face and, oh, freaking lumberjack. Well, he can come right up here. Here, put that down. And these go um like this? Yes, I think that's right. Hey. Leave. 
And then we need to get the right one, put this on, whoops, uh, on face. And then like so. And then we get the stairs, spiral, pillar, railing left and right and put these on face and just rotate them. See, I, what I don't want is I don't want them to, the pole area to overlap with the other pole like it was at the last base because then you get like a weird flicker thing going on. Uh, that was my bad there. So we should be doing it this way. There we go. And I'll just come out here and it's the same shape. We're just going to rotate it so that the, the pole, like the thick pole goes into that corner right there. And then you get a bit of an overlap on the front. And then we need the other, what is it? The left one on this side. This just needs to be advanced rotation and uh, just like that right there. So the idea being is that I, oh, that reminds me, I got to knock these out. All right. So what we're doing here is we have two blocks here. We have the, the, the railing on the front and then there's this one in the middle that's like the L-shaped railing and then there's the railing in the back. So that's basically three layers thick of wall, even though it's basically only occupying, I mean, it's occupying three blocks, but it looks like it's occupying one essentially. So if a zombie gets on top of the bumper and they start beating over here. I mean, that would be rare. That's not going to really happen, at least not too much, but it can happen. They would have a really, really difficult time breaking through all, all three blocks. And if like a demo goes off here, the demo blast is going to damage all of the blocks. But for the most part, it should stay upright. Now, the reason I knocked out the bottom bumper here is because the bottom bumper just prevents dogs and spiders from being able to crawl up under the shelf here or the uh, what do we call this? The plate, I guess. And, and and coming up where they're supposed to, where it's easier for me to shoot them in the head and get the headshot. So knocking out the bottom bumper there, instead of the bottom bumper, I think I'll do something. I'll just go into construction shapes. I'll get that um, I-beam that I like to use, the small I-beam. And I don't know, I'll just do something like this, just more for aesthetics than for anything. Yeah, so that way there's like an open avenue for the, the crawlers and spiders and dogs to kind of get up where they're supposed to be. Now, these are like the most important blocks in the whole base build right here. So we have to make sure these are upgraded to the strongest material that we have. I'm not entirely convinced that I'm going to keep these blocks. I might turn those into um, wedges so that when we're over here, my idea is that I want to knock out this block and then replace these blocks with bulletproof glass so that we can see what's going on below. And then we'll put a door here, like we had the glory hole at the last base, and we'll have like a little grenade chute so we can throw grenades down into a pit, which hopefully later on today we'll start digging. And oh, the last thing is, is if they break this, let's just pretend that that's broken and that one's also down, they will start to jump up in here. So the reason we do this L-shaped railing here is so that they can't go like laterally and and start beating over there. I want them all focused in this one little block. Ah! Get back! Ouch! Yeah. Anyway, I I just want them to not be able to go like over that way and squeeze over that way because then if they were able to do that, they you know one would go that way, one would go that way, one would be in the middle, probably more than one, and you would just have like six sets of ankles to try to cut off at the same time whereas in this scenario you only have one okay so before we do much more work let's go like eat and drink and uh, take care of ourselves a little bit we'll head over to the trader and see if um wrecked is selling an auger hopefully he is or a crucible really because i, I just found out today that i really really want that do we want to sell today uh and what do i have for repair kits i probably need a couple of the oh i have 19 holy cow okay give me all that just doing some repairs now that I think that it's worth it. And I'll slap some mods on just to increase the value a little bit. <laughs> like that beanie cap mod and gives me an extra 450 dukes along with that. Or not 450, but it would be 450 if I put it onto the quality 6 item. But yeah, you always want to put your mods onto the highest quality no matter what it is. You're going to get more out of it if you put it onto a quality 6 padded chest armor than if you put it onto a quality 3 set of steel armor, for example. All right, we're all modded out. We can put an extra sugar butt away. Make sure we have the magnum out, and I should have some better bullets for it. Uh, okay, let's get those loaded in. Get the laser turned back on. 
and we'll just drop off that extra ammo for some other day. Okay, let's head over to the trader. Oh boy, we just had a um, airdrop there off in the distance. Where is that anyway? That would be south southeast. Maybe on the other side of town? Okay, we're gonna do a loop back that way when we're done to the trader and we'll see if we can pick that up. Oh, my bicycle's way over here now? My bicycle keeps teleporting around. It's freaking crazy bugs. Yeah, anyway, this is uh, my first playthrough in Alpha 20.1. That just came out yesterday for me. It is Wednesday, uh, but this will air on Saturday. So it's been out for a couple days for you guys probably. Oh, go ahead and kill yourself on those spikes. I'll harvest you up later. Extra sugar butt. Yeah, so anyway, there was a whole bunch of... Oh, we'll get a job too while we're here. Mmm... Oh man, I don't like any of these jobs. I've checked them all. Apartments at night. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna take that. And so I saw in the patch notes that they upgraded a whole bunch of POIs and it's unfortunate because I don't think that's gonna affect me because I generated this way back in like Alpha 20 Experimental. So um, we're gonna be a little bit behind the times here, unfortunately. Wow, Grandpa's awesome sauce. Actually, real quickly, let's just eat that sugar butt so I can sell off and make some money. Okay, so technically at this point I have enough to buy the awesome sauce. The question is, is it going to be worth it or should I save it for a couple of days and maybe do it during the next sell-off? Maybe I should just figure out if there's anything here that I really want to buy and then we'll go from there. Yeah, I mean, not really. He's got a better machete, but nothing dramatic really. I will just check his other secret stash real quickly, make sure there's nothing in there that's important. Ooh, compound crossbow. Not particularly expensive either. Yeah, oh, the first aid bandage schematic. That would be nice to have. Got an automatic weapons handbook, more ammunition in loot. Okay, he does have some things that I do want to buy. So what I think I'll do, put on the nerdy glasses. I will buy the awesome sauce. I will drink the awesome sauce. With my nerdy glasses on so I get the extra XP, I will then sell off everything that I have that I can, that I want to sell. Ooh, got a level up too, I gotta check that. That means I have two skill points and we'll just sell that. Yeah, no big deal. Want some cloth? Here, have that. And then what I wanted to buy there, do I want this lead in loot? No, do I want that spear hunter? Definitely not. Ooh, okay, so machete is gonna be almost 3,000. That wouldn't be too bad to have. Time for the other secret stash. That's the one that had all the good stuff that I wanted in it. First aid bandage schematic, boom, get that. Compound crossbow, sure, I'll take that. That's a good lucky looter book. More ammunition and loot, I'll take that. I do want this automatic weapons handbook. That's gonna be automatic weapons do 10% more damage. Kind of a no brainer there. 10% more damage to safes or actually I could sell him my old crossbow at this point. Yeah, or I could get that quality three machete that he had in his other inventory. Uh, decisions, decisions. I think I'll just take that book and uh, I'm all set with the machete. I I'm confident that we'll find one here eventually. The knowledge is kind of important to me right now and at my luck, especially lately, I don't have any lockpicks at all. I need to go make some, but the extra damage to safes is really important. Oh, look at this, free food, nice. Okay, let's go hunt down that airdrop. And while I'm at it, before this breaks my game, just give me that bicycle. We'll do a bit of a drive-by on these apartments here. This is the restore power quest that I just took. Okay, it doesn't look too crazy, quite honestly. Um, do you think there's like a basement portion? Or are we... Is it not actually that big? It doesn't look that big. Oh, that freaking cat. Uh-oh. Oh, why am I doing this? Ah! Ah! Okay, I'm leaving. Jeez, I'm not sure if we should do that tonight or if we should focus on building tonight. Maybe do that tomorrow night. All right, well, this is like the area where I had the map marker. I don't see any of the, like the orange smoke trail that comes off of it. But then again, I am notoriously bad at marking these things. Well, I've checked like around in the downtown city area. Oh wow, look at this, like a construction site down here. Ooh, watch yourself in there. Probably full of zombies. Yep, I can see a couple of them. <gasps> oh my god, it's Bob's Boars! Oh man, that is so good to know. Let's save this waypoint here. Bob's. 
I'll know what that is. Oh, geez, bears everywhere here, too. Oh, man, that is a good find. The super corn is in there, as well as a whole bunch of meat. Damn it. Take it out on this cat. Eat that. Aha, I found it. It's on the top of the eye candy factory. Oh, great. Well, we're here now. We might as well go up there and get it. Never been here before. Um, is this like a remnant POI or is this a questable POI? Definitely has like remnant vibes to me. Ah, cat. Oh, shit. Run. Ah, where do I run to? Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Um, out here onto the ladder. Oh, jeez, I'm just running right up to the top of the building. Okay. Oh, jeez. I can he hear the cat down there somewhere. Yeah, definitely a remnant. I don't see any zombies here at all. Whoa. I found some. I don't have any crossbow bolts, though, so we'll just do this. Oh, look, it's landed right next to, like, the main loot here. Well, lucky goggles on, I guess. Ah, 50 lockpicks. Not too bad, I guess. Now, overall, not what I was hoping for, but better than nothing at all, I guess. It's hard to complain about airdrops when they just literally fall out of the sky. Okay, quickly to the bike. Cat is lurking around in here somewhere. Oh, I'm going to check that working stiff tool truck while I'm right here. Art of mining book that I've already read and some frames. Aha! I found you. Eat that! All right, let's head back home and get back to work. Oh, geez, all kinds of company here. I wonder if these are just downtown zombies or if this is some kind of a horde. Man, he, he's moving real fast, though. I don't like that. Get back. Ow! Oh, crap! Guess we can take one of those painkillers I just found. Right, one more businessman. Nice. Oh, God, I ran right into that, didn't I? Right, might as well get this looking ship shape and better than what it looks like right now, I guess. Right, so let me get upstairs and put some stuff away. We'll actually just get the bike in the correct position. So, uh, nerdy glasses back on. Read these couple of books. That's going to be more ammunition and loot. That's 20% more. Whenever you see one of those wasteland treasure books and it's like, find more something and loot, it's 20% more. This will be automatic weapons doing more damage, and that is more damage to safes. And first aid bandage schematic, which is important because I was trying to make first aid bandages the other day and I discovered that I could not do it. That was some other playthrough that I'm doing. So, oh, did I sell all of my cloth or no, I had a whole stack. I knew I did. So we'll just craft up all the first aid bandages. Give me those crossbow bolts. Need those. New crossbow. Very nice. I don't need that stone bolt, though. There we go. Ooh, nice. All right, I gathered up some more materials. I think we're looking good here. I don't really need to smelt anything right now. And uh, yes, glue and gunpowder. Okay, we'll work on that stuff later on tonight. While it's still daylight, I want to get some more work done down here. All right, let's work on the ramp. I want that to look better than it does right now. Oh boy. Uh, is that a feral? Of course it is. Yeah, get back. Ah! Oh, I missed. Oh god. I'm hungry anyway. Eat that hobo stew. Okay, so I want to, at, at least in, in some parts of the base, like, preserve the the natural feel of it, like these pipes and stuff. Like, I don't want to really destroy these. So, but I don't want this one to be where it is. So I'm basically going to move it. And by move it, I just mean, like, I'm going to copy the shapes. Just give me all these frames here. Just, this is probably going to collapse, isn't it? Oh, great. I can't wait for that to happen. <laughs> At least it'll be funny. Yes, yes, yes. So now I can copy this shape. Oh, I just want to copy the rotation on that as well. There we go. Copy the rotation on this one. Okay, it's uh, sort of coming together there. It's going to look pretty nice, I think. This is going to be like just the, the central pillar that goes all the way up to the top. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, great. We're going to have to rebuild that. And ho hopefully that might give it a little bit more integrity so that I can kind of jump up here now and take that out. Okay, can I take that out? Yes. 
Yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it right there. Perfect. And as for the ramps, I just, what I want to do is, um, just put some, like, upside down ramps, like, so. Just to give it kind of, like, a nice smooth appearance. Oh. Oh, just a wolf. I don't know what he's doing, but it's, like, beating on a wall over there. Leave him to it. Aha! Oh, lucky goggles on. Gotta get back in the habit of that now. <laughs> nice. Now, I have concerns about this wolf over here, and I'm actually just more so itching to use my new crossbow. Where'd he go? Oh, he's just going after Mo over here. Is that a dire wolf or a regular wolf? Oh, boy. Oh, I didn't get a sneak attack. Apparently, he knows I'm right here. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> I got the XP for the, all the wolves worked. There, got that all fixed up. Good, good, good. Oh, and I'm, I just was like thinking, I'm, am I about to level up or not? I'm not, but I do have two skill points and I do want to spend those. I already know what I want to do. I want to go agility and gunslinger. And that way, probably tonight, I want to get the SMG crafted. It's definitely time, especially if we're going to do that friggin' restore power quest. Another Arlene? Oh no, it's a, just a friggin' fast nurse. Holy crap. Get out of here. Alright, so that's pretty good. We're not like 100% here yet. We'll continue working on this a little bit later on. But that is the gist of like this part here. I do need to actually knock out a couple of these because I want to put the, um, the round blocks in. There we go. Now, I do realize that these are not the best blocks to be using for this. I think probably the best block is these um, security grates because you can't shoot them and therefore you can't do friendly fire damage on them. What is this over here? And they're so skinny that you kind of fall right off. It's a wandering horde, like for sure. They're just like running on through trying to kill that wolf. And it's almost nightfall, so they're going to be right over here really quickly. Let's go ahead and close that preemptively. We don't want a spider jump on us like they did last night. <laughs> and just uh, for the last couple hours today, I'm going to do just a little bit of remodeling. It's not completely necessary to do this, but I, I want to do it anyway just for aesthetics. I need to knock a couple of these blocks out. Okay, here they come. Oh boy, I actually didn't even get these upgraded. Let's uh, maybe work on that real quick. Ow. Oh, jeez. Yep, they, uh, everybody likes to crawl up in there now. Uh-oh. I had not intended for everyone to do that. You guys are supposed to only be able to crawl through 1.5 meter blocks. This is a one meter block space. Oh boy, now they're all trapped inside. I don't actually like that. I need to put the bumper back on. Yeah, because then they just get up in there and it's really difficult to melee them, so I do not like that. That's why we don't do all of the work on Horde Day, because we have time to make corrections and get things fixed and make sure that we don't make critical mistakes. Oh man, zombies everywhere now. Okay, Spider, he's the one that's supposed to come up inside, and then he doesn't even want to do it. He wants to stay way out there and like hit hit the top bumper you are an idiot and my gun's not loaded so look who's talking just heading topside for just a minute need some food and water stuff like that and it's officially time to get that smg crafted there it is level four unfortunately not a level five but that would require quite a few more skill points so i'd rather get it sooner rather than later all right back downstairs i think someone is up here oh marlene I left the door open for you and everything, and you're just content to just hang out outside, I guess. Well, I don't have all day to wait for her to get back up here, so I'm just gonna continue working. Oh, she's back. So the reason I'm knocking that block out there is so that I can put one here, and I want to put another one here, but there's these really small blocks here that are in the way. Damn, crossbow is like a really viable weapon. See, pizza fell down there, and he, I think, went into, like, kill everything mode. Don't do that. Oh, man. We are busy tonight, aren't we? Yeah, see, this is, this is part of the issue here. I don't know why they do this. This is just bad fun pimps. Fun pimps, you, you guys are being bad. Stop doing that. 
Okay, so I just want to like square that off like this. Whoops, lost a frame there. No big deal. Ah, there we go. Man, that's taking a while. We need the auger real bad, don't we? Okay, now we can use some of the fancy new shapes that we have access to. And if I go into catwalks, I think it is. And then uh, I want... Is it this one? I think I do want this one to go on this side. And then this one there. And I don't think I can squeeze through here. I can't. And then just like one of these end pieces for the side here and there. That looks pretty good. It's like pretty much seamless. And that way I don't have um, much of an avenue to kind of fall off the back or, or whatever. So then, so we'll fight here, we'll fight here. And then when we're ready, we'll fall back here. In fact, I might even put like a little, let's try this. Yeah, I'll put a little hatch like that. So that way I can just like kind of door myself in here and we can fight. We will knock this block out here eventually and put a trap door. We'll put bulletproof glass on these five blocks. And then when the position fails, if it fails, oh, hello. Ah, cop, no. Uh, yeah, so yeah, if it fails, um, basically that's kind of one of the reasons I went with this block. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I know it's not the best block. I did use this block for the corridor when I was doing the the last act series, which is the last series I did in Alpha 19. And it works. It's not the best block, but I don't want to put the best block out here because quite honestly, the position might never fail at that point until demos show up. So... I want to give the zombies a little bit of a fighting chance. And remember, we're not doing repairs on Horde Knight either. That's how confident I am in this position. So yeah, when that fails, we'll fall right back to this position. And if this one fails, we'll fall back to this one. Oh boy, more zombies. And the spiders are the stupid ones that just like to hang out way out there. Man, my idea did not work at all, did it? So as for these things over here, so what I'm going to do once I get the auger is I'll knock these blocks out so there'll be like a door here and a door here and you'll be able to walk the whole length just through these. But because I think zombies will actually like go over here, jump up here and then jump down here and they might try to beat through this to get around and get to me on the other side. What I'll end up doing is taking these blocks out and I'll end up putting like a hatch down right there that I can open up and then that way it'll be like a little bit of a drawbridge. Would you get out of here? Ah, all right, so I'm just gonna get things organized for tomorrow. We're gonna just be doing some exploring and we'll do the restore power quest tomorrow night and then it'll be Horde Night the next night after that. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day 20. As I was looking for a spot to do the intro, I fell down here and sprained my leg, so that's going to be a thing that we have to deal with for a little while. Uh, fortunately, I do have some steroids. I can just head up here and get some real quick. And steroids. There we go. Do we need food or water or anything? No, I actually ate probably last night before I signed off. Let's get the inventory locked up here. And the plan for today is we're going to do some chill base building again and just work around here. And then we'll go do the night restore power quest over at the apartments. And then we'll probably have a kind of a short day tomorrow before we get ready for the horde. But we have a ton of work yet to be done here. We've got the trench to dig. We've got to finalize the fighting position and make some adjustments because the adjustments we made the last time were bad. So we got to fix that. And there's some crafting that I have to do. So, oh, and the first thing I do have to show you is that I did craft up the SMG last night and I went to Patreon to select a name for it. So the winner is Future Me. Can you get a drum roll going, please? Yep, yep, I got you. All right, thank you very much. The winner is Fisher Girl. So it's going to be the Fisher Girl SMG. And the first thing we probably need to do is get a reflex sight. I believe I do have the schematic for that. I should probably double check before I say these things. Yes, I do. So let's get this crafted among other things. 
All right, first item on the agenda, reflex sight, done. Now we need a off-road headlights mod for the motorcycle. That might be good, because I'll just kind of like park the bicycle, or the motorcycle tonight, and like orient it so the light is shining in the building. That might help us out a little bit. We get some murky water brewing. And I want to get a generator crafted and some farm plots for the garden. And then see if I can get some paint rolling over here. And now that the reflex site is done, I can get some pipe bombs going for Horde Knight. 43? Sure. All right, let's get all this stuff organized now. Actually, real quick before I forget about it, let's grab that stun baton. I think I have, yep, level 3. And I don't know. Can I, like, put a bunker buster mod on that? Is that a thing? It apparently is, and then I'll put the Repulsor mod on it as well. A little bit of extra damage there. And we'll be using that and the Nerd Tats, of which I have four. Nice. During the Horde Night coming up. Okay, now it's a matter of getting the mods oriented correctly. I'm going to take the Silencer off of the 44 Magnum. Also, probably going to take the Laser Sight off. I'll leave the... Rad remover on. Um, what are we going to do here? So I want the silencer to be on the SMG because I'm going to roll basically primarily with that tonight. And I'm going to bring a whole bunch of 9 mil. And we'll put the reflex sight on there as well, which means for the 44 Magnum, I guess we can just pick one or the other. I'll take the reflex sight, I guess. And I don't think I have any other mods I could put on that. No, no, no. We'll, we'll find another one at some point, hopefully tonight. All right, remember to get these reloaded. Ooh, looking good now. And I wanted to grab the money real quick today and just make a quick trip over to the vending machine, which is, um, there's a working vending machine in that Shotgun Messiah. And I want to start checking that on a regular basis. It's the only one I know of in the local area. It'd be nice if we could start stocking up on some of the uh, candies a little bit more, because we're going to be using a whole bunch on uh, Horde Night tonight. we got a whole bunch of zombies here. Are these just regular downtown zombies? Well, I am kind of itching for a fight, so let's do this. Not the bike! Get away from that stuff! Alright, let's give it a whirl. Nice! Yep, love it. Fisher Girl SMG is my new best friend. So I think what I can do is just uh, put a quick ladder up here to this, because the... Uh, I think it's on the second floor or the third floor, the the vending machine. It's in like the, the where, where all the businessmen were. Um, is this... that doesn't look familiar. I think it was one more level. Is it up here? And I don't think anyone has respawned at this point. Oh, can I get some free water out of this? Some murky water, I'll take that. Anything hiding up here? I think I kind of blew right through here before. I was, uh, oh, here it is, eager to get the main loot. Some nerd tats, some skull crushers. It's a good combination right there. And um, I don't know, do I need chicken or coffee or anything? Probably not. Good, good, good. So we can uh, come and do this on a semi-regular basis at least. No, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Is there anything? I get suspicious vibes from this right here. Oh, just a piece of trash. Uh, some wood, no big deal. Oh, more zombies. Oh, one shot. Nice. Good deal. Oh, a spider. i just plow through him real quick. Whoa. Ow. That was a feral one right there. Come on out here. Get what's coming to you. Whoops. Uh-oh. No. Ow. Oh, is he a feral or what? He's taken a couple shots so far. Nope. I guess I'm just a terrible shot. I wouldn't mind getting like a 2x scope on that. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, how are we looking in here? Oh, wow. All kinds of stuff is done. All right. Give me all that stuff. As for the garden plots, um, I think I want to keep it kind of close to the base here. And I was hoping I could put it on the roof. Oh, but of course, these um, plates have like... Whoops. Uh oh. Ugh. Ah, okay. Careful now. <laughs> These plates are um, oriented, so I can't do that. So maybe I'll just, like, replace the roof with them. And how many? I have 12. Uh, I could do, like, a 4 by 3 garden plot. I think that's plenty, actually. Good enough there. Making a mess, as usual. And I think I just pop these in just like this. Ah, very nice. As for that generator, I'm just going to kind of plop it down like right here for now. I don't 
think I'm going to get anything wired up for tonight, but for the future, we're going to need it. Kind of what my, I'll just share my idea with you. I kind of want to put like a control room here with like all the switches and stuff. And then we'll have um, electric wire relays that come out and then kind of like some conduit that or like the wiring kind of run along the pipes and then down into the silos. And then we'll have like traps and uh, fences and things that are in the silos. And it should make for a pretty clean appearance to the base. Okay, before I forget, I'm going to drop that headlight mod onto the bike. There we go. Okay, I have a little bit of construction material with me. I think we can head down safely now. Yep, sprained leg is healed. And we've got to make some final adjustments to the platform here. First things first, I'm going to knock out pretty much the whole base of it. All right, now I'm going to just play around with the shapes a little bit. Uh, the, the one I want here, I think, is the wedge tip 60 or the wedge 60. That's because I'll show you in just a minute. If I orient it just like that, and then instead of the bulletproof glass that I was wanting to put here, I'm gonna put these security gates. And these are like my favorite new block. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to make these in Alpha 19 so bad, but it just wasn't available. So that will do it right there. Can I make a shutter? Yep, we'll get one of those crafted. Probably should make an iron one a little bit later on. And uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I want the shutter to be back here just a little bit let's uh grab this now in case you're not familiar you can orient these so that they open up or open down i think what i want to do is make them open down because uh let's just try it yep that's correct right there now i need, just need to do a little bit of fanciness because um i want to be able to not fall through here because uh you know murphy's law whatever can go wrong will go wrong especially in my case oh geez just random cop here get him eat that oh it's like a whole horde of them oh one of them blew up great you're gonna be damaging all my snow Oh, Thomas, brutal fall there. All right, uh, as I'm levitating here on top of this block, uh, what I think I can do here... Oh, I don't want to um, cause a collapse. I, th I think I'm good. Ugh, now that I think about it, though... No, everything should be good because everything should draw support from the, the, the shelf and the bumper and all that stuff. So I need to find some blocks here that will allow me to safely kind of fall down through here. What about this like little L-shaped like pole corner? And then if I get a centered pole on face and rotate it like that, is that gonna be, that kind of looks good. Like a little birdie perch here. Whoa, I, that was risky. I Fortunately, I did make it. Yeah, okay, so I can't fall off left to right. And I, I can't fall off front to back. If I probably crouch, I, yeah, I could. I could actually like jump down there if I wanted to, but that's going to be good, and it's not going to interfere too much if I had a throwable. Uh, maybe a Molotov would be a little bit dicey, but we'll test it out before we commit to it. All right, I need to get the hammer. Let's see here. Mm, I do want to make some more modifications before I really commit to things. Uh, this front portion here. So I think what I want to do is this so that they, they can... Whoop, who's that? Ow! Damn it, Bo! No! I think I, I definitely do want to get the bumper back up. Oh, let me just upgrade these real quick so I know it's nice and stable. Yeah, put the bumper back. Uh, that, that was not going to work. Bad move. Luckily, I did that ahead of time. I think for the next fighting position back there, I'm going to make some modifications and see if we can kind of streamline this fighting position a little bit better. Because if I, like... Um, I'll kind of just do it back here real quick, just for, like, proof of concept. I'll knock this out real quick. So if I knock that out, and it's difficult to see right now, but what I need to do is I need to copy this shape. This shape in the middle is, um, crap, what is that called? The scaffolding plank. Now, the one on the top is oriented like... Oh, it's, it's hard to see right now. The one on the top is oriented the opposite of what you see here, so that... There's like a little like divot or a shelf kind of like a depression there. But I was thinking if I 
if I get it oriented like this, basically the opposite orientation upside down and put it down like that, then I don't need to have the grate or a gate or any like bars or anything because zombies wouldn't be able to squish through that. I also wouldn't be able to upgrade that block unless I kind of broke some things. Um, might want to do that at some point. Yeah, so even though the zombies can like glitch kind of and, and get through a one meter gap, this is technically like not a gap. This is a flush like block, block, block. And then you've got the hatch up there. So they can't squish through there. That's why we do it on the top. So they can't squish under the hatch and get to us. So I think that'll work pretty good. We'll uh, probably find out tomorrow night. As for this over here, as soon as I get the auger, I'm going to push these blocks kind of like into... So it's like flush into the silos. I'll knock out some of the silo blocks. But um, there must be... Is it the beveled corner? Something to just make it easier on the eyes and uh, I think that'll do and my idea is to kind of like have I'll kind of jump up here and show you have like a place where we can come up here and ooh, I like this up here and maybe put like a security plate up here on the front like so and have just like a like a little balcony here and maybe even put like a shotgun turret right here to shoot at the backs of zombies if we had to fall back to the next position. And then maybe in the middle position, we'll put like two shotgun turrets or something so that, you know, as we fall back, we have more and more support from our base. Okay, um, one last thing. Wouldn't be a base if I didn't have some spikes on it. Aha, there we go. All right, more spikes. There we go, loving it. Oh, this one here is going to be a little bit messed up, but I think it'll actually kind of look cool and like rustic, kind of worn. There we go. Okay, let's get, um, I think everything can be upgraded at this point. I'm pretty satisfied that this is going to be like the semi-permanent layout here. So let's get to work. There we go, nice. That's pretty much the extent to which I want to upgrade it right now. I will actually spend a couple of moments getting this kind of fixed up so that, you know, zombies don't get stuck on the edge quite so much. Just like that, get this all upgraded. Oh, that's almost broken. See, that's why we put this little, like, corner ramp on it. Uh-oh, feral white. Oh, I should have put that in his knee, shouldn't I? Oh, jeez. Ah, knee shot, I think. Probably not, I think I missed. Ah, run! Oh, no stamina! Uh-oh. Ah, ha <laughs> he bled out. Zombies fighting a wolf in that building there. Man, that is a busy building. And we are all set on upgrades now. Oh, it's just a regular dog. Why is the zombie fighting a zombie dog? That is curious. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Like, th they usually fight the wolves and stuff because the wolves are not zombies, but that stripper does not like that dog. Well, I'll take the stripper out, and then I'll take the XP off that dog, too. Nice. All right, well, we've made some substantial progress today. Is there anything really else that I need to do? I should probably get this kind of upgraded at least just a little bit not sure that i anticipate doing a whole lot of work here but 
actually, if I get on the other side, uh, I should be able to reach these bottom plates here. I think I'll just upgrade these to wood, maybe cobble in the middle, and then cobble in the middle here. And then I'll just leave the bottom bumper off of the back so that we can upgrade that further later on if we elect to do so. And I'll get these upgraded to cobble here, and then I'm at a cobble. It's okay, I gotta go get some forged iron anyway so I can upgrade our little uh, shutter door there. All right, forged iron, wow, we're like super low on that. Maybe get the forge rolling and get all of the forged iron that I can out of it. And then I should be able to make an iron shutter right in the inventory. That's going to take a minute, though. And I'll just get an iron hatch while I'm at it for the fallback position right here. So I think I need to take these up just for now. I mean, whoops, I tried to get that torch there because it, it's not doing anything until I get an auger and I can actually knock these blocks out. I'm not going to probably spend the time doing it until there's a reason to go inside there. Um, we'll just rely on kind of falling back the, the same way that the zombies would. We do need to get some extra lighting around here, though. That'll do for now, but we're going to need more for tomorrow night. Just because I'm going to be shooting in this direction here, might as well get these upgraded just a little bit. Um, how are we doing on concrete mix? Not terribly. We do need wood. Let's go chop down some trees. All right, I like having lots of visibility around my base, so I'm going to just plant these trees over here. All right, here's the big test right here. Oh, I forgot to upgrade these. Oh, that means I have to go get some damn cobble. Crap. No matter, I have all kinds of it. Okay, I think that's gonna do really, really well right there. Now, we have a little bit of time left in the day. Uh, we have to wait until 2200 until we can start the quest. I was, I really wanted to get the trench started and, I, and tomorrow feels like it would be too late to get a big project like that going so we might just have to suffer with no trench and really no utility for this uh the glory hole here uh until next horde hello pizza breaking my stuff i just built this crap damn it yeah, because, like, building the trench is a really involved process, and I'm, I'm gonna have to think it out quite a bit before we... Why is that chicken there? He, that chicken has been there all damn day. Oh, god damn, man. Cops. Whoa, look out. Oh, jeez. Watch where you're spitting that crap. No! Ow! Oh, you bitch! Oh, no! Why am I going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a cop? Bad idea, bad idea. He's gonna blow. No. I wonder if, I, can I jump in there? Am I gonna sprain my leg doing this? Probably. Oh, nope, we made it. Yeah, so instead of uh, doing the trench thing today, I'm going to get geared up for the big fight over at the apartment complex. All right, for this ordeal, it is gonna be weapons and ammo only. All right, I think that'll do it. I've brought everything that I can think of to bring. Plenty of first aid, gonna bring the fort bites, some steroids, we'll have a sham chowder before we go inside for that sweet 30 max stamina bonus for 10 minutes. That should give us plenty of time to clear the place out. I got some Molotovs, we got the weapons, uh, we've got the crossbow in case we can perhaps potentially get a sneak kill or two. Probably not with Feral Sense on tonight. I think we're good to go. Uh, I don't need to repair the fire axe. It's almost broken, but should be fine. We'll get a kind of a head start over there. Oh, it's Feral Thomas already. Just kill him. Where'd he go? Thomas, where, where, where did you go? Why did you go over there? Eat that. Okay, I'm gonna preemptively grab an eye candy. Inventory is all locked up, so I can just dump stuff quickly if I have to. All right, we're off. Here we are, and it just ticked nightfall as well. All right, what do we think here? We should park here, probably? Yep, the quest is right there. Hello there. Uh-oh. Ow, bad start already. 
God damn, they're fast. Oh God, there's zombies are everywhere already and I'm fatigued. Here we go. Might as well just let off some magnum rounds. Get everyone's attention. I don't want anyone sneaking up on me tonight. All right, run and gun, save me. I'm infected. Ah. ah. Oh God. Oh no. Holy crap. Run. Take a main killer. Take a first aid kit. Get the fucking Molotovs. Ow. I'm bleeding. Another first aid kit. Ah. Put the bullets in the gun. Oh, where did you guys come from? Yikes. Oh boy. Just run. Run. Oh, loot bags. Nice. Arlene lost her fucking head. Perfect. Whoa, dire wolf coming! Just get the dire wolf. Just get the dire wolf. Get, 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 get. No, nope, 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 nope. Run! Oh, jump inside the POI. Uh, just activate it. Why not? I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna go on top of this friggin' uh wall here. Get back! Perfect chance for a Molotov. Out. Eat that! Whoa! Cole, where the hell did you come from? Ah! Oh my god, what a fucking massacre! This is crazy! All right, all is quiet. I'll save the loot bags for when we potentially eat the eye candy and get to the main loot. We're not too bad. Of course, like the, the only first aid items that I really need, I didn't bring, <laughs> that is vitamins and antibiotics. Let's take the steroids, drink some water. Let's take a fort bite. Should have taken that a minute ago, really. That's only good for two minutes. Uh, let's just take some more, why not? And um, are we good on water? Cause all these like, buffs are gonna kind of sap my hydration let's just drink another all right holy cow man let's go guns are reloaded i do have the extra flashlight here on the crossbow might as well roll with that any good water in here some murky water i'll take it okay so this is where the quest wanted me to go close that door not here to dig up pallets of cobblestone that's for damn sure whoa hello We'll roll as quietly as we possibly can. Yeah, I'm not here to scrap cooking grills or check cabinets. I'm here to do a mission. Oh, who's this? I'm not gonna mess around with this guy. He's too strong. Ow. Ah! Ow! Get out of here! Vitamins? Bandages. Crap. Oh, hello. Oh, he's a feral. Eat that. I take it that's not the way they want you to go. Okay. I'll play by the rules. Oh, no. Ah. Night Stalker book I've already read. Oh, boy. Oh, out of the ceiling. Crap. Close that door. Oh, I keep swinging over his head. There we go. As for you, air to the knee. Ah. Eat that. Okay, uh, I don't know where these zombies are gonna come from. I do have to clear the area, so hopefully they, they don't get too, like, distracted and wander off too far. Okay, here they are. Man, those fort bites are awesome. Too bad they wear off so fast, though. Damn. Uh, there's a first aid bandage. I'll slap that on and a plaster cast in case I break something tonight. And an acid out of that. Nice. Great heist book. Use no stamina while sneak sprinting. Don't mind if I do. Or don't, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Yep. Hello. Haha! -ha! Two skill points to spend. I'm going to spend those in just a minute here. Give me that arrow back. Okay, do I go down here or... Okay, we got a mo power thing. I think we're secured just for the moment. 
I think I just want to put those points into intellect because I would like to continue going into better barter a little bit more. If I can get better barter level four, that'll give me a better chance of finding the crucible in the secret stash. So we'll take one point into intellect and that's all I can do right now. I could do the daring adventurer right now though. That'll give me three additional choices for quest rewards and 15% more dukes. I think that's worth it. And then when we get a whole bunch of points at Horde Knight, we'll just like sink them all into intellect and better barter and stuff like that. There's a screamer outside somewhere. Oh, wow. This is a good one. Dart trap schematic, robot headlamp mod schematic. Probably the worst, but I'm going to take it anyway. Okay, otherwise, I, I think this was just like a distraction down here. Oh, what is this? Uh, bellow schematic. I can sell that. And this is all one unit. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to... That was just like some side loot there. I think I'm supposed to go up. Okay, here we go. Just uh, <laughs> light... I'm sneaking with the lights on. I don't think that's doing any good for me. Hello. Oh, I don't think my fort bites are working anymore. Ah, lucky blueberry pie. Nice. Hey, look at that. Extra steroids. Okay, we're getting to the point where I might be able to get a shot on this screamer out here. I think she's actually in that compound over there? Yeah. I can't see her, though. I don't think she's a big threat. She's, like, way over there behind a concrete wall. We're good. Aha, there's the vitamins I needed right there. Nice. Uh-oh. Arrow to your knee. Oh, chopped Steve's head off. Ah, oh, this is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Yep, very bad. Guns. Or, yeah, just get the guns out. Holy crap. I'm trying to switch, but I couldn't do it. Time for that sham chowder. Give me that 80 health back. That gives me a good stamina bonus too for running away. And uh, I only brought the one eye candy. Do you think, I'm not gonna, no, no, no. What I'm gonna do is put the lucky goggles on. I'll check this, cause I, I'm not gonna remember to come back down here. Painkiller, eat that. Okay, we're back out here. I probably could have just eaten the eye candy, but I don't wanna risk it, cause I, I'm not familiar with this POI. I don't know how close or far I am, or if I'm gonna have to like, completely run away and abandon the quest or what she screamed why did she scream are you kidding me oh that's gonna make a real mess downstairs whoa oh boy there's a, a false floor here okay i guess we're heading back in here now okay tensions are high now i can hear a ton of zombies downstairs Hopefully she didn't call in, like, multiple other screamers. Ah, stamina! Who's in here? Who's in there? More strippers, man. Eat that food real quick. Ah, more zombies rolling in. Okay, we're heading to the rooftop now, it seems. Let's just go guns. There's gotta be a big boss fight here, right? Um, it seems quiet. But there's a big help sign, so that's probably a bad sign. Where are the zombies? Oh, there's um four or five over there and two over here. Okay, let's dance! Get back! Ah! Okay. Uh, that wasn't too bad, actually. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, there's all kinds of loot. Oh, the, the, lots of zombies are inside downstairs. Okay, and the, the lag is actually kind of bad. So there's probably a ton of zombies. Let's eat the... Um, let's not eat the eye candy. We gotta unlock this freaking chest first. Ah! Whoa! They all made it up here! Not cool, man! Ah! Holy cow! What is this shit?! The screamers up here! Oh no, 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 no. Lots of screamers. Lots and lots of zombies too. Oh boy. Explosive barrel! Take that! No, stop screaming! Ow! Mo! Ow! Oh, 
Another screamer! Get her! Holy cow! It's it's really bad! Ow! Take a fucking painkiller and slug down this water! I can't- I'm not hurt. Oh, no, water! <laughs> Clicking the buttons too fast. My gun's almost broken! Yeah! Oh boy! Oh, I should have brought some dynamite so I could knock the frickin' stairwell out. Here, knock this out. Maybe this will help. Okay, maybe? Yeah, what is this frickin' like little frame here? Knock this out as well. Okay, and plug this fucking hole up if I can. Is that gonna help? I hope so. Alright, over here. Unlock the chest. Unlock it! Alright, that's unlocked. Oh, I forgot about the generator, so let's uh, hit that real quick. Oh, jeez, it just ticked morning, and I thought for a minute I was gonna fail the quest, but yeah, fortunately, these are not time-sensitive. Okay, good, and I can hit that switch. I don't know what that did, but let's eat the eye candy. My lucky goggles have been on for, like, the last hour. Oh, boy. <laughs> Whoa, okay, treasure map, lockpicks, uh, some gloves. Let's um, take a steroid so that we can unlock the backpack. Make sure I don't forget any loot or destroy any loot. Okay, we'll get this chest here. Got another tech junkie book. Uh, robots and stun batons degrade slower. Take everything else. Check this. Murky water. Good enough. Check this. Another murky water. What a surprise. Loot bag. Remember, we have a couple more of those on the ground level as well. A couple extra bullets. Anything good in this ammo pile? Would like another mod to put on one of my guns, but not the burst mod. That's a pr probably the worst one. A couple good crates here, though. Urban combat. Crafting cigars. Oh, there's the dynamite I was looking for just a second ago. Do I need buckshot? I'll take it. I'm already stacking it in the inventory. And a dog food. And I believe... Um, is this the way out here? Or, oh, what's this? Okay, that's, um, a way out, I guess. Down here. Check this little cupboard here. Um, I don't have any room in the inventory. Get rid of that. Take the sunglasses. Okay, we've still got screamers and lots of zombies. However, Feral Sense is off. I'm just gonna head to the bike real quick, open the storage, drop everything in, turn around, kill this guy. Check this loot bag, uh, nothing great. Check this one, and nothing really. I can grab up these chairs for just that little bit of extra iron and get the fuck out of here. Holy cow, man. I'd like to know how many zombies I killed in that POI right there. How many zombies have I killed, period? 1290, and I'm game stage 68 right now. While I'm at it, I might as well just check the loot stage. That is 122, let's put the, oh. Oh yeah, of course, it changes when I take the, the lucky goggles off. All right, I'm gonna head home, get myself all patched up, and get ready for day 21. Tonight is Horde Night. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it later on in the morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day 21. And tonight is the day we've all been waiting for. It'll be our first day in this base fighting a horde. We will christen this base and give it a good name afterwards, depending on our performance. You can't name something before the big event, so we'll wait and see how it goes. For today, though, the first thing I wanted to get started with was making some lanterns. I think I have all the materials to make at least a couple of those. Four, that will be perfect. Give me the pipe bombs, put those away. I have this treasure map here. We might as well read that now that we're home. 
and take a look at the map here. Um, oh, right over there. That's actually really good. So we'll go over, we'll turn our quest in, get our reward. We'll do some mining over here because I need more gunpowder and I also need more lead so we can smelt that into bullet tips a little bit later. We'll grab up that treasure and we'll see what's left for time after that. I don't really think it's time to do a big sell off. We'll do that on trader day. Let's just put the rest of our material away. Get the inventory locked up. Am I hungry or thirsty? Not particularly. I am infected, but I think that's kind of wearing off. I took antibiotics last night. What's going on in here? We got some paint. I don't think we're going to have time to paint the base up. It'll just be a plain old generic looking base for today. And then we'll get it all painted up next time. We'll have the lanterns a little bit later. We need stone. That's probably the big material that we're lacking right now. I probably could and should scrap some of this cobblestone down. I don't think we're ever going to need that much of it, but um, it would just hurt me to kind of do it. <laughs> so we'll just uh, make stone collection a priority for today. And we might as well just bring, uh, I shouldn't bring any coffee, or, or should I? I probably should bring the coffee because it just gives us a stamina boost, but we're not going to get the harvesting bo bonus with that. And I'll bring a couple of rock busters as well. And uh, probably should just, um, I was thinking bring some food, but I guess we'll just eat the boiled meat if we have to. All right, let's hit the road. The other thing is, is that um, I believe we're pretty low on gas. Let me uh, check the inventory in here. Yeah, only like less than 800 left plus a full tank right now, so we're either going to have to start wrenching cars again or we're going to have to strike off tomorrow to find the desert biome and do some oil shale collection. Oh, big bear there. Look out for him. Take a wide berth. I actually wouldn't mind aggroing him while we're inside here. Uh, that way he can kill himself on the spikes while we're waiting. At least I hope that's how it's going to work. Yeah, okay, he's on the spikes, and he's on the spikes. I'll take the XP off of this guy, though. And I'll be back for you a little bit later. Please don't jump over that fence. It kind of looks like you're trying to do that. That would be bad. All right, don't have the money with me, so I'll get my reward first. I'll actually put the lucky goggles on, because some of the loot that you can get as a reward is a loot stage dependent. And wow, we've got a quality 5 compound bow there. That is uh, by far the best item that he's offering, in my opinion, anyway. So, yep, we'll take that. We can use that during Horde Night and uh, might as well take another job here. What do you got? <laughs> We're taking a break from the Restore Power. I think that's uh, justifiable. I don't want to do the clothing store again. Okay, he does have this Tier 4 at Downtown Strip 7, and I don't recognize that one. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, that's over close to home. Well, that's interesting. Okay, we can do that perhaps tomorrow. I don't know about today. We're, we have a lot of other stuff on the agenda. And just checking his inventory real quick. I don't think there was anything that I needed to buy here. Yeah, I'll take the bullet casings because they're cheap. That's pretty much good. He's got this like little bit slightly better machete. He's got a couple of dart traps here, but honestly, that's too much of a resource sink for me at this point in the game. So I guess I'll just buy that sham chowder recipe. We'll read that. That's a good one to cook if you can cook it. And we'll grab the eye candy rock buster and skull crusher here and the dog food and let's go do some mining. Oh, that friggin' bear is still alive. Aha! Oh, did he, uh... Yeah, he's dead. I was thinking for a minute that he might just be like knocked down, but... Yep, that's the end of this guy. Free meat, baby! Nice. Okay, so today we're gonna need the coffee and the rock busters. Everything else can just hang out in there. And we should have, if we look at the map, uh, some mines set up already. So we'll head over here and we'll just mine a little bit of everything today. Be careful here. Make sure there's nothing coming up behind me. Although we have the Fisher Girl SMG. I'm pretty sure if anything rolls up on us, we can just hose them real quick before they kill us. All right, let's get a coffee going and a rock buster after that. The ner nerdy glasses are on for just a little bit of XP boost. And let's get to work. Okay, I would say that's probably enough lead for today. On to the next one, which will be nitrate.
right, that is 2,000 nitrate right there. I think we can hop on out of here and head over to the coal mine. However, it's been a surprisingly quiet morning, so let's fuck this guy up real quick. Aha, I feel better now. Whoa! <laughs> Big boy here is guarding this coal mine. Uh, maybe just a good idea to... Well, we have two options. One is that we can just try and draw him off. Whoop, that didn't work. And the other would be to find a different coal mine. Come on over here, Fluffy. Uh, all right, I think he's far enough away now that we can just kind of circle back and should be safe. Ah, yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, last copy going in and last bit of mining. Oh my god, indeed, there is actually nitrate and lead down here too. So this is basically... I mean, if this pans out and there's a good portion of each material, this is now the bullet mine. All right, I feel like that's probably good enough. We've got almost 2,000 coal, a little over 2,000 nitrate. We've got a bonus couple silver nuggets and diamonds here. That's nice. Good amount of small stone as well, so let's get the hell out of here. Luckily, the fog has lifted, and it's been a very quiet day in terms of cats and bears and stuff like that, but there's one right there. Oh, boy. I'm leaving. Okay, where was that treasure map? That's over that way. Okay, meet you there. Whoa, here we are. Snuck right up on me, and, uh, ooh. I know that place. Is this the place that I think it is? Aha, it is. That is an easy loot to just jump up there and get to. Uh, I have to consider doing that a little bit later. I do have that eye candy that I bought earlier, too. Yep, I think we gotta do it. Let's dig this up first. Oh, great. And I just dug right down to an iron deposit, so it's probably under all this ore. Aha! Is that it? I see it. Okay, thank goodness we didn't have to dig through a whole bunch of iron to get to this. All right, got into it on the first try. Can I just jump on out of here now? Nope, of course not. There we go. So eat that eye candy. I'll hop down here and grab the loot. Wait. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I tried to jump out of it so that I could put the lucky goggles on, and uh, it says that I failed it, but I at least got the loot here. Looks like uh, more silver, or uh, more diamonds, some bullet manufacturing material, which is nice, that's what I'm looking for, and some ammo. I won't say no to any of that. Now let's jump on over here. We'll uh, waste some of the zombies in the main, main loot room up here, and then just steal the main loot. It's actually a really easy one. One of my favorites to just roll up on and steal all the stuff out of. I don't mind having cheese once in a while. I don't like having cheese regularly. Hello? All right, wake up, everyone. Well, whatever you guys do, don't bang on my loot containers. Oh, he's banging on the loot container. You son of a bitch, let me in there. Well, he opened up a Mo power box. Not a big deal, I guess. Okay, here is the rest of them. Oh, spider. Okay, close that door. And we're good. I'm not gonna say no to all the free stuff that's up here while I'm here. I was just talking about how I don't need all that cobble and here I am digging up all this damn cobble. So I might end up scrapping it down to stone after all. Okay, let's unlock this while we still have the looting candy. There we go, lucky goggles are on, so we'll see what we get here. Stupid steel club, uh, a tech junkie here, AP robotic turret ammo, 10 sewing kits, what the hell? Ah, whatever. Oh, damn, all stuff that I've already read, we'll just sell all that. Stupid bandage and some honey. Yeah, this is basically what I get for trying to cheese something, I just get a slap in the face. All right, let's get the hell out of here. All right, back home. We got to get ready for the horde. We're cutting it pretty close today. All right, here we are. Home sweet home. Let's see if we can unpack the bike just a little bit. Uh, probably not, actually. Holy crap. Lots of crap in the inventory. 
All right, that is everything put away. Now, I don't think we need to go make any major improvements or upgrades or repairs or anything. I pretty much think that it's good to go, so let's just get geared up for the horde. All right, I've grabbed everything I can think of to grab. I've got a couple of lanterns we can set down real quick. Oh, of course, there's like a whole freaking horde of zombies somewhere. Why? Here, uh, just on face this thing right here, just, just for now. Okay, what are you guys doing here? You're early! Alright, that one's taken care of. What about you? Ah, okay. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Let's get down to the ground level. Any more zombies gonna sneak up on me? I don't think so. Let's grab the sledge turret. I am anticipating zombies kind of falling down over here so that should do pretty well right there we need to really work on fixing this and, and getting some like avenues for um getting from one side of the base to the other that would be very helpful how about that right there up and over and another one over right here it's cops spitting at me what are you doing stop that oh gun's not loaded all right well let's get back down here no! Ah, okay. Ah, more zombies. Still more zombies. Oh my god, leave! Well, it's time to lock and load. Alright, my friends. The horde is almost upon us. All right, there, what, there's a screamer here. What the hell are you doing here? Get off of here, you stupid screamer. Oh my God, this is gonna be bad already, I can tell. Okay, um, I didn't actually get the coffee that I was cooking on the campfire. That's a critical mistake number one. Let's eat some bacon and eggs just to get this the max stamina bonus. We'll take down some nerd tats and a skull crusher. And uh, I think we can start things off here today with the stun baton. Eat that! Free loot bag, any ammo? Uh, not really. Aha! Whoa, watch out, holy crap! All right, let's check down the glory hole here and see what's going on downstairs. Get a Molotov down there and then continue blasting them off with the stun baton. Oh, the cop, he just insists on spitting on me. I don't like that. Oh, it's a fucking mountain lion. Okay, time for guns. Come on, Moogie, you're up. Whoa, bird, ow. Got a cop, he's gonna blow. Take him out. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. It's not working. Yeah, put myself out. Oh, boy. Here. 
I'm gonna set some presents here on the shelf for my friends, Mountain Lion and Dog and all the rest of them. Go back here. All right, that should have maybe thinned them out a little bit. Although it doesn't really look like it. Nah, Steve, why are you down there? Just hose him with the SMG. All right, Fisher Girl, take this fucking cat out for me, please. There we go. Get this bird out of the way. That's the wrong weapon. There we go. I think that was the culprit for why I set myself on fire a second ago. Oh, no. Apparently, it's just my own stupid fat fingers. It looks like they've knocked out the first hatch. That's bad. Also, I'm dying, which is also bad. Take a painkiller. He's going to blow. Ow. All right. It's just time for guns. Guns only now. Come on. Reload faster. Reload faster. This gun doesn't do a lot of damage. It actually really sucks. Just get the good gun out. Ow. Ah, there's too many bodies in the way. I can't shoot anyone. Just die. Die. I'm going to go ahead and set that down for a moment. Just in case we have to make a really quick fallback. Oh, these damn birds. Uh-oh. Okay, I need a gun that's loaded, please. Ah, uh, that's not loaded. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Get out of here. Okay, bandage. Painkiller. I can't eat. I just eat the salmon. And get ready to fall back. All right, I think one of the solutions is going to be more explosives. Send one down there. Send a couple up here. All right. Walk back here a little bit. Boom! There we go. Get everything reloaded, please. That hatch is on its last leg. Oh! The cop! Oh my god! We just got a skill point. Quickly, get a Molotov into that cop's face. Oh, I missed. Ah! There we go. Okay, back we go to the Alamo. I didn't mean to make that rhyme, but it did. Yeah, this is basically the Alamo for us right now. <laughs> we didn't build another fighting position and this is not upgraded. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is bad. Luckily, the flow of zombies is significantly reduced because they have to jump over the first one to get over here. So while they're having trouble, I'm just gonna hurl a Molotov over there to help out. Yeah, see, they fall off of... Let me grab this real quick. There might be something useful in it. Um, of course there's not. Nope. Yeah, they fall off of the security gate there so much better than they do... Whoa. Than they do the, uh, the, the wood pillars or whatever we put over there. This is definitely the way to go. that. Thomas, your stupid body got in the way of that. Oh, of course I'm friggin' cold. I took one of my insulated liner mods off to put on the banded armor plating mod that I found earlier, and now I'm cold. Ow! Whoa! Whoa! That hurt. Painkiller, please. Super dehydrated. Drink water. Oh, no, don't spit on me. No, 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 whoa. Probably would be worth my time to take the silencer off of the, the Fisher Girl SMG here because that's just going to reduce the damage that we can do. Oh, it's kind of feeling better already. All right, still like dying of thirst here. Kind of like dying of everything. Eat some bacon and eggs. That should make everything better. All right, I do have like 24 steel arrows I can try and use real quick.
All right, that's it for the arrows. More fire, please. Oh, and this is broken. This is almost broken. Let's just break it. Yep, there it goes. All right, let's uh, let's do like a heroic last stand here. We get a skull crusher, get a nerd tat. Oh, they're breaking the bumper and just slurp down a goldenrod tea and a couple of waters just to get the hydration going and a bacon and eggs for good luck. How about a steroids while I'm at it? Uh, why not? Oh boy, they're breaking stuff. All right, get back. Eat this. You stand no chance. Oh my God, man, I'm wrecking them now. Get back. Oh wow, they're messing stuff up up here. No, get the fuck out of here. This is my base. Ow, what are you doing here, Bo? Get out of here. Oh man. They're fighting back now. Yep. Oh boy, gonna get killed. Run away. Oh, first aid bandage. Ow, who did that? I don't really have any guns left. I guess I just have the Fisher Girl SMG and that that is it for tonight. What more do I need though? Holy cow, look at this. Oh, I just let that guy right in here. Um, <laughs> no. Get back. I'll fight you back now. Sally forth. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, balancing the tightrope here. No, get back. Ow. Ooh, I'm lacerated. Yikes. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that before I die. Aha, got another level up there. It's three skill points to spend now. Only a few more minutes until morning. Oh, no, now that gun's broken. We are literally down to melee. That is it. And it's morning, so we just have to clear things out and we should be good. Honestly, probably the knife is the better bet at this point given how much damage I can do with this compared to the stun baton. Nice. Uh-oh, big boy's coming through. Oh, would you just charge, you stupid fucking stun baton? Ah. Ah. How can you possibly have this many hit points left? Get out of here. All right, we made it. The base is a little worse for the wear right now. These things are gonna need to be upgraded to steel and I'm probably gonna get a vault hatch going. That was the big factor there is they just carve right through these iron hatches. So that we'll have to invest some steel into that next week. For now though, I think I'll go and see if I even have a looting candy. I'm not sure if I do or not. It looks like I do. Let's grab that and just start putting some stuff away to make some room in the inventory. And we can head downstairs now and see what we get for good stuff. Make sure I have the lucky goggles on, just in case that makes that little bit of difference. Ooh, another treasure map, nice. All right, I think that's it for the loot bags. We'll take uh, just a real quick pass around and see if anyone like died off in the distance. No, I don't see anything. Zombie, just chasing me down here. Ah, get back. Oh boy, yeah, we are pretty roughed up right now. Let's suture up that deep laceration and have a quick honey to get rid of the infection. And we're gonna have to slurp down a whole bunch of water here, take a mineral water to get started. All right, and we can basically see the hall for the Horde Knight here. Three mining helmets, a whole bunch of steel armor that I'm basically gonna sell. There's the military gloves that we've been kind of pining for so we can get the outfit all squared away. Uh, yep, that's about right. Just gonna get the die situation sorted out a little bit better and we'll be good to go. And we got a treasure map. We can dig that up a little bit later in the week. And otherwise, I just need to get organized and get set for tomorrow when we do, what is it? It's it's right over here somewhere. There's a POI. 
Oh, it's it's it, the downtown filler seven. It's gonna be that stuff right over there. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it later on in the morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today and good night. While you're waiting for the next video, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to become a nerd of steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly live stream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who help grow and shape this channel. My name is Temreki, and I hope that I earned your subscription today. I'll see you next time.